6,300 of record. I'm so mad. <laughs> Chat, let's welcome Kirsha to the stage. Just... Hello. Hello. You picked the wrong time to show up. I'm what do you mean? currently seething over Hassan, and it won't fade for a while. It's okay. You don't need to bother thinking about it, Hassan. Think about retaking Constantinople. To Istanbul! Anyway. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Hit me with the news. What's going on? Hit you What's with, I happening? Noticed, I noticed your title. Do you, do you want me to bring up Bridge? Is that, is that something you're interested in? I will not lie to you. I don't give a rat's ass about Bridge. <laughs> I don't. But it's going to be all over the place because they're, like, taking over games or something, right? What's going on with it? Bridge Bridge is, like, this overarching entity that had been monitoring diversity, equity, and inclusion for years. And they came to the conclusion that uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives aren't doing enough. And so instead of just having it be marketing or a hiring practice, it needs to be embedded into the DNA of companies. So you need equity of products, equity of product manufacturing, equity of ability, uh, availability, and equity of pricing as well. So they're going to be removing diversity officers in companies and just making the regular employees push the tenants of DEI and ESG themselves. And they're also going to be trying to transform consumer opinion, which is why you see the push for removing... Uh, the purging of the bad gamers in the gaming industry right now. Ah, yes. The good old-fashioned Orwell tactics. Yeah, I don't believe they'll be successful with the people. Because, frankly, getting rid of the bad, toxic gamers, as that chick said, because it, it just shows how far out of her mind she is. Who's going to buy this shit without us? Like, <laughs> you need us. All right? Let me break it down to you, lady, who's not watching. But someone clip it and send it to that goofy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you need men... That have little to live for. We pay for everything. We need fantasy. We need escapism. Who's buying violent video games? Men. Who's buying video games with hot chicks? Men. Who's working the sewers? Men. You need us, baby. Because women don't buy anything unless Kim Kardashian says so or some TikTok influencer. They're in the wrong business. Go to TikTok. Go there. You get a legion of women willing to buy whatever you're selling. And I, I feel like they don't exactly understand that once you once you remove people's abilities to escape from an ideological push, a man without anything to lose is a very dangerous force to be reckoned with. I know. I know better than anyone. Isn't that right, my little fluff ball? I'm <laughs> just You're talking to one right now. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the day oh, when oh. they say it's time to go. <laughs> Acceptable. Escaping, escaping from New York is that? How's that? How's that going? It's an absolute nightmare. Um, <laughs> I have nothing to live for. I've, but I've been, I... I've been looking at houses recently, and every time I see prices of housing in New York, I get really angry because it is cheaper than basically everywhere else. Because everyone is fleeing the state. Oh my God! Yeah, we do have a lot of a lot of places that are like as low as sixty thousand dollars around here, but they're bad yeah. neighborhoods. Yeah. You know, you look up the neighborhood, it's like 11-year-old kid was stabbed to death outside of this house. I'm like, no wonder it's 60 grand. <laughs> they want you to take your life in your own hands when you leave your house to get the mail. I'm just, I'm just like, why is, it, why is this giant Victorian mansion like a $200,000 at seven bedrooms? It's got two and a half acres. It's got a detached garage. Why is it so cheap? Um, the taxes comes... here are retarded. Uh... <laughs> and it comes with squatters. Oh, my God. Squatters could be a thing, yes. Uh, what else do we got in this hellhole? We got, we got taxes for everything. You can't do much anything. If you're a law-abiding citizen, they are just all over you like rats. And also, yes. being a content creator, they forced me into being a business. They oh. literally forced me. So they could tax me to the optimum. Yeah, and I, this uh, thing just sucks. I wasn't registered as a business for this year, so I also got just giga assaulted by taxes. So, <laughs> I feel you. <sighs> These people, they have no soul. That's why all the good businesses leave. That's why New York's city district uh, not city business district where they used to have the diamonds and whatnot and the major high-end retail they're all gone yeah. because it just sucks here it, it, it you know it got worse with kathy hokel and i know you're a woman and this will sound insulting but my god sometimes women aren't fit to leave I was <laughs> what do you mean sometimes women should not be in positions of power there's a reason that they weren't very popular as leaders throughout history you know you're right marie antoinette amaranth 
the same <laughs> level of evil. <laughs> we don't have guillotines anymore, though, unfortunately. You know, we need to bring those back. I'm all for it. Public then... execution. <laughs> Always got a huge uh, super chat from Douglas Kaplan helping with the escaping for $200. You know, I'm going to be real with the chat. I'm probably going to die before I get out. Like, if we go to war with Asia, New York's getting hit. And I have well, a if feeling they're not going to... If we went to war with Asia, you're not going to be in that much danger yet. <laughs> I don't know. The Chinese do not fuck around. I've seen how they make sushi. They are serious. I mean, that's true. That's true. How I, I like my, my, my plot, right? Several years mm -hmm. ago, I was like, this is what I think is going to happen. Okay? First... First, we're going to have Islam that takes over the country, right? Like oh, every everywhere's going to be Islamic, okay? Then the Chinese are going to come in. They're going to remove kebab because they've been practicing for it for many years. And then we can just remove the Chinese after that. It's so simple. It's so easy. How do you figure we survive in all of this, stuff? I don't know. We become underground mole people. <laughs> okay, so we go full fallout. Yeah, we go We go Gurren Lagan strategies, you know? The one anime I didn't see. Wow, you! What? It's got nice mechs in it. It's such a good anime. I have so little time. The second <laughs> really I get evil? a free moment, I start working on a Gundam model kit, <laughs> and then I torment myself because oh, I keep man. trying to push it to the edge of like this has to be hyper detail paint. So I'm like masking for five hours just to get a different color gradient. Good luck. Good luck not inhaling all of the fumes. Oh, it's already happened. <laughs> You know, you sit there and you think, like, you can hold your breath and mix a little paint. Bad idea. Do you ever think about yeah. how many IQ points you've lost from the paint? Oh, yes. I'm dying. It's clear. <laughs> you know, cause I do have a full respirator, specifically for just in case uh, they gas us or something. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. But sometimes you just take it off because you want to feel something? Well, it's, it's heavy. And after you wear it for a few hours, you're just kind of like, God, let me feel some air on my face. And like, I can mix a little paint. It'll just take three seconds. I'll hold my breath. And then you get a little sniff of it, and you're like, oh, lost a brain cell there. Yeah, that's, that's over. That's over. It was worth it, though. <laughs> it was. Just to feel the cool winter's breeze. When I was uh, when I was talking about squatters on my stream as well, I was mm -hmm. just like, why? If they have more protections than homeowners, why doesn't like everyone just go squat at this point? You know, don't give people ideas. I was just... <laughs> I'm not a Venezuelan immigrant who came here illegally, so they can't deport me for saying it. But, like, why Why not, right? If they're going to be protected. The only reason they <laughs> deported that one is because Captain Fidget Fuck was making videos and being absolutely the most obnoxious human on the planet. That's then crazy he... that that's the level you have to get to in order to actually get deported. Yeah, you have to literally. Oh, my God. And then when he got, like, in trouble, he's posted videos of his kid. Ugly crying into TikTok with snot rolling out of his mouth and stuff. And I'm like, I can't say what I want to say, but I find oh, no. weakness in men absolutely abhorrent. Oh, no, a brown You're... person is crying. Let us remove all of the I don't rules care if they're laws. white either. <laughs> <laughs> like, the second a dude falls off into acting too much like a chick, I am put off by it. It just enrages me. I, I feel that, but it's like, you know, that's how you garner the empathy. That's how you get all these people's neurons activated, and they're like, fuck the law! This man is crying! <laughs> this is... Okay, you've made a point I should have learned years ago. I'm the type of asshole who takes it to the chin, and then I say things like, you're fucking right, I did it. <laughs> that's right. I said those things about Dylan Mulvaney. I don't care, Reddit. I'd say I'm a, I say worse things offline. <laughs> The only the could. only time I've ever gotten a strike for anything on either of my channels was on YouTube. The first time I did a dive on Dylan Mulvaney talking uh -oh. about his past. And they gave me a strike for hate speech. And I was like, ain't no way. Ain't no way this is hate speech. I'm talking about what he used to do. What do you mean? Oh, well, you did. a person on here. Everyone here misgendering my dear sweet baby <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> Every single one of my live streams is demonetized, so I'm going to be real with you. I have no idea. I have no idea what the lines are here. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll teach you later. It's almost, <laughs> time. It's almost time for the uh, weekly stream of Dylan in the background for, for five minutes. Oh, God. I was I, – I've been laying off Dylan because I've read chat. I put Dylan up, and yeah. then everyone gets upset. They're like, no, take down Dylan. And I'm like, okay, people, okay. But let's just take a moment to appreciate the tremendous strides 
of the gate. Ga- <laughs> I said the gaze of girlhood. <laughs> this Freudian slip. That was accurate. Stupid brain. Oh, it's that damn pain. I'd like to take this time to say how amazing it is to see Dylan grow into this wonderful woman we see here. Uh, did you know Dylan got the Woman of the Year award? I I did. It somehow doesn't surprise me that, you know, publicly everyone thinks uh, that men are better at being women at this point. You know, you know, you got a point. <laughs> <laughs> like we've been watching Drag Race for years where men are dressing up as women better than real women. And now Dylan just takes it to the next level. Hold on, let me get Pokey to help me. There we go. Oh, my God. She hasn't blocked me yet on Twitter. So think, I just, hmm? I was going to say, do you think if you're married and you're squatting and then your wife divorces you, does she get to take half of the property that you were squatting on? Common law I squat? I don't know. <laughs> the common law squat? I, I, if it's a man involved, probably not. If it's an American man, they'll just drag you out of the building, I think. Yeah. I thought we just like, she gets the house for free. You're an American. Sorry, bud. Yeah, if you're a white man, like, honest to God, it must be so hard being a white dude. I never thought I'd come to that conclusion in my lifetime, but man, oh, man. When I look at the shit white guys go through, I think to myself, it's a good thing I'm tan. I'm a high yellow. (laughs) Because I'd go crazy. But the way things are now, I can understand becoming an extremist because they just make you it. As a longtime liberal, now living in 2024... And being called a conservative for just being rational. It's such a weird time to be alive. It's so gay. It is incredibly strange. I, I would like to feel like I'm pretty pretty middle of the road on most things. And I've, I've definitely been called, you know, the far right Nazi oh, yeah. pipeline yeah. kind of person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Making fun of Dylan Mulvaney. That's a, a one-way ticket to Naziville in this yeah, world. That's how we became acquainted with you made the rounds on side scrollers and then all of a sudden uh, you're in the pipeline the pipeline and i i so i associate with people like the quartering by watching his videos therefore <laughs> he's also part of the far right pipeline i love it when people call like him and tim pool far right it's just like what what are you talking about i got nothing for it <laughs> like i don't know nothing about tim pool i don't watch him i don't pay attention Um, the quartering, I know he pumps out more videos in a day than I do in a month. (laughs) But then again, I'm... He's got some new co-hosts now, too. Melanie Mack and Sticks and Hammer. So he Uh lost, uh, the Australian chick. Uh, I believe so. Otherwise, she might be on another day. I don't know. Sydney something. Sydney Watson? Yeah, I haven't seen her. I haven't seen her. Sydney Watson. Yeah. Real thrill a minute. I remembered a name. What um, is going on with the courting besides the live stream? What's the live stream about? I guess just daily news. Yeah, daily. daily news. Every uh, day? You know. You know. Every day. Well, that's why it's daily. And it's what news. The, I hate the news. What the fuck is he going to talk about daily? <laughs> like, I'm getting tired. This is, you got to put Dale into the thumbnail looking like a goddamn character for Lord of the Rings again <laughs> and tell me something's under attack. Like, what the fuck? I couldn't do this daily. I don't Sometimes know what's I going feel on. Like there's too day. much to talk about for daily. Like, I have, there's I have too my much days going off on of that stream lame. in the middle of the week, and then I get back Friday, and there's just too much to cover. There's too much. Yeah, once a week is fine by me. Like, what are we going to, what would we, what would you have talked about yesterday if we had a daily show? Probably like Taiwan and how fucked up everything's looking. And I go, yeah. wow, that's really bad for Taiwan. I hope the sex market survives, though. <laughs> The lady boys will be out of work. They need to get the okay. construction jobs. You know, I have so much respect for the lady boys of Thailand, though. After that rousing fight they had with the Taiwanese, the other lady boys. I can't even oh. remember which ones yeah, were the fighting. Ones we showed on stream. A but God back. bless them. They at least look like women. I appreciate those types of transsexuals, the ones that look like the part. I'm so sick of seeing someone who looks like literally the penguin from Batman Returns on my Twitter timeline talking about a day of remembrance or some shit. Oh, boy, that's real bad. 
that yeah. one that one lady boy clip lives in my head rent free of like an American tourist being like, "Oh, you're a pretty lady," and they're like, "No, I'm man." <laughs> Do you have the clip to share? God, I wish I did, but no, I don't. It's an old, old clip, like years old. Ah, uh, back when America didn't suck. <laughs> this right here is amazing. Well, oh. this is right after the earthquake. It didn't fall over? Out in it. No. That's some good design. It really if is. If that was an American building, it would have been gone. Oh, yeah. They would have been covered in dust. That looks like really <laughs> scary though, because it's still falling over. Yeah, it's like I think it's settled in. They got time to do God knows what. To try to get it, everyone out of there. Oh, there's still They're... people in there. God damn. Yeah. You know what I was wondering? How come it's not cool to have a parachute on a plane? How'd you get sucked into the engine? You'd ah. have to jump out the back like they do with parachute, you know, like paratroopers. Good to know. Just in case. I need to fly private like Hassan. Well, I, don't, I don't think me. you would get sucked into the engine, right? Because the parachutes are in like a little backpack kind of thing. And so you jump out and then you, yeah, you, you wait to deploy But it. I think he's saying you get sucked in the second well, you jump out. But, but the, oh, if the engine's oh. like on the back on the tail, like a lot of larger planes, like if you were to jump out, it'd just suck you right up behind and probably split you in the tail but or go through the engine. I mean, maybe. I, I always thought that if, like, something penetrated the plane wall, people would get sucked out of it. But watching these planes fall apart in real time and I people know. just kind of chilling in their seats with the <laughs> with the air flowing in, I'm like, oh, I guess you don't get sucked out. I guess it's what, a chill. I guess the only thing you can do is the chill because what's the option? I know. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, an acceptance of death. This is a video of the <laughs> building itself. <laughs> God damn, hey, everybody got a scooter in Thailand. The Taiwan. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. Uh, what's the Corden's take on this? <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a 30 minute video? I'm just uh, glad I live in a place that doesn't really get earthquakes. So, what brought you down here? What made you a content creator? Oh, wow. Um,. I was working in insurance and I was doing fraud investigations and my anxiety was really, really bad um, to the point where I was vomiting uh, frequently even uh, between like panic attacks. So I was like, I'm just going to start streaming and see if that helps me with human interaction. That's wow. it? Yeah. So like, well, the bunny's better, right? Um, well, I mean, for the first few years, uh, definitely not. But now, uh, yeah, it's, it's better than what my old job was. It's like you're catching on because you're the cute anime girl with the fox ears. Cat, I don't know what you're supposed to be. I'm a fox. Well, Asmongold says I'm a spicy cat, but I'm a fox. <laughs> <laughs> spicy yeah, cat. That's what he calls it. She's blowing up. I see yeah. I'm recommended all the time. Oh, heck. Thanks. I don't know Asmin, how the algorithm works, so. <laughs> Asmin probably sees spicy foxes, like, hanging around his house all the time. <laughs> Yeah, oh my god, this is the awkward silence because I know nothing about her. Where the hell is the bio here? Where the hell is the bio? <laughs> Everyone in chat had said something about uh, desk ketchup, and I was trying oh. to figure out what, what that meant. Uh, I keep my ketchup on my desk, you know, just in case. You never know when you're going to need it. Do you put ketchup in soup? I do. <laughs> Who keeps ketchup around? What can you have? Like, the only thing I use ketchup for once in a blue moon is fries. I was like, I got, I got the bottle of ketchup here. Oh my gosh. Right, okay. See, the animation with the <laughs> bottle of ketchup right is very funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, we just basically got the best part of the, the interview of the stream. You may oh, as well yeah. tune out, everybody. Good night, oh, everybody. No. Good night, everybody. <laughs> all I know is, like, you were on side scrollers talking about the DEI crap, which is all over the godforsaken place. Yeah, and that I can, is uh... it. That's it. <laughs> Then I, I saw like, you making fun of the Jews crawling out of, like, uh, the ground. <laughs> the jungles. That was hilarious, to be fair, because, like, there was one guy who kept complaining about hearing Hebrew through his walls. How vindicated must he feel at this point? I Probably not. Like, you, all right, he's probably vindicated, but what are they going to do for him? Nothing. This is New York. New York <laughs> will fuck you over and do nothing about it. They came here, they tore up the roads, right? And then they rip up my driveway. The state of New York demolished my driveway. 
Then you gotta play phone tag with these these dirty, rotten, rat, son of a bitch, loving fuckbags. Calling anything government related is probably just a folly. It's so inefficient. Yes. Oh my god. Everywhere's inefficient. I'm finding out. But New York really pisses me off because I live here. I finally get them on the phone and they're like, oh yeah, we're not going to re repair your driveway because um, that's your property. Like, bro, you assholes destroyed it. So now I got to pay to fix my driveway that you screwed? What type of shit is this? Do you know what I pay in taxes? You and they're uh, just like, sucks to suck. We don't give a yeah, shit. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I hate this state. I oh can't my. say much. I, I kind of like Florida. They get it done down here. Yeah, Florida doesn't like allow any goofiness. No. Migrants come over to Florida with guns. DeSantis is all over them. Yeah, squatters. Like are white called, on rice. Squatters are called invaders. Because that's what they are. I mean, they should be. That's true. That's exactly what they should be. I should run for governor. I call squatters cockroaches. There you go. You I go full ham. <laughs> I would give people the right to shoot. Someone breaks in your house and sleeps in your bed. This isn't Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Bust a cap in their ass. It's, it's a gunner for New York. It's actually insane to me that you are not able to defend your own home in that manner. And then the people <sighs> who invade it have more rights depending on the state you're in. Like, I just, I do not understand how that works. Damn it, They Grant. show phony paperwork all the time. They say, well, I've got a, a, an internet bill here for like the last 30 days. I and printed this, this off lease. with Google. And then like uh, Kathy Hochul's <laughs> like, this looks legitimate to me. Are you voting for me? And they're like, yes, yeah, Hoko, we vote for you. Congratulations I was told you, on your new home. <laughs> I was told you have an extensive knowledge of Gundam or something. Me? Yes, I don't know. That's all I know. I was told I'd I mean, be given I've, a bio. I've been watching you for quite a few years. When I, oh, I good think lord. I, I think it was the last time I raided you on Twitch. You were playing a game with uh, Ziltek and... There's a joke in my community where, like, no matter where I go, talk about sounding always happens. And literally, as soon as I raided you, Ziltek was like, Gundam, would you ever let a girlfriend sound you? What the fuck is sounding? That's what sounding I Sounding is know. where you put stuff in your urethra, and you talked about the fiery Latinas you used to date, and you were like, you know, they're probably into that. Well, I could see that happening to someone <laughs> else, but not me. That sounds pretty gay. <laughs> Like, you're sticking speakers up your ass to feel it vibrate through your butt cheeks, man. I don't know. I, I'm just done with this generation. The kids can't read. They can't write. But they love sounding. It's all over. Now, this is this is part. I put this link up in the in the chat thing. This is part of what I was talking about on Side Scrollers. This is a clip from a longer interview video with uh, Cheryl This Dijah. woman looks like a goddamn nightmare. Yeah, she's the uh, CEO of Bridge. That bridge is an acronym for belonging, representation, inclusion, diversity, the G is the gap in all of those things, and then the E is equity. And our mission is really about moving the narrative of DEI away from philosophy to operationalizing inclusion as a business practice. So our North Star is that. Um, our North Star is not necessarily marketing per se, because we believe that inclusion needs to cross the entire organization, marketing included. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, everywhere from organizational practices all the way to advocacy. Uh, yeah. And so the way that we come at it um, is that we look at the business practices. You know, uh, our goal is really about operationalizing inclusion, as I said, as a business practice, not a philosophy anymore. Yeah. And so are, are they trying to make DEI more like um, like how Henry Ford did the. Uh, <clears throat> couldn't the uh what do they call it the assembly line wanted to build di into more of uh the product itself operationally from the manufacturing to the marketing to business yes. practicing they just want to have They're, it baked in now. they want to have it baked into company culture corporate culture and what makes each company the way that it is and by that they're going to also influence the consumer and so everyone who's going to be purchasing anything and this is this is a conglomeration of companies. It's spearheaded by uh, Campbell Soup, Sephora, oh, and God. Condé Nast, what? which is the strangest amalgamation of spearheading I have ever seen, to be fair. I've heard when many you... conspiracy theories of Campbell Soup being in league with the New World Order for a long time. And then when, as soon as you said Campbell Soup, I'm like, God damn it, those conspiracy nuts were right again. Campbell's, Campbell Soup. All right. So this is where it gets even weirder before you unpause again. Campbell's Soup has been sponsoring streamer events 
that get zero traction. So like streamers with millions of followers and hundreds of thousands of views will be sponsored by Campbell's to put on events that get zero traction, zero marketing, have zero influence. But these, these influencers are getting paid for it. So if they're not getting paid to actually promote the event, they're probably getting paid to either knowingly or unknowingly push the ideals that Campbell's Soup wants them to push. I put money on it, they know. Like people like Pokimane are a part of the the machine cog without a shadow of a doubt. So is Hassan Piker. These people are so elbow deep in the trenches of corporate bullshit and shillery. It's not even funny. Just looking at the stuff they did for G4, where literally they were to raid G4 and be paid thirty thousand dollars to do absolutely nothing, is just honestly amazing. And I don't really think they give a rat's flying ass about anything other than their bottom line. And frankly, I'm going to say something else controversial yet again. This is proof that women should hold no power. <laughs> now that like society has been kind of ironed out, there's nothing left unless like we explore the seafloor, which will never happen or space. Women are never at the forefront of the garbage. Now that like there's no wild west, there's no crazy savage tribes kidnapping women and turning them into brood mares. Everything's cool. Everything's at the tip of your fingers. Life could be beautiful if we all just mellowed out and let people be people now you have these types of chicks running in and telling you we need to change the way humans stink <laughs> because i think that they think bad and i know that i'm right because i have ovaries and everything women, should be as safe as my bedroom women are very useful foot soldiers for pushing ideology because oh you yes can exploit the empathy that women typically employ when they think about situations which is something that obviously doesn't make them that's why they as all a vote leadership blue. figure and then in addition to that women typically are disarming as individuals so people will look at them as like less shielded in, in a way to say it so it's like if it's coming from a woman instead of a man there's less scrutiny not that that mm -hmm. should be the case but that's just typically what happens so they're much easier to use as infiltrators Oh, yes. Like, TikTok you know, is the perfect, like, um, weapon for this. TikTok is just, it's so weird how, because I watch this for my own amusement because I'm a sadist. I watch women <laughs> post TikTok videos talking about how dating is garbage, how they're slaves in America, um, that men are evil and men need to step aside and all men are predators, just like wild stuff. Like, they'll sit there and say they hate men while also saying they can't find a man to marry. And they're pushing this narrative that they're somehow at a disadvantage. They still get paid less than men. They're always in some form of danger. It's just so weird to see all of this unfold. I mean, I, I agree with most of that, uh, except I will say dating is absolutely garbage. Oh, well, because, that's obviously garbage. Yeah, for, yes. like, for decades, there's been wedges being driven between men and women. Men have been told to be more effeminate, to be less manly, to bend the knee to all of these different progressive ideologies. Women are told that all of these things that actually denigrate them and devalue them are actually empowering. Yes. So you, you, just, you have all these conflicts that make dating just terrible. And combine that with instant gratification and oh. hookup culture. And nobody wants to put effort into relationships. They just want to fucking get out. Well, you also have to take into account that, like, as I've realized in my life, I've noticed now that, like, I guess I was a decent looking guy before YouTube. But after YouTube, like, it's so different. Like, women find out what I look like, and then they stalk me online and go through hoops just to speak to me and try and hook up with me, which is, you know, it's weird for me. And then when I go on the Internet, I realize, you know, on TikTok seeing all this stuff, that women are always shooting for the top guys or something. Like, the best looking, the most successful, etc. So this leads to only a certain number of men getting chicks, the best looking guys. Like, Hassan Piker, I may hate him. But I know that dude's probably smashing hot chicks all the time, you know, realistically. But his handlers probably ain't getting that sort of action. So you probably have all these women not. competing for this top guy. And, of course, he sleeps around because he can just pick and choose what he wants. And if one chick doesn't like him, he goes to the next one. While the average dude is, like, fighting for scraps, which is why we have the OnlyFans epidemic, where you see these absolutely horrendous-looking women. Like, trying to promote their OnlyFans and everything. And then if you check their, like, timeline, their Instagram or their Twitter, which I do, because, once again, I'm a masochist. I love looking at these dudes gas these women up. 
it'll be like a chick who looked like she got hit by a bus and thrown down the stairs. And these guys are like, oh, my God, you're so beautiful. You're so amazing. Any man would be lucky to be with you. And I'm like, this woman, if she, like, stepped out in front of my car, because this has happened before, or some unattractive chick hit my car, I got out and yelled at her. I was like, you dented my sports car, you pig! But these dudes are like, oh, my God, your feet pics are amazing. It's just such a weird world we live in. I feel like part of it probably ties into men being told that they're not valued and they're not allowed to have opinions or feelings. And so when they get browbeaten to the point where like, okay, I can't interact with actual women. I might as well just buy this OnlyFans because at least it's some kind of interaction and it makes me feel cared about. And that's that's a very depressing mindset to think of because the OnlyFans problem won't go away as long as there are men buying it. And men are being conditioned into thinking that buying it is a good thing, that they're supporting women, that they're going to be getting attention from it. And it's just not real. I didn't even factor that they were being conditioned to believe that this was something empowering. Because honest to God, like some of the stuff I've seen in porn as of late, I find disgusting. Yeah. Weirdly enough. I mean, you you have all these articles talking about, oh, look at how much money these women made on OnlyFans. They could quit their job and now they live more comfortably. I was like, that's not that's not a reality. It's only reality for like one percent. Yeah. It's just so, it's just dystopian. You got that going on. It's hard meeting a woman that doesn't have an OnlyFans too now, by the way. Like, whoa. When when I would tell people that I stream video games, but my first few years of streaming, I was playing Terra and I eventually got partnered with GameForge. Like I had a paying contract to play Terra with them. Nice. And when I would tell people, uh, I'm a streamer, I play video games. They're like, oh, so you do porn. And I'm like, okay, who's who's a normie stream? No, I'm I'm like Summit 1G, but instead of FPS, I play like Korean shit, right? And, and then they're like, like, who's oh. Summit 1G? Does he yeah, sell no. picks? They're like, are you so? Uh, who's Summit 1G? And I'm like, oh, like Asmund Gold, but instead of World of Warcraft, it's Korean shit. And they're like, so you do porn? And I'm like, oh god. Saying <laughs> Asmund Gold to a normal person that isn't online is that makes no sense. I don't know who normies watch. All right, like normies <laughs> watch like um. Uh, that guy but like, who's on HBO. Special... Oh, what the fuck is this clip? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I was gonna bring this up. Uh, your girl Alyssa went on with Khalif Adams the other day. Why uh, are you tr- platforming him? If people <laughs> won't platform me, he doesn't get platformed. Crop <laughs> this shit so his name's out of there. Fuck that. Crop it. I can't. This Khalif is a ain't video. getting a, He ain't getting shit from me. Why do, his, why do his headphones look like they're photoshopped on in that image? We're just kind of seeing because it that's who he be. <laughs> you know, you have a perfect point with the only fits thing. I didn't even factor in how the media portrays it as this positive, empowering thing for women, but they vilify women that want to be stay at home mothers. Yeah, they also vilify marriage too. They like make it sound like being married is slavery or something. It's We're screwed, really. Because if women want to get married, if women see being a housewife as a viable option, uh, they might actually have men who like them and who want to be actual husbands as well instead of fuckboys. We can't have that. We can't have people getting along and working together and building culture. Well, I would say the fuckboys are the top 10% of dudes. Like, most guys aren't getting laid. The amount of guys who've messaged me and said that they're in their 30s and haven't even kissed a woman, like, I thought they were LARPing. Oh. But it's like a thing. I mean, I, personally, I wouldn't see fuck boys in like a top 10%, right? Because they have... Well, you're not a normal chick. Let's be real here. You're dressed <laughs> up as a fox. You have ketchup on your desk. Fair. You're the you're the uh, Summit 1G of Korean games. I, I have autism. <laughs> you have autism. <laughs> well, that's pretty normal now. Everybody's got autism all of a sudden. Are you neurodivergent? No, not medically, but my chat thinks I am. (laughs) Well, just say that you are to be more inclusive. Um, What else do you need? Because like this is what's wild about TikTok. I had an ex-girlfriend who left me for a guy who was taller than me. So I'm like 5'10", 5'11". This dude was like 6'5". I stood no shot. And his only redeeming quality, literally, was being 6'5". Everything else about the dude was bad. He was a drunk. He was a drug addict. He lived with his mother. He, like, had anger issues where he, like, put holes in the wall. And TikTok conditioned her to believe that since he was six feet tall and I was 5'10", he was the better get. 
That doesn't make any sense. I do not understand the fixation with height. Like, it really doesn't matter. Like, unless they're, like, a midget, I guess. But, like... <laughs> like, she got so screwed up by TikTok, she couldn't even do math anymore, dude. Like, I mean, I can't do to... math. I'm kind of dumb. But I don't like TikTok. <laughs> I love my women dumb. Because the second <laughs> they get an education, they think they're smarter than you. And then before you know it, they need help because they're in debt. And all of a sudden, your dumb ass can do something about it. But that's my life. We're not getting into that. Yeah, I, com I complain a bit on stream. I had a I had a decently rough childhood, so I've had to I've had to be a strong, independent woman for too long. <laughs> I want to turn my goddamn brain off. Please just let me be the woman. I want you know. I don't want to think anymore. <laughs> now that you've said these things, I support you, cat girl. I mean, <laughs> spicy fox. <laughs> Any uh, woman that's based, I don't care if she's dumb as a stub. She's all right by me. Oh yeah, me God. too. And, and the audience, we're actually, check this out. That's a record. We're over 7,000 concurrent viewers. That's a record for this show. And now people oh will bail because they don't give a shit. <laughs> I just took that down. Yeah, that's all. Okay, I got to know. How tall are you, by the way? I am 5'7". Oh, that's a great height for a woman, which means yeah. you're nice and lean, svelte. Yeah, I mean, I have, oh. I rollerbladed for many, many, many years, so I have I have decent legs. You went outside. Legs. Yeah, I was I used to be an outside person. I'd go to bonfires oh on the beach. This is the type of girl you want to get, guys. She goes outside and she uses her body. <laughs> <laughs> I go outside less now, unfortunately, because that's just like streamer life, you know. But oh, yes, at least I'm second. going to the gym. I try. <laughs> going to the gym, that's good. Gonna don't send Pokimane will get jealous. Pokimane uh, can razzle my dazzle, bro. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't ex, stim future ex wife for a reason. Yeah, she's already started the divorce proceedings and we haven't even made it to the fucking altar. And believe me, I have tried with this woman. I have tried. I have been messaging Pokimane for the last four years. <laughs> I torment her. Like, I send messages like, your hair looks wonderful with curls this morning. You, you are my queen. I am blessed to breathe the same air as you. <laughs> I was like, by the way, if you were into foot stuff, what exactly foot stuff would you be into doing for a guy you're interested in? I'm not asking for myself. <laughs> like, I purposefully send stuff to her. If you if you hit me with that message, I'd be like, I just don't believe you. You're definitely asking for yourself. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to get her to block me. <laughs> That's the overall goal. Well, if she knows you want her to block you, she's obviously not going to do it. Well, we'll edit this out. She isn't watching. She doesn't know. <laughs> How do you know? Be... What if she? What if she's secretly always watching your streams and your videos? What's I up, would. Um, I would definitely feel slighted <laughs> because we have yet to collaborate in a video together where we basically bash one another. I accuse her of forcing children to make stolen cookies. She accuses me of being a midget. It's foreplay, really. I mean, it, so it sounds like it. I can I can always put on high heels. I'll hit six foot, and then I can call you short. Whoa. There you go. But then again, I throw on my cowboy boots. Boom, I'm taller than you. That's true. We'll just keep escalating the heel height until our, both our heads hit the ceiling. Whoa. Listen, I played in a lot of rock bands. I have platform <laughs> shoes everywhere. Like, full-blown <laughs> kiss level. Oh, I will Gene God. Simmons you. <laughs> I got, I got, I got the '90s goth girl platform boots, so I can, I can dance to your step, okay? See, there we go. We're, we're vibing here, as the kids say. Who knew we had stuff in common? <laughs> Have sex with the bear. Oh, oh daddy fell. <laughs> Eat it. God, I was just recently watching DSP rant about people not watching his stream, but I'm not going to subject you to it because I don't I... know how much of DSP you know. I don't know too much about DSP, like, tangentially. I've seen some of his clips, and people brought up in my stream, like, last year, how he did, like, a shower review stream. And, like, everybody knows that he masturbated on stream. So, like, that's that's a That's, given. like, his highlight. Yeah, that's the highlight. That's, that's all I know him for. everyone knows. He jerked <laughs> off on stream, but I really don't know that much about it. Really, DSP, that was his stairway to heaven. Like, I had a friend come over to my place, and he's, like, looking at some of the stuff I have on my paint table. And I have a, a dark side fill head. From uh, the time I made the bug figure with, um, God damn it, I'm forgetting his name. Darcy DeFill. Darcy DeFill. So I have this head painted on a desk, and he goes, oh, dude, I didn't know you like Warhammer, bro. I'm like, nah, dude, that's not Warhammer. That's Dark Side <laughs> Phil. And he goes, Dark Side Phil? What? And I'm like, okay, okay, um, here, this guy. And I pull up DSP jerking off. He goes, oh, yeah, the jerk off, man. That's <laughs> all he knows about Phil. That's like uh, one, of my, one of my favorite 
I don't know if they even still stream. I was gonna say ancient streamer people to bring up is a only use me blade. That they're name I know. Leg holes. I, I know Blade a little bit since I used to work for Keem at Drama Alert. Uh, not a great guy. He's doing a little bit better now that he's sober. But well, that's good that he's doing better. I just I only know about him having other people drink hot sauce out of his rotting leg holes. Bro, yeah, that's that's Blade. <laughs> Like, I saw a video of his girlfriend there in, like, uh, a trailer or something. And the chat is telling her, because he's out in the background, he's passed out. Of course. And they're like, you should leave him. You deserve better, blah, blah, blah. And she's on the verge of fucking tears. Oh, no. And I thought to myself, what leads a woman down the path of being in a relationship with a guy like that? Oh, wait, that's the guy who was dropping the N-word 300 times right, on the screen until the police showed up. Yeah, they got a... <laughs> He blacked out drunk on New Year's Eve, and then the police showed up, and he just kept on saying the N-word. He would say it to the, the hotel worker. No, nah, he was, like, by himself. in and the. he uh, threw dogs. That was the other thing I don't like about him. He threw dogs. Like he's he out a, cold. Like, a puppy and throw them. Drunk as piss. I mean, he's he, out like he this. He should get together with, what, Alinity then, right? Because she, didn't she yeah. throw a cat? They could, they could compare their throwing techniques. Oh, the, God, Alinity. The dog-chucking stream. <laughs> this have you seen uh, DSP's newest grift here, Gundam? The ties. Just play it. Just play it. I, I this is just a picture. I, I just took a screenshot because I didn't want to go through it. But he is now the uh, the hundred and fifty dollar goal is now a tie, and oh. the vest is two hundred. Yeah, Wait, I saw a little bit of that. Or... Yeah, yeah, DSP he, he tied it. He... he was like so proud of himself. Here, I'll go ahead and pull up the fucking video. He looks very confused about those ties. Basically, DSP. Um... <laughs> He gets the tie and he he put he puts on clothes. So the tie is now a goal where if you give him enough money, he'll put on a tie and you can watch him wear a tie. If you give him two hundred dollars, you get a vest. So um, it's like a reverse Twitch thought stream where instead of paying to take their clothes off, you pay him to put his clothes on. Yeah, but people aren't really paying because Phil's kind of sucking a lot of dick right now. Like it's <laughs> over for him. It's not very interesting. Like the best days of Phil are behind us. Like his wife, she owns him. He can't, he can't play video games and see anything sexual, at all. Can you pull up DSP um, looking at Baldur's Gate and refusing sex on the NPC, or was it like a uh, Dragon's Dogma? What the hell? Yeah, his wife, she owns him, man. It's the weirdest thing. It's just thing. a video game. Who cares if he has sex with he an can't... NPC? Someone should do a supercut. Because I know there's detractors out there. Do a supercut of all the times DSP refused to interact with an attractive female character and pretended she was disgusting. He's like, ew, gratuitous, sexual. Is he, is he doing that because of his wife or is he doing that because he thinks it'll get him like sure. online ass pets? Hmm? Because like right <laughs> now, every, the big popular thing is to hate on sexy women in video. It's okay to fuck the bear in Baldur's Gate, but God forbid you look at the ass of the woman in Stellar Blade, you know? Oh, yeah, he won't play Stellar Blade. He said that that game is also for horny kids and that he is a married man and he gets laid by his wife. You, like can, get dude... laid... you can get laid by your wife and play sexy women in a video game. I don't, I don't understand the complaint. Here's my Theo theory. I think Kat has autism on some level. And um, she is just on him. She's like, Phil cheating with anyone even in a video game is cheating so if you're like playing with sexualized characters in video games like i wouldn't want to be with someone that objectifies women like that i'm 100 percent sure she's like that behind the scenes oh so now God. phil is like oh these games um they're disgusting stellar blade is for horny little kids and i gotta say stellar blade's not bad i did look I'm at her butt it's a ps5 know. exclusive because i want to play it but it's not on pc it'll be on pc in like a year i hope so like, every PlayStation exclusive now is coming to PC. And then when it hits PC, oh, my God, the costumes they'll make. It's going to be just ridiculous. Like, as, as someone who's played Korean games for ages, and especially Terra, I'm looking at Stellar Blade, and I'm just like, this is par for the course for Korean games. Oh, yeah. Why is everyone getting angry? Did you play, like, Black Desert at all? Yeah, of course I did. Yeah, I was addicted to that for a hot minute. I, I gotta admit. I played Valkyrie in Black Desert. And people liked my character to the point where fap fiction was made about oh, my in-game character. It's time to fap. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's illegal. That's against TOS. Oh, oh uh, uh, I'm scratching my leg. <laughs> Let's see and this I'm character. A... Pull up the... Can we see it without any sexual stuff? 
Oh, yeah, I can pull up the character without any sexuals. It'll take me a second, though, because I don't have my screenshots pulled up Oh, right don't now. worry. We have nothing but time. I'm waiting for my DSP video. <laughs> okay, I'm pulling it up right now. There we go. I You're have not talking about the old one from weeks ago, right? Um, the I new one. There's one where he's... She could be exposed to any DSP video where he's uh, against women. Yeah, pretty much at this point. <laughs> I don't got no desk ketchup. I did have desk soy sauce, though. So, yeah, I have no desire to do it. I'm not interested in it. I haven't had sex in ages. <laughs> I'm happily married. I don't need to be making sexualized jokes to get my jollies off on a fucking stream. You know what I'm saying? It's okay if that's what you're into. Cool. Those of you are younger. You know, when I was younger, that's how my mind was wired. As I got older, my mind's not wired like that anymore. I don't care about Pause it. Pause it. Okay? It's called Respect low testosterone. I love how Phil acts like... He was a young guy. He's like, oh, I was, I was a kid. I was 29 years old. <laughs> I'm, I'm 30 now. I need to stop being sexually attracted to women. That's haram. I'm 42 how, how now, guys. How old do you think guys. this man is right here, Kirshi? How old do you think he is, DSP? Oh, man. My chat likes to remind me that Matt Walsh is like 37. So What? I thought Matt Walsh was 50. <laughs> yeah, he talks like he's in his 50s. I don't know. I guess but DSP that, is somewhere in his 40s, right? She's right. Yeah, 42. All right, we should show her Review Tech USC, see how old she thinks he is. <laughs> Have you seen Review Tech? No, I don't know who that is. Pull up Review Tech, just a photo of him. Or maybe I'm also I'll bad at names, yeah, so like, even if I've heard out. someone say something, I probably won't remember their name. Yeah. Oh, I'm just like that, or too. Don't. I can't remember Jack. Thank you don't God. have to respect it, but don't come on my streams <laughs> and keep whining about it, saying, why isn't he playing this game? Why isn't he playing this game? I told you why. Well, I don't get it. What, is he a prude? No, I'm just not wired that way. I don't oh, care for on. it anymore. It's not entertaining to me. In fact, it's obnoxious to do that stuff, to play those games, and then see people nonstop in the chat talking about sexualized shit. It just bothers me and pisses me off. I don't know why people won't give me respect in that regard. And instead now, so it's one extreme or the other. Either you're completely over-sexualized to the point where you're over-the-top and obnoxious, or you're a prude. No. I'm really around here, like a normal person, but because I don't do the over-the-top shit like a lot of other people do to get the shot reactions, I'll be damned. now I'm approved. <laughs> well, fuck you. No, I'm not approved. Okay. Mr. Wet Noodle. All right. I can't, All right. I can't upload pictures to the to the stream yard thing, so I, I just sent it to uh, to Josh's DMs. Okay. Hold on. Hold and on. she can't press the present button and do what she wants? I don't I don't know. I don't use stream yards. I use just OBS for, for all of my shit. Yeah, I it's barely use any of this shit, yeah, too. Yeah, if we, uh, if, if it was just one of us, we would use OBS just by ourselves, but since I'm doing it from across the nation. You know, this, this makes things a lot easier. Like, I, I like StreamYards, I just don't know, don't know all the things in it. <laughs> Alright, we'll have to vamp. Now, tell us the truth. Are you as hot as the cat girl avatar? I mean, I, I'm, I'm not, I don't look exactly the same. <laughs> there you go. Your character looks a little bit like mine. Oh my god. Same taste. Oddly enough, I was a witch class because, like, normally I play dudes. All right. Like, I'm not one of those guys that play female characters. I like looking at man ass. But yeah, anyway. everybody, everybody ass. thought that my character was a, a witch when I would post it. I'm like, no, I'm a Valkyrie. <laughs> um, oh, while, God, while we're right here, we can actually catch up on some super chats. We've been go for in, it. inundated. Black Desert favorites. has the best costumes. Like, they will make your character sexy as fuck if it's a oh, chick. Yeah. Black Desert has great costumes. Best character creator I've touched in an MMO as well. Oh, JFA yes, with definitely. The $20. My puppy and bird passed away yesterday. Still in mm. shock, but I appreciate having Oops, me that distracted. Didn't work. Prepping things for a mushroom grow. Here's some vitamin money for your time, Papa G. Blood for the sun close. Um, as far as going on Spotify, no, not close, because I just woke up. And I had to read contracts before I got in here. Why is the guest not in the center screen? Gun Gundam having a boomer moment? Destroying the whole stream layout? There we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Vito Passion with $10. Wish I could leave New York, but roots dug too deep. At least you can, at least I can help you leave. Oh my god, the dog took the most gnarly fart. <laughs> I'm like tasting it, dude. God yeah. bless you, sir. Castrated Bob with the Australian 20. Here's some money for your vitamin fund. Nutrient deficiency is a serious issue. Huh. So is the shakes. I don't get shakes. I don't get hangovers. I could literally get blasted. Wake up the next the, day fine. I got the VTuber Parkinson's. Where are my vitamins? 
Oh, it, well, I can't give you these vitamins because you're going to have the sleep tuber vitamins. <laughs> Frank Rod with the 20 ever thought of calling into Undead Chronic or a TFM live show? What's TFM? Trans uh, female to male? What is that? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, nobody knows. I'm sorry. Undead Chronic is a name I do know, though, because I think he used to do MGTOW stuff. And then you two laid the band hammer on him. Uh, this one, Sebastian, want me to read again? Sebastian with the 10. Hold on, amps. hold on. Hold on. I got it. Gundam is going out like too mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's accurate. Be Wait, ready for it. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. I'm definitely going to go out in some fashion like that. I'll either die in a motorcycle or I'm definitely going to take too many vitamins by mistake again. <laughs> so you should just move to New Hampshire. Their whole motto, live free or die. Nasty. Go. Yeah, I like the motto, but I don't like the snuff. Uh, I'm sending this to you guys now so you can talk about the Aspen Gold Chuck Chair, Table Ketchup. Also, Kirsha, can you talk about Pippa collabing with Papa Gundam and the new he donated to the Escape from New York Fund? Fire away! Wait, do you want to know about uh, the Asmund Gold cuck chair? <laughs> it's a cuck chair? It's a cuck chair? He, he went shopping with this other Twitch streamer. I think her name was Kaisi. And they went shopping for a chair that she referred to as the chair. And it was like a $3,000 chair. It looked like a corner of the room chair. And I was just like, please. Please don't get a cuck chair, I beg. And I looked up her Twitch page, and you know she has she had all the links on the on the side, like all of them do. And I went to the links, and she didn't have an OnlyFans; she had something else. I can't remember what it was called. It's not a fan. Let me guess. It's like yep. And she she did cuckold role play scenarios, and I was like, no, no, she does. She literally does cuckold role play for people, and they pay for it. And she's out shopping for a chair. Don't do this to me, bro. I'm guessing you're cool, Vasmin Gold. I mean, I don't, I don't talk with him, uh, but like I've watched his content for a pretty long time as well. Yeah, uh, so I try to be nice because <laughs> I know he advocated for me to go down in flames, and I went off on him so bad he now pretends he doesn't know who the fuck I am. See, that's but, weird. Uh, I don't even remember like your fighting with him arc, and I've again, I've been watching both of you. Oh, that for a was while. during the Pokey drama. The Pokemon I don't, drama in I don't let things go. <laughs> <laughs> you come for me, you either say sorry or we stay with a vendetta till I die. Always keep receipts. That's my motto. So anyway, a cuck chair with him, totally see it. 100%. Because <laughs> yeah, okay, let's I be real it. here. That dude wouldn't get any pussy if it wasn't for Twitch. Oh, if I no. was Asmund Gold, I would suck the dick of whoever made World of Warcraft because they gave him a life. <laughs> then you can quote me on that. Gundam, don't give a fuck. Oh my Run God, tell that you said I did it. <laughs> this is who I really am when a mask slips. <laughs> I, I mean, it's fair. You, YouTube has to censor us so we can't speak our minds most of the time. So. I know. They're going to shut us down any minute now. Let me get through <laughs> a couple of these super chats. Zadoom with 10 pounds from Poland with love. Thank you so much. Uh, I see no evil. $10. Bet Vosh eats his Oreos with water because his dad didn't come back with the milk. That might be a gay reference. He left with the, he left for cigarettes and never came back. Nah, Asmin Gold, not Asmin Gold. Uh, boss seems like the type of dude who would have had a dad, a dad that loved him. That's why he's like that. My father, yeah, he wasn't too fond of where my life was going. <laughs> That's why Neo I turned out so strange. I have a great dad, bad mom. Uh, I had a, a absentee, angry dad, fucked up family. My mother was there great. My grandmother aunts were worse. I lived in a house with eight women. So oh my God. when you growing up as a kid, so the reason why I am the way I am is because I was programmed to be this. The stories I could tell of just it was like living in Game of Thrones if all the cast members were women. And they all hate each other. I can only imagine the amount of blood you had to deal with in your bathroom. That must have been terrifying. No, I had to deal with being told how uh women should lead and take over by people oh, no. that uh, couldn't pool their resources to invest in a better life. <laughs> That's very unfortunate. And my, my mom is definitely an unfit parent kind of person. Uh, she would just frequently disappear. She refused to like feed my brother and I most of the time, so I had to like go out and buy us food. She brought home a guy from the Aryan Brotherhood who she then went on to date for like 
10 years. She got some swastika tattoos. She was a, she was a little hardcore. She taught oh, me how yeah. to clean blood out of basically every kind of fabric and item that I possibly could ever need to. Your mother was the real deal. She was Arian. the real deal. <laughs> yeah, like not the ones that... See, Pip Kim Pippa, that's not... I had to deal with neo-Nazis when I was growing up. The real ones with the skinhead stuff, Doc Martens, and they have full-blown arm sleeves of that stuff. Yeah, Those were the Nazis I grew up with. God damn it. And the sad thing is I missed them because at least you knew what a real Nazi was back then and how to yeah, avoid exactly. them now. Exactly. I went I went from wanting to pretend my mom like was dead so I didn't have to tell my friends about her to like, yeah, come to my house for the weekend. You'll get a free show, I guarantee it. <laughs> oh my god. So this is why you're a wild animal. Yeah, Spicy pretty much. fox. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh not Neo with the ten dollars. Enjoy some funds for whatever you need to keep on keeping on and oh I finally got my GP02 shipped. Too bad I already ordered one from China, but hey, I got two now. Wow, I'm man. Timing for I'm that name. If you get those, I'll be surprised. Because my GPO2, um, gun damn it, didn't ship. Then I ordered one from China, and the Chinese authorities took it. God damn it. Uh, uh, oh, we already did that one. Frank Rod, we already did that one. Um can't read that with the 20 pounds go ahead pull a vosh i want the jav recommendations pull a vosh. i couldn't see, recommend uh, good jav pornography only the crazy ones you probably don't want to be caught dead watching now there's a question do you watch the javs oh of course uh i used oh. to back back not for getting off purposes but back in ion i used to do uh, that's drunk what we all porn say. pvp nights likely so, story when our group in PvP would get wiped, uh, we would all find the most screwed up pornography we could and watch it together while drinking. <laughs> That's an interesting... So what did you pull up for my curiosity now? Uh, this is how I learned about like nacho cheese enemas and like people getting octopuses stuffed in their nether regions. Well, okay. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Nacho cheese. It seems like a waste of nachos. Well, no, because the then they just afterwards? dip the nachos in the cheese. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was being facetious. <laughs> yeah, they, they go pretty wild over there. The Japanese are perverted. <laughs> what the? I was I'm like, like babe, wake like... up. It's time for breakfast. I got to beat the eggs inside of your anus. <laughs> Boy, is she... <laughs> And then they uh, they get their nacho cheese and they go ah tabe masta. <laughs> um, Cameron Russell with the ten like to listen to your videos while working. Keep it up. Oh, thank you. Jose with the forty. My birthday was yesterday. Buy yourself something you think I'd like. Oh, uh, thank you, Jose. I'm gonna buy some JAV that involves nachos. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Galactic Knight with the $10 in rubles. Hey, Josh, big fan. Love your content from about two or three years ago with the Keemstar stuff. So anyways, hope you have those cheeks greased up because Boss Hog is coming to break you off, baby. Hell yeah, yes, I might bring it up some old school memes from myself. Uh, Astro Rampage with the $10. Greeting our holy lord of debauchery we call Papa Gundam. Just wanted to let you know that my woman got banned on Facebook for attempting to share one of your videos. For real? What? God damn it, which video was it? It probably was one of the good ones. Yeah, how, get a hold of me. How the heck you get Rampage. banned for sharing Papa Gundam? What is that? I know. We it's pretty it. easy easy to do. I got banned on Instagram and didn't even know it. I had to submit what? an appeal. What yeah. the heck? FNT been... went down because of him. I've been Maybe not because of him. revenue I do limited on Twitter done. since I applied for the program. And they were like, oh, we reversed it. Don't worry. But I still have the flag and they won't get rid of it. Muzzy Skeleton with the $50. Here's some money for some saltines and tuna cans. Take care, Papa G. See, you might think it's funny, but the tuna I buy is, uh, it's canned tuna. I'm going to recommend it to you people now. These assholes will owe me some money. I think it's called Natural Catch. The oh. albatross or albacore, whatever it's called, man. That stuff is 20 grams of protein with very little fat. Bro, if you're trying to hit 100 grams of protein a day to maintain your muscle growth and your gains... That tune is the tuner to go with, not that package crap. 
Oh my god. Toasted, toasted tuna sandwiches kind of hit different as well. It's like a childhood <laughs> favorite of mine. Uh, I just eat the tuna straight. I'm trying to cut back on the carbs. High protein, low BS. Oh, eat it with oh a pickle. So. A pickle? Well, yes. I guess yeah, the pickles are good for your intestinal tract or something like that. <laughs> if we're going to be. Saren, it's Saren. With the, with the $50, my weekly contribution to the favorite naughty noticer. How dare you observe things, Gundam? Car survived the track last week. All right. But some It's a Gundam sticker would have shaved a few seconds off my lap times. If you ever make them, I'll buy them. Much love. They're coming. I will get on my designer about that because I need some stickers myself. Ooh. Also, Snort, thanks for the contributions. <laughs> Smug Goat with the $10. The band Corn warned us with the Evolution music video. Well, you know, I never liked Corn, so I missed that when I'm screwed. Yeah, I didn't. I don't know what that one is either. What 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 band did you like? What singular band? I don't know. I, yeah, I listened what? to a lot of like Blink well, One Eighty Two, Angels and Airwaves kind of stuff. There you go, Blink One Eighty Two people. I wasn't a fan of them either. CJ Cheryl with the twenty dollars finally got to catch Papa Gundam. Thank you for a valuable service to the community. We all like to know that we are not alone in this crazy world. Yeah, soon they will silence me. They'll ball gag me and. Then they'll sound my butt cheeks. Don't don't do that. Me, they'll stuff me with nachos. Has anyone done sound plus nachos in the JV videos? Um, I don't know. I, that's something I could look up. Usually when I'm on stream and I get hit with a thought, I just look it up. And that's how I found mm -hmm. out that people pick up wasps with tweezers and insert them into their urethra. I saw that what? too. Yeah. That's like, so what? fucking weird. Because when the when the wasp stings you, it in, engorges your your penis. I've and asked apparently the that... wrong questions. <laughs> KMS Z one with the twenty dollars. Why does it always come down to the rules for thee, but not for me? That or until it happens in their backyard. I guess it shows just how useful idiots can be. Useful, be well you... useful. Oh heck, I think we're not meant to understand regards. Well, we got the wrong uh, thing up. Oh. Oh, that's the old one. Mm -hmm. There. My bad. Uh, Mars Gundam with the $20. Thoughts on the upcoming Netflix Gundam movie? Lastly, have you seen G-Savior? I have not seen G-Savior, but I uh, do not have any hope for the Gundam. I don't think the, is the Gundam movie still happening. Because from what I understand, it was happening. Then it see. wasn't. Then we got this stupid animated thing. Frankly, I have no faith in anything Netflix does. I'm sorry. People are like, oh, One Piece was good. I watched it and I'm like, this kind of blows. Um, I'll just watch the normal One Piece. I don't need a remake. Yeah, we don't, I don't need know remakes. I could have faith in Netflix at this point, if I'm going to be honest. It's like they, they make things that are terrible. And when something is actually good, they just cancel it. So I, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know either. Everything is so lame. They That's why you need your vitamins. Happening. As far as I know, it's still in production. I don't want it to happen because it's just going to bring in more normies. And I can't stand normies, dude. Like, after The Witch of Mercury bringing in the LGBT, uh, I mean, the, 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 the Alphabet Mafia, and then having these people just theorize every character is coded gay or trans. This is like, no. No, the, the anime is from 1980, you freak. Continue. It's like, I, I think a lot of the issue is people for some reason, struggle telling the difference between fake things and reality in current year. It's like they just that's can't tell the difference point. between something that's not real and something that is real. So they have to look at it in the guidelines of what goes on in their head. They can't just have normal headcanon. It has to actually be real. It has to relate to them because they have no real social experiences. Oh my god, that's like that game dev that was just like, what do you mean that people who are minorities can't make characters that aren't related to them? Like, they, they want to see characters that are related to them. And I was like, you just, you just proved the point. That you, you just proved the point. <laughs> I feel like, unfortunately, we, like, we lost the, uh, the first Gamergate, and this new one I'm sure we'll lose to. I'm not even gonna pretend we have a shot. Because I... after Anita Sarkeesian, everything got terrible. I like, agree. They won. Games and, and are I think stupid. It's, they won because we were busy. We were younger, obviously, but we were busy laughing at them because it's like these people are ridiculous. Who is going to take them seriously? And so unfortunately, we didn't like realize how, we how overarching the problem was back then because we were just focused on you know the gaming and the comics. So basically, by default, 
while we were out living our lives thinking that this didn't matter, we lost. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you're right. When when um, these when these people are trying to push an ideology instead of just wanting to live life and have fun, like they're gonna do it by any means necessary. And while we're laughing, they're gonna be making games. And then before you know it, you're playing Spider-Man 2 <laughs> with a woman. And she's like, so this is the uh, PS5 that you told me is so amazing. And I'm like, you got to understand, like, uh, uh, the games are usually better. Uh, I don't know why Spider-Man is so cringe. The first one was okay. Uh, uh, uh. And she's like, you know, this is why I play Nintendo games. And she left. And she was <laughs> right. <laughs> so go that's, fuck that's yourself. It's in the like now, Where they're just like, we're no longer asking. You will comply. No, nah, I won't comply with anything. The average man won't comply. Go to hell, you old bitch. <laughs> like, I hope... I'm... I hope something happens where we're forced to just battle it out. It, the problem is, there's no more fighting anymore. There's no more duking it out. There's no just naturalness. There's no normalcy. There's no jokes. There's no fun. Everything has to be so regulated and homogenized and controlled. You can't the even weak, have a thought. The weak men have made hard times as it Yes! Were. I have a final solution for weak men, but no one will listen. I would probably agree with said solution. <laughs> That's it. You're my Goebbels. <laughs> <laughs> this is where it all started. This is Dude, like, ground zero. YouTube striking you down. Over. I really uh, don't understand what guys get out of sitting and watching. Have you seen the new Twitch meta? The uh, the putting the screen on your tits and ass? No, no, no. That's old. Oh, We've no. moved on. Oh, the no. new meta is so wild. I can't even show it to you. Oh, no. It's Just like... Describe it. Paint me a picture. Okay. Oh, get ready to lick your lips because this is sensual. <laughs> it's now girls in bikinis and they oil themselves up. Or they like spray themselves with a spray bottle. Like the same spray bottle I used to like spray down my 3D printed fingers. <laughs> These <laughs> chicks are spraying their bodies with it. So I didn't even know that this possibility existed. And then they sit on clear chairs and there's a camera under the clear chair. Oh, so, like, half the screen is her spraying herself down with oil, and the other half is a clear chair of, like, her ass and her under bits, and you, you see, can kind of see her, her butthole and everything. I saw and, a screenshot or two of that, and I was like, oh. huh, usually when I see this, there's also, like, a speculum inserted into their anus, so I'm a little confused. <laughs> so I knew this happening? had to be porn-related, because <laughs> Twitch dots do not have any ideas of their own. They lift everything from porn. I wish, I wish I could remember her name, but again, we've already established, I can't remember names. Like, yeah, four or five years ago. We're not platforming ago. here. If Vosh won't platform me while bashing me, they get... Oh, shit, I platformed him. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Outsmarted again. Let there me run a, through a couple There was this more actual cam quick. girl a few well, years back. Yes. Who, who talked about how, like, all of the, the Twitch thoughts are doing softcore camming and wanting to claim that they came up with these ideas. But they're I said just it first. taking it from girls who do the cam shows on Chatterbait, on my free cams, and they're doing it to an audience that is partially underage since Twitch, you know, is 13 plus. And so they, they want to be looked at as they're taking the high road. They're being, you know, like genius entrepreneur women shit people when they're just doing cam girl tactics on a non cam girl site. And then it gives all the other cam girls like a worse name. And I, I wish I could remember who said that because I think I know it, who you're it, it was talking very about. True. We used to be cool, but I think she's blocked me now due to my views on women shouldn't lead. I mean, you're not wrong, though. Well, <laughs> come live in New York under Kathy Hochul and tell me I'm wrong, lady. But I know what you're saying. Like, yeah, uh, she pointed that out, too. I used it as one of my talking points, and YouTube punished me for it. Unfortunately. Yeah, they can't stand the truth. The devil is a liar. But me, I'm the truth. Don't notice the emperor's new clothes. Yes, that she took off, and she's now spraying herself with oil. <laughs> <laughs> While also promoting her spicy links on a third-party link on Twitch, and they do nothing. Like, Twitch deserves to burn. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's do these super chats. We're uh, not supposed to have too much fun. Master Gal with the $20. I came to support the Fox Wu. Here is money for her to to get her four D-sized Duracell batteries. Keep her energized for me. Thank you for having the boss on. Please break it her into berserk with chapter 125 morning of the truth conviction arc uh the battery thing i need some explaining here i think it's because i just talk really fast and i talk for uh. basically five hours straight on my own stream 
A uh, white guy named Tyrone with the $20. Hassan needs to hurry up and bubble himself already. He sounds like an annoying valley white woman. Because he is. Yeah. Totally. Luma Angler Channel with the $20. Kirsha is my fox wife collaborating with my favorite man. I've been waiting for this collab for a long time. Kirsha, how are you doing? Did you see Reddit is seething over your existence? Both of you stay sexy and I love y'all. Okay, what did you do to Reddit? She broke um, Reddit. I didn't do anything to Reddit, but there was, a, there was a post about how I'm a I'm a far-right VTuber who's infiltrated the space, and I was just oh, like... Oh, they're talking about you? Yeah, I was like, I've been here for five years. What, I was a VTuber before the EN boom. What do you mean? <laughs> what I love no. about Reddit is how they spend so much time fixating on people just being normal. Yeah. I... <laughs> Noah Just read Cabert the thing. with the twenty dollars. Why are only VTubers talking about this? All the other right wing accounts haven't even mentioned this. Why do I need to rely on my DGen weebs to bring the news? Well, it hasn't very... made it to um, like uh, some sort of website yet. So the second is like on Gizmodo or something or the New York Post. Then your favorite YouTubers that give you daily news will be aware. Yeah. If they're talking about bridge as well. I I feel like I've basically been the only person talking about bridge, and I've been I've been trying to just spread it everywhere because it's like it. We can prevent it, but we gotta have people notice it's happening. I've heard about bridge, but I won't lie to you. I'll hear about a lot of things, and if I see a little bit and I'm not in the mood, or I've already finished looking at some sort of stupid ESG crap, I immediately walk away. Which I'm like, no, next week, I'm not doing another seven day edit. Eat my ass. <laughs> Yeah. Spacey with the twenty dollars. Apparently, Florida got rid of Swatter's rights. Space. Yeah, you ain't getting time to go, roaches. <laughs> See ya, Jack Morniki with the twenty dollars. We don't have guillotines, but we do have wood chippers. Lol in Minecraft. You remember to always add Minecraft. Douglas Kaplan with the twenty dollars. I think New York will be the last due to all degeneracy. Intelligent people will be first. Also, Kirsten might be right about that takeover. I hear most pop. I hear the most pop name in Ireland is Mahmoud. I know I spelled that wrong. I probably said that wrong too. Juice. They actually really did take over Ireland then. I'm wow. pretty sure in, in the UK with, um, it was one of the most popular names as well. Uh, Muhammad was one of the uh, most popular like, newborn baby names. JK Rowling got a, in a bunch of trouble for her April's Fool's tweet. Oh, what did she tweet up. again? Uh, she talking about all these trans and then oh it's like a real i'll pull it up later on Juice remember we're only a lot of UTs a day <laughs> oh yeah. alphabet mafia <laughs> fifty dollars kirsten and papa g together on stream is all i need for a gym tuber to jump on and all my worlds will collide loved your video on double o 83 it was my favorite i wish i could have seen the gpo 4g on screen at least we have the appearance in the eis game uh, is that the... Oh, my God. There's a mobile game from Gundam. I can't remember the name right now because I'm still recovering from my vitamins. Oh, no. Pixel Kitten VT with the $10. Feminism has gone full circle at this point. I lost it when I was deemed a person with a quote-unquote bonus hole. That was the line for me. All right, here, Pixel Kitten, you're right. I'm going to say something else controversial. Feminism led to all the dumb shit we got going on. I'm saying the last wave of feminism, the useless wave, the Anita Sarkeesian wave. That I would, one I would say opened even the door. before that wave, feminism was basically co-opted by Marxists in order to infiltrate government positions. Back in the I will 70s, go with you on that because I didn't pay attention until 2016. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say back in the 70s, the Equality Act was was pushed uh, through. And it didn't quite get pushed in until the early 80s, but that was what created a lot of the issues involving, like, no-fault divorce and removing housewife stipends. Oof. And this probably explains why Camilla Paglia and Christina Summerhoff kind of sort of slightly turned on the movement by basically saying it's lost its mind. Yeah. But, uh, what you gonna do? Yeah, you gotta get that gay-looking character in the game. <laughs> Representation. Snoopy Diz with the $10. YouTube wouldn't accept my original message, so take this lame one instead. I wonder what the original one said. Same. Uh, Lazy Gizmo with the $20. Did you hear about the indoctrination to our military? Sniffing out 
booting conservatives in the ranks. The latest story was using the vaccine mandates to kick out a lot of based military people. The draft slash hard times are ahead. You know something? I'm going to Argentina, so good luck with that. Uh, I don't, I just, I don't understand my, how we will have a functioning military at this point because... Isn't it much, weird to see alphabet people <laughs> in military outfits talking about like... Uh, like accepted and all this other dumb shit and it's like your job is to be ready to to uh, the bubble people, people. <laughs> yeah that's another thing you have to learn you can't say certain words so we use bubble <laughs> well bubble the We're people like people. hamsters oh yeah the girl who's doing the clear chair stream also is doing bubbles like dsp oh my god i saved it because i knew it would be funny to use for later dsp is an e-girl dsp is Just an e-girl beard and I mean, a pine. basically uh, no, keep going, this... Kirsten, what you're saying. I've totally lost it. Oh, no, I was just saying, like, I don't I don't see the point in where people would want to join the military at this point. And I also don't understand from, like, a subversive ideological position what you would gain by stacking your military with people who won't be as effective. If you're, if you're stacking it with people who are going to be basically mind-virused by the propaganda that you fed to them, and they're not going to be effective fighters from either up close or afar with drone striking, then what what exactly are you doing? Uh, Vito Ness with the $10 in rubles. Why they made Alloy from Horizon Forbidden West fat. They made Aloy look like um, Aloy. Nick, Nick Avocado. Avocado. Yeah. <laughs> That's another game I couldn't finish. Like, I was playing... Did I beat the first one? I can't even remember. But I was playing the second one because everybody said it's amazing. So I'm playing it. And I guess Aloy's gay now. Right? Or is she always gay? I don't I know. Like, it's safe to assume any Western female character is probably some degree of gay at this point. Yeah, they were like really kind of like making sure you knew. And of course, the black guy character who I saw too much of and I didn't care about. He had this off to the side dreads that every black character every now has. Every single character has. Yeah, I, I didn't get far, man. Like, so far, the PlayStation's been a real disappointment. <laughs> uh, Vito Ness with the $10 in rubles. Do you think Phil let his wife beat him in the nuts? Oh, my God. I'd be surprised if she's even touching his nuts. To be real gonna, with you. He gonna be like that guy that had 30 years of smegma buildup? Ah. Here's another theory I have. I think DSP didn't get laid until YouTube. I think you're right. Like, I think Pandalee was his first piece. Then I don't think him he and got cat sleep together though. I don't think they not anymore. In the same bed. Yeah. Like it's got to be over. She's on the couch. She's somewhere big. Oh, we we haven't shown uh, we haven't shown Kier's the cat. Hold on. Here you pull it up. I'll do a couple more uh, super chats hey. and we'll oh, get off this. Oh crap! I have that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you got the old picture. You need the picture with her mouth open. <laughs> I'm sorry. I haven't updated. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this Echo is Kostlana back when it was rumored. Thanks for subjecting me to another tuber to watch. Money for the move, Papa G. Oh, yeah. We're getting out of here at some point, some way. I'm telling you what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to tell chat right now. I'm not going to Hassan Pike for you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to get a big-ass house That's with right. at least a three-car garage. I'm going to be driving a classic Mustang. Don't look for me, please. And I will be riding a Ducati Penegale V4R at the very least. And you're right. It's going to be 50 fucking grand of absolute awesomeness. I'm going to die on that thing. I'm going to fully mod it for a race and then ride it on the street because fuck carbon emissions. Suck my dick. The environment will be here after I'm dead. Holler at me. Dan Bass with the 50. Cheers, Gundam. Get out of New York. Move south. Oh, yes, definitely. My God. I'm so sick of... Uh, I can't. I'm not going to subject you to my misery. Bless you, uh, Dan. Sheep City and with the 50, more story. Through a wild string of events, I was locked out of my hotel room at a convention and got roped into a police report over a dude attempting to delete someone's save file over a girl. And the dude almost yeeted himself from the seventh floor. Like, did the guy almost fall on you? Well, I guess I can't get an answer. Well, he'll, he'll be <laughs> in just... the chat. Sheep, uh, sh Sheep Sidian. If you're in the chat, go ahead and answer. But uh, yeah, I'm going to... Well, yeah, I'm going to stop right there with the super chats. There's a lot more, but... This reminds me... There was a video that was making the rounds on Twitter. and We, de we definitely cannot bring it up on YouTube. Okay, uh, you can tell a, me, though. 
Yeah, there was a guy who jumped from an upper balcony and landed on like this group of party goers balcony, and they were all just like, "Oh my god, this guy! He just he just jumped from above! Oh my god, can we open the? Can we? Oh my god, can we get out there?" And then he just jumps off of their balcony, and he is you know laying sleeping on a car below, and they're all just they're all just filming it. Like they didn't even try to like stop him or anything, and it's just like, "What the heck, dude?" See, that's the problem with our society right now. People are completely full-blown zonked out of their mind they're so far removed from reality they have to process everything through a phone but not only that they also have to film it in some sad attempt to get some internet cloud or notoriety we yeah. really just we're destroyed as a society yeah and anytime somebody tries to step in and help they just get railroaded like that guy uh oh, yeah. on the on the subway train in yeah, yeah. he got you fucked you don't help people in new york you get out of new york that's what you do Oh my god. You gotta let the crazy black man do his song and dance. How about you kiss my fucking ass and lick this my This is uh, DSP with his gorgeous wife. Notice how DSP stopped saying she had a supermodel body a few years back. That was the first indication. My god, does she love to snack? Oh man. Make it, bitch! What do you think, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kirsha? Uh, does this, I'll... uh, this is, uh, this is prime content. Maybe you need to hear their love. All right. So we're gonna get started. First of all, before you ask, there I'm, sitting on a, I'm sitting on a yeah, tiny here. plastic stool Boy. because we didn't know height-wise how this was gonna work. So Kat's yeah. sitting in my chair and I was looking for chairs around the house and we were gonna use a chair from the dining room. It's too big. I, I'm like way up here. <laughs> so the only thing in the house that I could sit on is this very flimsy <laughs> plastic stool. I feel like I'm surfing as I sit on it. And I'm gonna fall. That's so the most body movement I've ever seen DSP have in his fucking life, bro. I'm very confused as to what I'm watching. Um, I don't even know how to preface it to you. Now I remember. Ha ha! My brain cells work again. I love brain this cells. This was the day that um I had Mike Clum on, right? Yeah. That, that yeah, was okay. the same day. It was right before that. No, it was right after that. I had Mike Clum on. Well, yeah, and right after I that, asked him about like DSP's wife. Yeah, and I pulled up this question. photo here. And I was like, is DSP's wife a biggin? And he wouldn't answer. So I go, okay, between Fiona and Kelly Clarkson, which one is DSP's wife? See, it's a trick question. <laughs> it's only the answer I want. And he's like, I can't go into it. Then after that stream, DSP literally, literally, this motherfucker here, you bald son of a bitch. He goes live with his wife when I go off stream so that I couldn't milk this absolute phenomenon. Because oh. I knew baby girl got chunky. God bless him. Five years of DoorDash. And that's, yeah. that's the one who, like, he he won't play, uh, like, sexy NPC things in video games? Mm-hmm. Then... You gotta keep... She's watching him. He, then... She is watching him. She watches the chat. Have you, have you seen Attack on Titan? Yes. I really like Levi in Attack on Titan. He's, he's a wonderful short king, as it were. And I dated a guy once who legitimately got mad at me for, mm -hmm. like, my thirst over Levi. He's just like, I feel like you're insulting me and I'm being emasculated because you like this character so much. So and you I was were, like, date effeminate dudes. I was like, bro, he's not real. <laughs> <laughs> he's not actually a threat. He can't, he, I can't cuck you with him. He's a, he's a drawing. <laughs> Yeah, that that's weird to me. Like, I don't know how you could get upset with that. Like me, I don't give a rat's ass. Like, talking to a woman who's thirsty over Gojo, and it's just like whatever. Yeah, it's you not like Gojo? Real. Here, I'll three D print you a Gojo. You know, like, if, if you shit. came home and you were like, "I want to fuck Kathy from accounting," I'd be like, "Okay, now we have a problem." But like, <laughs> actually, it's Karen from finance. But we gotta admit that she's got so much riz. It's oh Kelly from Her marketing. Ass is so to fat. Tell you the truth. Oh, my God. So, uh, okay, here's one. Would you cosplay for your boyfriend if he thirsted for an anime girl? Absolutely. Why wouldn't you? See, this is the type of girl you date. Yeah. <laughs> she, there was no hesitation in that. Yes, that's the girl you want. You don't want a girl like Kat, who I can't pull up again. <laughs> I was like, you, get, you, you can put on a certain Hugo Boss uniform. I can dress up as Freerin. We can have a bit of a fight. Let's go. <laughs> a certain Hugo Boss uniform. The irony that I happen to own one. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I have a reason for this. Okay, let's hear it. While playing in rock bands in an area that actually had, you know, people that were racist and Nazis, 
to upset them, I would do full blown makeup because I learned makeup artistry from drag queens and, you know, transsexuals. And I would look like a woman while okay. singing rock music, wearing their outfit. And I called myself the gender fuck Nazi. Oh, it you know, that makes sense. Off, and it also sexually confused them. <laughs> then I ran into another problem where um, there was like this dude who was trying to kidnap me. So, yeah, that was a time. Oh <laughs> why, why was he trying? God, was he trying to kidnap you to you make him like girl. make you his wife? Uh, yeah, I, I became like his fantasy or something. Oh God, I, I didn't really see that part coming. You know, to be yeah. real with you, but I have to admit, I did look good. <laughs> so you were the, you were the catalyst for all of the femboys on the Nazi Discord servers, eh? Dude, I was a pioneer. <laughs> Like I could have, oh, I, like if TikTok existed at that point, I would have done videos to like goodbye horses while putting on the lipstick. Like, would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. You know, you just could, you could have, you could have been the pioneer before our our Dylan Queen. God damn, I could have been rich. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> fuck you. Man. Could have been the one to tank Bud Light. Even it could now, have been you. If I decided to pull on full face fantasy for like three hours, I look like more of a woman than Dylan Mulvaney, and I have <laughs> yeah. no facial surgery. That's because that cunt won't learn how to fix her mug, girl. Oh, it's like when, when I was hearing you talk earlier, you know, you have beautiful, luscious hair when black women start asking you to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I had a black girl actually hit me in the head with a steel chair over it. What? what the f Why? I went to bad schools. I, you can't. I mean, as much as they might want to, they can't actually steal your hair. What does hitting you with a chair do? Listen, you don't try to understand the hood rat. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Oh, God. Now you kids, you go to school and you got to listen to gender pronouns. I would rather be beaten with a chair. True. <laughs> True and real. Have y'all no, heard it wasn't about wrestling the, uh... school. It was high. No, it was junior high school. Have y'all heard about the new drama between Azzyland and uh, Sniper Wolf? I don't even know. Oh, that's not new. That's been going on for years. Yeah, I don't but, even uh, know one of those names. Azzy says that Sniper Wolf beat her up, like assaulted her. And that's it's in Nerd City's newest video that came out today. Listen, Sniper SS Wolf has always been a cunt. Like, let's be real here. She's been arrested for breaking an entry. entry. Yeah. Was she arrested for battery? Battery, domestic yeah. violence, Bro, uh, you do, DUI. You do platforms fucking criminals. I have yeah. done nothing wrong. Listen I just the... said Dylan needs to fix that mug. Check out this story. They were like in a circle and I was walking, I walked in the bathroom and then I, when I was walking back, I saw them and they were like, hey, Ozzy. And even though, and then I was like, it's not just there. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Just, just be nice. They just walk over and then I go into in there and I got really awkward. So I started like just say, telling an embarrassing story of myself. And uh, she just like is looking at me. She's silent and she's like, like angry. And then she like lunges at me. And I don't remember like exact details because it was just fucking terrifying in between and like pulled her off me and then they took her back into the room and then I was out there and they were like what the f was that <laughs> it was just like it's so oh yeah she was like oh yeah she was scramming at me she's like a bunch of words I can't actually say on YouTube but the one sentence I can say is she goes you fake your game plan and then charges towards me swinging. This is an Azzyland only channel from now on. Sniper Wolf is no longer my best friend. Azzyland is my best friend. Leah had to be physically pulled off of Azra and was dragged away screaming and clawing. Yes, this was me, the child with the anger issues who would never back down from a fight. And I scream really loud. You know that high pitched scream that girls do? I'm not even gonna do it for you guys just to spare you headphone users. <laughs> When the narcissist, she is terrible. I'm gonna be I real. Still bone her, though. This felt like I was just watching a beginning of the episode recap from like the real world on MTV. That's what it this does is. Sound like, it does feel like that. <laughs> okay, truth be told, chat, would you still smash her though? For real? Because I'm not gonna lie, I've nailed chicks like her before. Once in the chat, crazy. if you smash. Yeah. Once in the what? chat, if you smash. Don't even lie. Don't lie. I've I've actually had sex with crazier women than Sniper SS Wolf. I'm doing a one in the chat. What is what you, is the craziest woman you have ever had relations with? Do you have you have to like sneak uh, out her fire escape window so she doesn't knife you? I had a chick fucking fake her death. What the 
<laughs> and she left before a married dude. It tried to get him to leave his wife, so she faked her death. It was what? wild. And if I told you the married dude was because he's semi famous, like I gotta like uh, I gotta protect myself. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no. we got a bunch of ones oh, in the chat. Nuts. It's an obvious one. Obvious like, ones. I guarantee you, you can eat nachos out of her ass. No question. <laughs> uh, somebody gave it eight. That dude can do it eight times. B, you're a real one. I like that. Chad, Chad, if you eat the nachos out of her ass, hit the like button. <laughs> chat, one in chat. Here we go. I would take some nachos. Fresh off the cheeks. You, got, you guys aren't even starting at cereal or fruit salad. You want to go all the way messy right away. <laughs> well, <laughs> I figured that. I don't know what I'm doing. I've got problems. <laughs> so it's the vitamins. Blame it on the vitamins. Someone said, unlike, that's it, you're banned. No, you can't no. handle the truth. The likes are going down. Kirsha, Levi, nachos off his ass cheeks. Yes, no. Um, I don't think I would eat off of a man's ass, but like flip him over and let me eat off of his stomach. Okay, I'll there. Do that. There we we're, go. We'll like do it for you. There we go. Yeah. So it's it's technically a one. It's an audible. Oh yeah. my god! You see, I like her. Go. I'm beginning to understand how she thinks. Yeah, you can you can lay out a sushi board on a man's abs. Use a use the the cum gutters for the soy sauce. It just works. Uh, there we go. So now you have to be. See, now it's like there's a barrier, my guys. You have to have the abs and, as she calls them, the cum gutters, which means look, it's look, the You don't have to have the abs. I'm just picturing it's... like a board, okay? Listen, I'm going to tell you what she really means. You have to have the V-shape right here, your hip bones, like I'm looking down at myself. And you only get that from a very well-maintained diet and a great <laughs> ab workout. I know because I've had them before YouTube because I could dedicate two hours a day to working out. I miss if those you, days. If you don't have the cum gutters, where is the soy sauce going to go? That's the side of your fat ass. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we get, we're getting, we're That's getting a, a weird sexual tension in here. <laughs> I know it's, it's. We're just, we're just, we're, we're going into weird places that normally should be a private conversation. Because <laughs> there's things I would ask, but I'm like, I can't do that live. Oh no! I'll save it for later. Okay. <laughs> oh wait, we have to find out. With the with uh, your post that you put on about um, what post? the homeboy that you uh, was at City Hall meeting earlier. I don't remember. DeMarcus. Oh, man. DeMarcus. Yo, Irving City Council. How you doing? How you doing? My name is Tiny, and I'm a professional <laughs> sports gambler. But unfortunately, my career is at a standstill because I got six baby mamas all in the DFW Metroplex. What? So I can't live in a state that's got legal gambling in a sense it would be march madness i'm coming up here to beg y'all to make sports gambling legal in the city so i can stack my paper and pay for the illegitimate illegit illegitimate children's i know some people think sports betting is risky but i got an unbeaten system that can put money in all y'all pockets seriously my system is easy I bet on the blackest and darkest teams in college sports because uh, black of the berry, sweet of the juice, and better the jump shot. I also got a sports betting angle that's foolproof since y'all want to let these all these transgenders up in the league. That is full proof since y'all want to let all these transgenders up in the league. I became almost a millionaire betting on Leah Thomas's big ass winning all them swimming meets. And just like these transgender swimmers, my swimmers are strong. That's why I got so many baby mamas. But you know what that means? I got a lot of bills to pay. So I'm sick of risking my life and my freedom on gambling illegally on transgender athletes. So I beg you, Irving City Council, to please legalize sports gambling because I can't afford to be up in the <laughs> penitentiary doing five to ten years on some weak ass gambling charge. This guy should be a comedian. I also would like to probably like if y'all could uh, give me some uh, rep rep uh, representations because <laughs> Irving is hella white and I'm hella black. My great grandfather <laughs> was a slave in Mississippi, so y'all owe me for real. One minute left. And also. I'll say one more time, you white city council people need to legitimize gambling and start putting 
y'all's money on these transgender swimmers because they got propellers in their back friendly swimsuits. And remember to always bet on black. I always want to shout out to my homie, Demarcus Calloway, who is locked up for murder, but he didn't do anything wrong, but stab a police officer, which is according to the BLM movement, is okay. It's time to get paid, bitches. Legalize it and free my homie, Demarcus. There's no way this guy is real. Hashtag free of Demarcus chat. Free Demarcus. I... Ah, great. I, can't I gotta unsubscribe. I told you not to play that shit. That's a black woman, too. Do you know how hard it is to hold a black woman demographic? I'd have fired your ass, damn it. Come it's back. Like .0001 of the channel. You just lost Yeah, literally, I just lost women. my only one. Yeah. <laughs> Her and the other one. I have a Don't feeling. Don't get mad at me for Demarcus. I have a feeling he's not very good at gambling, considering he has six children to six different women. Well, you know, you got to... He takes his chances. Man's <laughs> you win some, you lose some. That's pretty yeah. much gambling, you know. Oh, my God. Now, I've taken some L's on some, like, off-whites, man. You it's always it a gamble. Like it's a roulette table. Well, Mark, thank you for cutting me off. Wrong. He just stabbed a cop. No big deal. <laughs> 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 uh, now, what the chat really wants to know. How much cake you got? Oh my god! Ooh. I I mean I got like I got like an okay cake I suppose like I could I could you know I got Ooh. I got I got it's covered by a dress but you know I meant I got... IRL not like this. <laughs> 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 you brought the cakes out like it was a bakery. Wait, you, can't, you can't be asking about about the the other the pilot all right okay you know the pilot the pilot's not real. <laughs> oh man, I try to help chat out so that way when like people do some more fan art of you which I've seen a lot of. They could be more accurate. Chat's going crazy right now. That's a no, clip just, right just there. You, just use my, my delicious foxu cake. I guess, like, she doesn't want to tell you because it could be better than you imagine. It, it would just, <laughs> you know, you just go overboard. You know, you just start foaming at the mouth. You're like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Kiersey. Oh, she's even hotter than the fucking Avatar. Oh, my sweet Lord. Oh. No, no meat in hand gaming. <laughs> no That's meat in hand ways. gaming. Uh, well, I like that phrase. I'm going to use that. I'm yeah, stealing it phrase. for Billy. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I need that for Billy. Next question. Is your stomach flat and spelt? Oh man, I got a, I got a little bit of a little bit of a chubbly that I can pinch with my fingers, but you know. Oh. That's what happens when you become a strimmer. That's true. Oh my god, this this job just does a number on your body. It you does. go that's from why being... I'm back in the gym, all right? I don't want I don't want to get worse. <laughs> You go from being voted one of the sexiest men on the internet in gay Connecticut before the publication is closed after you're featured to this. <laughs> I'm not talking oh about my myself. Oh Y'all seen God. this? The, uh, hmm? the toxicity rating oh, that Melanie man. Games is putting oh out. Oh, my God. What is with this music? I know. It's about like racism, bigot. Killer. Oh, this is violent. Did you not check? It? Oh my god. Do you not check before you throw things on? That's the second N word today. It's okay, I'm they can say N words, see, Gundam. See. He thinks I'm crazy. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay if they say it. You See? just can't say it. Yeah, you, you, you're not me. Deal with you two. You two will sit there and I have been linked to promoting prostitution, body <laughs> dismemberments. They even have one video where they said I was teaching people how to bake drugs. These well, that fuckers, makes sense. they because find he was, something. He was talking about birds. That, that one they got me for racism and targeted harassment. Do you know oh do you know who God. Dr. Uncle Turtle Boy is? No. <laughs> uh that's like the online moniker for a guy named Aiden Kearney, who's a journalist in Boston. And there was there was a uh, like a mayor or a comptroller. I can't remember who she was. Somebody in like the local government. And they had found like a transgender trap house with a whole bunch of guys overdosed on drugs. One of them was dead. There were children in the back room. As a whole case, 
But the lady, like, didn't want to look into things or something. And then there was this whole scandal where she had anal sex with her disabled son in the room. And the guy who had sex with her posted Aww. a video like, she let me do it in the poopa. And so <laughs> Iden, Iden called this woman and, like, made this whole, like, voicemail about how Tuesday night's anal night. And he slipped in the F word while he was doing... I got flashbanged by him saying the F word. But it's okay, because the YouTube didn't care, because I didn't say it. <laughs> Gunnam died. He's back to life. <laughs> I see I see. I murdered you with that one. <laughs> There's so much that just happened in that string of words. I was verbally assaulted. <laughs> My social battery was completely drained. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it was so, uh, wild so when the, I found it. The Alphabet Mafia Love Shack. Was anyone yeah. arrested? Um, I'm not sure if anyone was arrested, but I mean, obviously the, the corpse had to be removed. <laughs> this stream is screwed, dude. There's this no coming back. Just I give up. Play it. Wait, who this? No, That's that was a video the... I was about to put up. I thought we were going to watch that goddamn... Uh... We can't watch the other one. You pulled it down. Yeah, yeah they dropped the N-word. I guess we're going to skip the N-word this time. <laughs> uh, pull up this Forget one. it. This, just, this dude right just here. Just play something while I recuperate. Yeah. <laughs> Call the cops. Call the cops. Is that Quentin Tarantino? <laughs> If Quentin was on crack. Oh, so he doesn't have any feet stickers on it. Somebody took their vitamins today. Uh, I just got hit by... What's happening? He's telling me about drugs. He's on all the drugs. Bro, is this San Francisco? Everybody! Yeah. Everybody! I knew it. Take this out tonight! Take this out tonight! Yes! Did you just say he, he's taking us out tonight? Like, to tell any more people... Violently or for drinks? You know, I got to say something. Is that a great advertisement for like vitamins? <laughs> like, <laughs> like he's living his best life at that moment. Yes, yeah, some cars got wrecked, but you know. It, like, some cars got wrecked last night by a famous football player racing Porsches and whatnot. This guy, he's just hes just trying to probably get through a bad divorce, you know. He's Editor, probably uh, edit in some, uh, some uh, drug commercial music and, <laughs> and pills over that clip. He's probably lost his job, and he's just kind of like, you know, he gets up one day, you know, theoretically, and he's like, God, I just can't do it today. Let me take some vitamins. And then he measures them out wrong because he has to be on a live stream at five. And then he just gets completely blasted out of his mind. He's probably he's, one dose away from figuring out where they give out those legs you can feast on in California now. The fact that he could drive that far and only get into two wrecks speaks volumes of his self-control. <laughs> he was just hanging out. He was just hanging out with them. And he loved everybody at that moment. This next video I want to show you because I want them to use it for an advertisement for... Uh... Jordan 1s. They should use this for the new Jordan 1 ad. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, my God, I'm on Oh, oh, oh. oh <laughs> The voice of my discreet for my God, I'm on my God, I'm on Oh, oh what's oh, that? Oh, oh. Oh, Jordan 1s are holding up there. I think this is actually a better advertisement for Heelys. Listen, yeah. those shoes brought MJ to championships, and they get your game on track, not your wig pushback. <laughs> if, he, if he had the wheelies, he could have popped the wheels out and just not even cared. He wouldn't even be yelling about the police. He'd be yelling, "I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna come in there." I think and if I'm he had the wheelies, strongly yell at you. <laughs> now the wheelies would have buckled under that pressure. They oh aren't meant God. for that speed. <laughs> they probably would have rolled his ankle and he would have ended up under the car. But the oh, Jordan man, ones, they're keeping him alive. They now, if he didn't skip leg day, he could power off his legs and roll over the hood. And walk away with minor injuries unless the person rolled over, you know, the, put the car The Back reverse. to the Future uh, move. The one where Marty McFly jumps over the car. They did that in a movie? 
Yeah, Back to the Future One. Well, I'm after Google doing that. Just like right now, like he jumped off the skateboard, skateboard went underneath the car, he ran over the top of the car, jumped on the skateboard. Could you give us a reference to some of us? <laughs> 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 I'm like Back to the Future. I haven't seen that in so long. All I know is Michael Fuck J. Out. Fox has Parkinson's, and he was in it. <laughs> That's true. I have I have the virtual Parkinson's because my model just kind of jiggles without me even. Moving Whenever your sometimes. model jiggles, I'm pretty sure someone like clips that specifically. That's why I try to be quiet when it happens. <laughs> Because I know that somebody out there is enjoying it. That's why I asked all those questions. I was like, okay, people want to know what cake she's got. She's oh got a flat God. little tummy they can rub their nose you in. Got, you got, you got, you got the fox dimensions. The the pilot doesn't exist in the in the in the online sphere, as it were. Well, that's a good point. That's how I am with this garbage. Yeah. And man, I can't wait to turn it off. <laughs> the second the stream is over, bam! I turn this fucker off and I start living life, hitting the eye. Hey, you're telling me if I if I was to walk up to you, you don't have a Gundam helmet surgically attached to your head where if I ripped it off, your brains would just spill out all over the floor? No, but I am saying if you came over, you would find a life-size Gundam head. Oh, well, you know, does the Gundam head stay on in the bedroom? Uh, depends on requests. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is this? What is this you, I'm looking at? Oh, uh, uh, it's that black chick that's in everything. This uh, is uh, more Sweet Baby Ink writing right here. It's the new I Joker almost called DLC. her Wesley Snipes, and that's not right. What is her name? <laughs> oh, God, what's her uh, name? Nobody knows. <laughs> I don't know. I did have women request I wear the Mandalorian helmet in bed. So That makes sense. That would look yeah. good. Yeah. So I guess you'll fit right in. I do have to watch the Joker be gay. Yes. Unfortunately. Come on. <laughs> Put it in me. Oh, what? Bloody hell. Yeah. Put it in me. Oh, mate's bloody hell. Now you've just made it weird. <sighs> That's some top-notch sweet baby ink writing right there. Why did they have to do that? I miss when black women just had weave shops. <laughs> That's culturally insensitive. Speaking of, uh, actually, I'm glad that you said weave shops because I've been wanting to play this video for weeks. <clears throat> this is a, a lost <laughs> video from the 80s. It's an ad for oh. Jarrell's hair hairstyle. Hair, whatever. Already with the name like that, I know it's going to be watched. Ad. And I want you to pay attention to like what his hours He's pulling of up shit from his are. childhood. Don't ask questions. <laughs> I love it. Um, he that's the first time I saw a black man with no goddamn s rhythm. Like, Lord have mercy. <laughs> it was like a busted ass prince. Yeah, that's what we we're getting the energy from. Prince, I home. would <laughs> prince with downs or something like that. <laughs> it's just, Lord have mercy. That was bad. But I will say, I probably prefer that version of black man. They're less likely to rob a store. And if they did, you get a theme song with it at least. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you a little Sh gift instead of a knife. It's gonna it's gonna be a song. Jarrell hit a backup ah! band. His shit was open till midnight. You know if your girl's at Jarrell's at midnight. She ain't well, Jarrell knew his demographic was up yeah. late. Go for Jarrell. She's getting the John Redcorn special. Oh yeah, I got a headache. 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Chicks were like chomping at the bit for Jarrell. He looked rough. This, I feel like twenty seven dollars was a lot of money for back then. Twenty seven fifty. That's probably yeah. Like that sounds expensive. Six hundred dollars in today's money. Nah, it's <laughs> probably like a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what is, what is the you're good at these number things? Uh, how much is twenty seven dollars in today's money? Let's get depressed over the economy. I love getting depressed over the economy. Hold on. That reminds it's me of uh, when, hit me with when it. people would fight in the parking lot in the uh, restaurants down here, and then the weaves would be in the parking lot after. I got used yeah. to calling them tumble. Twenty seven dollars would be worth one hundred and one dollars today. Oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ. Like, that sounds expensive to me, but, like, maybe it's not. I don't know how much curls cost. Well, the hair looks so bad. Even then, $27 seemed like a lot. <laughs> and now you realize $100 that was $100. For, uh, yeah, I know. $100 for all that? Oh, my God. We're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I'm not going to put the, the audio Jarrell on, was snorting crack, man. Jarrell was getting it done in the city. I mean, look at that. St. He was Louis, feeling baby. himself. Yeah, oh, he was definitely few men, so. few men go outside and have that much confidence. Jarrell was like one of them dudes who he was pulling like the Eddie Murphy thing. Eddie Murphy's running around yeah, in full leather suits, and so was Jarrell. Hot okay, you know that. Nice shirt, though. Look at that. That's sad. That's custom made. And it's ruined because he's got that Jericho juice in it. Yeah. That don't make no sense. That's a one and done right there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, he probably didn't even think about it. Then, like, after the shoot was over, he tried to clean it. Like, oh, damn. My satin, baby. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and then, like, the chick in his bedroom, like, Jarrell, what happened to your shirt? I better not bring this near a fire. Damn. <laughs> baby, give me twenty-seven fifty. Well, maybe I should, and then I could claim the insurance money. <laughs> it probably would happen. <laughs> Look at that store. They just spray painted Jarrell's on the side of the building. That's Good awesome. for him. That, if that dude, was like a barbecue joint, I'd go. That right looks there. like they have good barbecue. They probably that's around back. <laughs> you know, like Jarrell could have diversified, had like food out there too. It would have been off the chain in the eighties. You're playing Prince music. Do 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 do. Come on, baby, I'm gonna do your hair. You're gonna look so good. Oh my God, every man gonna want to take you to the dance. We're going out to see Purple Rain tonight. Oh, Jarrell. Yeah. <laughs> the spa that I go to for manicures and pedicures, they mm -hmm. they give out like daiquiris and fruit plates while you're getting your nails done. That's pretty great. Uh, Asians work in there, right? Oh no, it's uh, all white people. Oh, oh! They, <laughs> now that's they learn from the Asians. <laughs> the white people are like, we have to beat the Asians, so we're gonna give out strawberry daiquiris. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> get you liquid up. <laughs> and then Ming like down the road. What do you mean, Jerry? Give daiquiri? How does he get any profit? <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, Jarrell. Good for you, Jarrell. Jarrell. God bless you wherever you are, J-Man. He's doing 20 years for drug trafficking. <laughs> oh. For real? I, 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 maybe. Probably. I was about I to was say, say that whoa, that was not journey. an expected ending. Yeah. I should look him up, though. Next week, we'll figure it out. If anyone wants to help out, figure out what Jarrell happened to Jarrell's. Probably did. We're going to figure Let's out where Jarrell's at now. Jarrell probably put like a, a, a perm in some chick's hair and it fell out and her man stabbed him to death in the floor, yeah. you know? <laughs> so, Unfortunate so news tonight from Jarrell. said I'm West Virginian. Do you ever get called like Bostonian or from New Jersey? Uh, Yeah, that, people think I'm from Jersey or Boston sometimes. This isn't even a Boston accent. I I am from Boston and people always are like, oh, you're from New Jersey. You sound like you're from Jersey. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you're from Boston, in all oh. honesty. It wasn't thick enough. <laughs> I was like, she's I mean, from somewhere. It's not like super thick, but when I say certain words, you can definitely hear how weird it sounds. But like when it, I get frustrated, you can, you can tell I'm from Boston. <laughs> but it explains like your uh, position on things. Like yeah. a woman from Boston, is it going to be as like annoying with uh, <laughs> diversity as a woman from NYC? Oh, my God. Are you, th you think so? I'm not sure about that. Well, there's two types of New York women, in my opinion. The normal ones and the ones that think they're in Sex in the City. True, true. I like this comment. Jarrell is in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give Jarrell the benefit of the doubt. I think, like, his store probably died in the 90s. And oh, no. he either bowed out gracefully or he got stabbed over a bad perm. That's what I'm leaving with. 
God, now Hopefully. I want to know where Jarell is. Yeah, yeah, now I need the nah, I need the Jarell extended cut. Where is he now? I want to see if he has any more songs. He's our Tiger King. <laughs> what if he know. blew his entire savings on that like video, and then went bankrupt? He could he couldn't cost enough everything. people to make it back. Yeah, he probably dropped a few hundred bucks. So twenty seven dollars is a hundred now. A few hundred is like a few thousand. God, things suck. He's it a sucks. working man, though. Eight in the morning till midnight? It's fucking 16 hours. Jarrell should have did from noon to midnight. That would have been I haven't even sense. gotten a haircut in, like, a decade. I couldn't imagine going to get curls at midnight. Like, that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> it <laughs> sounds pretty normal to me. Going to get a perm, baby. Pretty much. That's a total black woman thing, late at night. Oh, speaking of black women things. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. What's this? You already know it's some hood. Does that guy look like he's seen some things? That guy looks, like, scared right now. Yeah. Go, he's go, probably in a bad neighborhood. She's saying, go, 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 they're shooting up the car. Oh, my God. What the fuck? What is that? <laughs> what you what think? What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's Jarrell. What the fuck is that? <laughs> For what? Bitch better yeah. have my money. Yeah. Uber driver she, don't get paid she just acted like it wasn't nothing. Look at her. She's probably been shot before. And she was like, they're shooting. Go, go, go. Like, she got she real low. So calmly. To be real with you, I've heard so many gunshots in my life, I could shoot, sleep through them. Isn't that true? What the fuck? What is that? What the fuck Where's is my 2750, bitch? You got to... You gotta pay for inflation. That? That's a hundred thousand now. For what? Get the fuck out of my car. I would have kicked her the fuck out. How are you gonna do that? You'd have to stop and get shot. That's right. You ain't even thinking. You'd end up dead. I, I haven't been in too many shootouts. <laughs> You'd be like, bitch, got the ow, ow, ow. <laughs> What's going on out here? Then she crawl like in the front seat and leave with your shit. Yeah. While you bleed out in the road. <laughs> then people will film you for TikTok. Hey, yo. This Uber driver just got got. They took his car, baby. Anything for the content, baby. They're like, we eating good out here. <laughs> he, yeah. he not cooking no more, but we are. <laughs> yeah, like your last moments will be that. Jesus Christ. People making fun of you while you're standing over you. Man, he got <laughs> fucked up. You, your Should've face becomes like a Wojak meme or you like dying on the street. How uh -oh. This is, terrible this face. is a review tech, by the way. We've had a crash. What? The avatar has eaten. Uh oh, that's a bad crash. Whoa. Oh my god. And that's Hold a on. big one. They're not just trying to take him off of YouTube anymore. They're trying to assassinate him entirely. Okay, how close am I to getting that Meta PCs deal? Because uh, this is looking <laughs> grim. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll, I'll contact Meta PCs after this stream. Oh my fucking fuck. <laughs> Jarrell. Jarrell. <laughs> Jarell needs baby. to light a candle with his curl juice. You need I mean, a new PC real bad. Hey, $2,750. $2,750. I got you, baby. <laughs> Let me do a couple uh, super chats while he restarts. Snoopy Diz with the 20. Nintendo America just decided to push DEI into their job listings. I want to ban Berserk and Sexy Anime. The work virus is slowly going to creep into Japan. These are really end times. Oh my god, why It'll did never you come take back with a Japan. creepy DSP smile? Oh, that's Daddy Phil. He's just letting you know, meta PCs. <laughs> I really need that PC. Hold on, let me get a better one here. Um, the but... Praying Hands Phil. Yeah, Praying Hands. There we go. There, yeah, that one. Please, please <laughs> the love yeah. of fuck. There we go. Robert Russell with the $10. I'm building the RX 79G EZ8 as we speak. The master grade is probably master grade or high grade. So I'm going to guess it's one of those. Both of them kind of dated. The opponent's chaplain with the $10. They didn't use my proper pronouns, so the Geneva Conventions need not apply. The Geneva Suggestions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More like an outline. Uh, Eugenio Oliversia with the $10. Hey, Gundam, ever play MS Saga on the PS2, an old-school Gundam RPG where you interchange different Gundam parts and featured suits from the Wing, G Gundam, and others. One of my favorite games of all time. Didn't even know it existed till recent years. 
Keck Lord with the 20 pounds. I forgot they made Tracer a les because I see her getting railed on a certain site so often. Oh, man, oh no, how fucking. do I word this? There's, there's a subreddit for the alphabet soup people who are female to male. Ah! And the purpose, Acceptable. the purpose of the subreddit is that their their kink is breed me back into wanting to be a woman, daddy, please. And wait, what? Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. Let me try this. Okay. All right. So it's woman to, to male. Yes. But they want to be women again. Yes. So they, they've had the transition, right? So they, they've had the, the, the top surgery. They have the meat stick. Ah. But they're just like, they're just like, I, I, need you, I need you to breed me back into being a woman. But how? The love is... box has been closed off. <laughs> how is this a kink? What's going on here? It's, None of this makes sense. It's a very sense. weird subreddit. This seems like it. <sighs> I have my assistant look it up for lulz. <laughs> Moving on. KMSZ1 with the $20. It's the same with games. How are you going to preach DEI, DEI when the game that had included DEI is or has violence, murder, blood, etc.? I... Boom the hell out of a colored gender dinosaur. Hey, Kettle, meet my best friend, Pot. You know, I do remember some, like, activists running around and screaming that Grand Theft Auto should make it so you can't, you know, bubble women in the game and minorities. And I sitting there like, you got to be effing shitting me, man. <laughs> By the way, remember... someone did link the Reddit in chat. Oh, man. Are you for real, bro? You, you can't what? link porn in YouTube chat? <laughs> Are they well, uh, I don't know. No, it's just like this slash what you oh, okay. so you can find it. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, right now, they didn't do full. Like, I was about to say, was there a mod? We got a problem. <laughs> I would have never found that personally. This person did some quick work. <laughs> Warden like, Word with the $20. Come to the south, bro. We'll go pew pew with some MGs at my range. Had to rewrite this comment so many times. Mama Susan is still mad at you. Mama Susan is long gone. She'll never return. This she is, voted this is for why, policies. How that restrictive have... YouTube chat is. I dual cast and I'm just like, look, the best viewing experience, watch the stream on Twit uh, on YouTube with the YouTube player. Use the Twitch chat. We gotta like make people jump through hoops. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Cole I Summers may. with the ten dollars. It's Ricky Gervais from Wish. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one. Uh, Four twenty-seven Arbok with the twenty. Somehow I forgot what time it was. Gundam and Kirsha today uh, together has been long overdue. Also, here's a little for the Get Papa Gundam out of Hell New York Fund. Every dollar will be used for me to escape, and then ride the most badass motorcycles, and then I might die. Coming to but the south. You know, it would have gone to a good cause. Do you think it would be more or less expensive if you used the tunnels to escape New York? Well, I'd only end up in a synagogue. I'm not really <laughs> interested in that. The tunnels. <laughs> Roy Faulkner with the $10 for your get out of New York fun. Also, me and my buddies finally finished Berserk 97 last night. Worth it. One of them hadn't seen it yet, and then it became one of its top five. Please, Japan, don't ban Berserk. Why would Japan ban Berserk? That's not happening. Like, you might get some ESG crap in Nintendo and Sony and uh, Microsoft. But overall, if they're only publishing games or if the games are published by another entity, I think we'll be fine overall. I have to have some sort of optimism or else it's all doom and gloom. And we're not about that here. We're about Kish's toes. What? Wait, hold are on, they wait nice? Minute. Because you just said you got a pedicure. <laughs> Mini cakes. Mini cakes. Are you... Are you into the foot things, Papa Gundam? Do you want me to squish strawberries for you? Well, I am trying to get stuff for the people so that they clip it and then recommend this goddamn stream. <laughs> I'm doing what I gotta do. Pa Papa Gundam out here like, please clip me. I, w I will lick this woman's toes for you, Chad. Well, not me. We're gonna have uh, Sundercat do it. He says, give me them toes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Brave SJ with the ten dollars gun to reverse the male VTuber pipeline. He started out cross dressing for strange men in bars, and now he has a normal male model. True. Okay, okay, let's talk about this. I was practically an amalgamation of Prince, David Bowie, and Freddie Mercury from Queen. I was just trying to give people art because the music scene in New York, it's kind of lame. And it still is, even though I'm out of the game, mainly because some band members aren't talking to me. But we'll talk about that some other time. Oh, I was so no. sick of watching live bands and everybody's in a black T-shirt. I'm like, what's interesting color. here? Yeah, nobody moved. Nobody did anything. I was like, this is why the scene sucks balls. So I went out there and I would get Japanese kimonos and stuff. I do... Uh, what the hell is it called again? Uh, God, what's that art form that I can't remember the name of? And I'll kick myself later because I'll remember. K Kabuki. Theater? Kabuki. That's Kabuki. it. Thank you. How did I so know I that? Because <laughs> it's pretty, like, it's pretty big. But, like, I how did I know do... that's what you were thinking? I don't know. That was weird. We're in wavelength. We're both weirdos. <laughs> so I would do Kabuki and all sorts of costumes and stuff because I wanted people to have a show. It's about entertainment. I want it to be remembered. What I did do successfully was get us blacklisted from opening for almost every band in upstate New York. What the Because, heck? not to toot my own horn, we definitely crushed every headlining act. Because I made it my job. I was out there to just fucking do it to it. We're going to the extreme, to the max. I am going to kick your ass. See, if and only you could I have exploited leave. the system back then. And be like, what, are you going to discriminate against me? I'm wearing makeup. I'm a woman. You can't kick me out. Well, that stuff didn't really exist. <laughs> like, in 20 fucking 15, you, 16, miss, you miss everything just by, like, 17. a few years. Like, literally. A handful of years. Oh, well. That's life. Unlucky. Time to... Um... Shadow Fair with a ten dollars. I was waiting for this collab, collab, and it hasn't disappointed me. That's great. Don't worry, Richard Review Tech USA is here too. Whoa. <laughs> We're supposed to ask Kershaw how old do you think he is? Yeah, how old do you think he is? Let me get rid of that. I mean, it's kind of hard to see his face because it's a weird angle. Let me get another one. Let me get another one. But I mean, like he has the same oh, beard oh, that my grandfather oh. had when my grandfather was like in his early sixties. Oh, keep going. I'm just yelling at this dog. You know, I, my dog is uh, technically a German breed, and she responds to German commands. My my roommate's dog is also a German breed. It's a Klein Spitz. I have Spitz as well. Oh, my God. I didn't know Fluffy was a Spitz. We're going to have to hang out after the show and then do some very racist things. Oh, just uh, kidding, Reddit. Definitely. Just kidding, Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, you know, I probably want to go with, like, early 60s, maybe late 50s. Ouch. 42. Oh. Yeah, I was surprised to find out how old Rich was last night. Yeah, he's almost exact same age as DSP. Yeah, that's, like, wild. They really do well, have a lot in common. <laughs> he looks like he'd be a nice grandpa. Maybe, I don't know. Not if you talk <laughs> to his uh, former editor, Jay. Yeah, don't <laughs> I don't know who he is, so, you know. I gotta say, like, Rich Fight with Jay was the most fun I've had with Review Tech USA stuff in a while. That was fun. That and was, then, like, the best. Then Jay streaming with his mom. Yeah, that was a oh, weird my, move. That was weird. Like, Jay is, like, just pulling people from around the fucking neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, like, he runs down the it's like, uh, uh, you! <laughs> you wanna be on my life You wanna life be on now. stream? <laughs> it's like, God what? damn, Jay. You know, at least if I was Jay... Instead of getting a cop, I would get Kitty, the world-weary whore, you know? Meet my mom! Get out of here, Fluffy! We're laughing at Jay's live stream! This guy has been in a... He was fired by the guy before as the editor. Then they went through a bunch of beefing back and forth, talking bullshit. They went on the Local Podcast, what Rich did, and Jay hid. And then instead of addressing it, you know, on the next stream, this is what he gave everyone. What do you give him? The Winnie the Pooh onesie? Meet my mom. In oh. the, in the, See, this, this is a, weird to me because, like, when VTubers have their parents on stream, it's always, like, a really nice and wholesome thing. Well, VTube, like, are they Japanese? I mean, both the Japanese and EN ones who bring their parents on. EN, that must be English, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, the vitamins like, are doing a number on you tonight. It just looks like a VTuber. Well, I just, 
I'm like sitting here and I'm trying to remember the slang. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I just look like a VTuber. I was doing VTubing in 2020. It didn't fly. So I ditched the rig. The company went under, which is too bad. Because I did like the 3D world, but whatever. And okay, then I remember VTubing you using, I think it was VUP models, right? You used the uh you used the like little female one as well? The female one was for when I was doing like uh some sort of thing with chicks, like oh yeah, my yeah. god. Oh my which god. I I miss being it, I could probably do that though. now actually. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can like uh uh nope, that's not right. Don't mind me. Keep the conversation going. I'll Here, figure I'll this keep crash going out. With a couple more super Whoa. chats. AJ with the ten dollars. Gundam, you're truly the embodiment of the sifting raccoon spirit. Thank you for exposing yourself to so much garbage to bring us fun and entertainment. You deserve much more canned tuna. Only canned. Oh no my god. Oh, there we go. Thank you so much, AJ. Like, <laughs> let me tell you, I took my vitamins today. I'm so <laughs> sleepy. <laughs> This VTuber is too accurate. It actually gets what I really like. This is how I look. I'm like always in this level of dazed and confused. Oh my god! I was hanging out with Hunter Biden. You gotta hit him with the new meta. It's like, guys, if you every every twenty five dollars, I'll take another <laughs> vitamin. And maybe <laughs> maybe when I take enough vitamins, I'll show you my toes. <laughs> Let me see if I got feet. Hold on. <laughs> Oh my god, you like my shoes? Look at these legs. Oh, sweet fucking A. I'm delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Send some more super chats, you guys. Get this thing out of here. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, I could be a Twitch dot. You could, I'm Daisy, you the high squirrel. You just you just gotta be careful about using that female model. You might you might end up going down like a finster pipeline. A finster? Who the Who's that? You don't know. You don't know who Finster is. That sounds pretty gay. Finster. Finster is a streamer who started like cross-dressing as a joke, and they were like, "Ha ha, wouldn't it be funny if I passed as a woman?" And then they were like, "Ha, wouldn't it be funny if I started taking hormones? Oh, wouldn't it be funny if I got facial f feminization surgery?" Uh, so you know, it's they've just kind of gone further and further as the years have gone on. I don't think it's a joke anymore. <laughs> Holy Christ Almighty! <laughs> I'm surprised Finster you've never like... heard of them. Finster transmaxed himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. We have to turn this off because it's evil. But these are some rocking tits. They're pretty big. Uh. I, <laughs> I'd never seen the full model of the mascot. <laughs> You've never seen it on vitamins either. Oh my God. Let me get this out of here before they sue me. They're like, you are using models. <laughs> I was like, why Why am I front and center? What's happening? <laughs> it's what the people really want. Let's be there's, real here. There's, there's too, too, many, too many times you've been taken off screen by the man trying to shut you down. <laughs> there we go. Like, I've seen chat. They're like, mommy's here. And I'm like, oh, boy. Oh, boy. They love her. <laughs> Poetic silence with the $20. All right. Now you guys have to have some fan fiction made with all that sexual tension. Oh, my God. That's it's probably inevitable. Made. It's already on the way. <laughs> I just get to it. With the ten dollars, Hassan Piker and Phil made me wish I was worse at finding landmines in Afghanistan back in '09. <laughs> Hang in there, you guys are some real ones. You guys are some real ones, bro. Like I could not imagine serving in the military in America being like this, dude. Dude, this guy was like going through landmines in Afghanistan so Hassan Piker could drive a two hundred fifty thousand dollar Porsche. How you're not just seething with rage is beyond me. I got rejected for the military, and I'm mad. I didn't have what it took to be a Marine. Virtual and I refuse to come here. Full menu with the $20. First time super chatter. I worry about Gundam if Pippa comes on. Oh, uh, yeah, because uh, Pippa definitely would probably open the floodgates of me saying things I shouldn't say. <laughs> <laughs> you say you saying you like them small and sisterly? No, Pippa says funny things, and it's hard not to join in. <laughs> Pippa, Pippa is a very funny banani. Yeah, I think Pippa actually posted feet pics on Twitter. That was funny. Yeah, it was her 100k follower um, goal thing. She promised she would show feet pics, and uh, when I hit 100k, I'm gonna follow in her footsteps. See, chat, I got you right the there. feet pics you want. <laughs> um, let's see here. Eric Goff looks with the ten dollars. Looks like this might be the last Gundam video before YouTube bubbles Gundam. So here is ten dollars. 
Well, if I'm dead, at least it's over. Dave Leno with the $10. Thanks again, Gundam, for fighting off those 10 jacked homeless men off me, you Chad. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't saved, get that one, but let's go. His life. Jen Trash with the ten dollars. Can you can you two do a rumble episode so we can see you go fully wild? The rumble no, pay because for that. if we go fully wild on Rumble, YouTube will, will ban us. <laughs> that too, but YouTube can now ban you for shit you do outside of YouTube. They did they enacted that law or rule in twenty twenty during COVID because mm-hmm. like big content creators that have money were still going to amazing parties and having fun. And they're like, no, don't post you having fun online. You're supposed to be miserable with all the other humans. So and people started be... reporting them like crazy. Yeah. I was, it's, it's really silly that, like, there's nowhere you can go to be actually free speech at this point. Because anything you say anywhere will just get you dragged on your normal platforms. It's I know. It's just so many people that suck. Like, go outside, you fucking freak. I was like, it's like when I when I bring up old Medicare videos, I'm just like, all right, you know, he might say some some words, but it's you know, he was sucking dick behind a KFC like ten years ago. Okay, he can say it; it's his word. <laughs> oh, the good old days. Uh, River Miles with the ten dollars. The weave got Jarrell like the pox got the engines. <laughs> just Poor Jarrell. Seven fifty. <laughs> all those chemicals he was soaking into his skull finally got him. RJ with the twenty. Sharing out my New York fun with you from maybe your last black chick subscriber. I said I might go to Texas, but I might just leave the country. Maybe New Zealand away from everyone. They have some beautiful homes in New Zealand. Absolutely gorgeous. $200,000. Wait, no, really? 200000 I was looking. And uh, the same type of house here in Texas would net you 500000 So it's kind of wild, the price difference. I I just I wouldn't feel comfortable in New Zealand with how restrictive they are about even social media posts or owning things like that. That guy with the not great that that one shooting video years ago. I don't know if I can even say the name, but uh, he got he got arrested for having the video. Uh, Devarius Jessup with the ten dollars. I thought I was cultured and versed in adult activities. I've learned so much from Kirsha today. I'm an yeah, we've all student. learned everything. It's been, yeah. been a wonderful guest, actually. You learn what women call fit dudes abs and V-shaped <laughs> bodies. So if you've never heard that in your life, you're probably pudgy. I understand. I like cookies myself. Frank <laughs> Rod with the 20. Cookies. TFM stands for tarred, a turd-flinging monkey. Oh. oh, so you can't you can't say his name. I've heard of that guy. Like from how, way back in the day. How does he have the channel name if you can't even say the name in YouTube chat though? That's weird. That is weird. Probably because he did nothing but like uh MGTOW stuff and YouTube hates anything about like uh you know, saying go your own way or some crap like that. Like anything that's geared towards men in that any dude, positive way. That dude Rob got, uh Dyke had to change his last name because I got the hot take the, the MG Tau is basically male feminism it's not a good ideology and it does the same exact thing to men that feminism has done to women and just causes more problems i agree with you the far off migtow people are definitely yeah. an issue no doubt about that noah r with the 100 dollars super chat here's something to help you escape new york i gotta bring back the escape from new york shirt that got banned yeah we need to put that on the merch merch store sit down puppy Thank you so much, Noah. Uh, fantastic, Mr. Knox with the Australian 10. YouTube will punish Papa Gundam for Game Awards, but they're okay with content creators who do no clothes yoga and safe, <sighs> sensual comment, hair down there and all. Before he even got to what he was going to say about those content creators, I knew he was talking about because <laughs> they just, uh, I don't, just move on. Just, I can't. <laughs> They make, they make more reactor. money off of the booty holes than off of Papa Gundam, you know? With the 20, Mega Idol Gundam, let's go. Thank you for the 20. <laughs> Black Vulcan X with the 10. Here's some cash for you to move out, Papa Gundam. Thank you, Kirsha, for the information of Come Dumpster Sushi Bar. Now I'm inspired to work out for one starting tomorrow. <laughs> it took we, that, huh? See, come Dumpster Sushi Bar. 
I don't know how to call it cum dumpster. Cum gutter. (laughs) We've now used it four times in a row. You do realize the machine will pick that up. God damn it. (laughs) One day we'll lead him to loosen up, chat. Zach Berkley with the $10. Here's some more for the fun. Come out to Kentucky. We got bourbon. Yeah, I'm trying to cut back on drinking because I've been doing it every day since New Year's. The empty calories. Get it out. Uh, uh, Edward Boriat the third with the twenty dollars Gundam. I guess YouTube doesn't want me to support you. I wanted to give you a hundred dollar chat, but the order canceled for some reason. I am sorry. That's I'm sorry, wild. bro. But it doesn't surprise me something's wrong with this damn site. That's I might have to put up like my Streamlabs link and let people do what they want there. Cut yeah. YouTube out of that thirty percent. We'll have Streamlabs up next week, y'all. Uh, I and always, we were gonna do always it this talk week. about the Streamlabs, man. So much better than letting Twitch or YouTube take a cut. Yeah, these ungrateful heathens. The one thing, though, is he has to, since it's his stream list, he has to monitor it. I can't monitor it. Mm. So he had to be on the ball. Uh, I'll just Silver. copy post it to you. That's your job. There you go. I was going to say, I have my, I have my moderators take my, my stream element spreadsheets and put it into an Excel doc for me. Because I, I get really behind in, in answering my super sometimes. So I have to, like, dedicate an entire stream. Oh, right to, like, now. I, I can go ahead and tell you there's, like, 200. That... Oh, yeah. That are behind Backlog right gets now. crazy. Um, uh, so glad to see this collab. Been following for years. Uh, Bish Ooh, sorry, I was 09 looking with the $10. Dollars. Thank you so much. And that that that's the end of all the largest Super Chats. I know that they're the $5, and I'll do those later, but I didn't want to take up any more of our guest time mm. since it's so valuable. But I'm going to say, <clears> I threw another, another link in the chat. Uh, okay. I don't know if you can bring that up without accidentally showing your location or like it's on a realtor website. But uh, I, when I was looking at houses on stream before, uh, I came up with this one in Massachusetts. Massachusetts house prices are absolutely astronomically crazy right now. This is basically a crack den for like $680,000. Here we go. And it's it's off market now. It was on market when I showed it on my stream. Bro, uh, but it's off these market are like now. The houses I mean, they someone sell probably in New York. bought it. Ain't no way this is six hundred thousand dollars. Scroll down a little bit. It showed the price. Whoever bought this price. is. Re- it doesn't. Maybe, it was. It was, it was like six hundred and fifty thousand or six hundred and eighty thousand is what it was when it was on the market. But it's off market, so I don't know if it'll show the price anymore. Yeah, it's, it's off- probably off. But here's the wow. Here's there's the estimate right there. How is this eight hundred thousand? <laughs> like on what planet? These like these people are losing their mind. Look like you get stabbed out there, and then look at that. Your butt art until the room stinks. Somebody was tortured in this room. This yeah. looks like something out of a horror film. It does. Look, look at the, the hallway horror's coming up. The hallway angle is terrifying. Oh, the piano is a nice touch. <laughs> oh, I love the cracks in the ceiling. <laughs> Asbestos and mold everywhere, man. And the children's bed, uh... bro. The housing uh, market here. This is ter- This is like out of a horror film, dude. This hallway. What the fuck? <laughs> who who estimated this? I'd like to meet them. And slap them. Look at I this. Like I, I had people when I looked at this. The people in my stream were like, "Well, it's probably in a really like good location, no, like near a city or something." I'm like, yeah, even if it's right. a good location, it's like not even half an acre lot. It was like it was like fifteen thousand square feet, maybe. It's, so next like, to LeBron it's, James. it's not big. Look at the oh my god! <laughs> you, you know that bathtub seen a couple of dead bodies. I'm so. Sick the, how is the bathtub the cleanest thing in the house? Our country is so fucked. <laughs> It's like a fucking joke at this point. Yeah. Everything is a, it's like a never ending episode of Tim and Eric. Squat, squatters can go sit in a house for 30 days and get a free $2 million home. Meanwhile, your ass got to pay 800000 for yeah, this crackdown. This, this is Blair Witch <laughs> vibes right here. It this is. house is so worthless. You would literally have to tear it down and rebuild from scratch. It'd be cheaper. Yeah. yeah. Free washer and dryer, though. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> And looks like a oh, hot tub. Look at lovely shed back there. Oh, lovely yeah. shed for gardening. Uh, please take. What the fuck is it? Is that New York City or something? No. Nah. This no, it's is, in, uh, it's in it's near Boston. It's in Melrose. Yeah, Massachusetts. Disgusting. Yikes. 
Discratiad. Like, it's just Discratiad. crazy to me how expensive some of the stuff is there. And it's just like, how? Even with the location in consideration, <sighs> how, how are you going to ask that much money for that lot? I'm so sick of everything. I'm so sick of it. $27. You're going to love it when you're in, like knee deep into home buying. You're going to love that experience. Oh, God. I how, hate so it. far, I find it disgusting. Yeah, it's a terrible experience. Yeah, I'm so pull, mad. You'll pull your hair out after it. Well, the one good thing is you don't have to worry about the realtor's fees now that they struck that down. Thank so you'll God. save well, a little money. There. Well, no, 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 no. Actually, the the way the realtor fees are getting restructured is that previously, you would pay for the house, right? So like the the seller would get your money, and then the seller would pay both your and their realtor fees. With the change, the realtor fees supposedly are going to be less. And it's going to make houses look like they're less expensive because the price of the house will be lower. But the fees will be separate from the price of the house now. And you as the buyer will be responsible for your buying fee. So now you're going to pay the seller and you're oh, going you're... to pay your okay. agent directly. Good luck, Gundam. You're going to need it. <laughs> it's terrible. I fucking hate this country. You're going to have to start coming out to Florida or Texas just to see like the areas that you might want to live in. Because mm -hmm. you're not going to buy it over the internet. Yeah. I'm going to have like, a, I'm going to look everything up. I'm going to look the area up. I'm going to stare at maps. I'm going to ask questions. I think the most recent thing that I have found in the home buying thing that has made me angry is um, they put artificial scarcity on areas. So they'll call it a competitive market. But then they'll put a house on the market and they'll be like, okay, you have five days to put in an offer. And if you don't put in an offer by 10 a.m. on the 9th, um, you're not going to be able to put an offer on this house. We're going to pick from that pile of offers. And if you didn't get it in on time, uh, sucks to suck, kid. And so, like, the, the realtors will be like, it's a competitive market. So you have to really be ready to just look at a house and immediately say, I'm going to buy this. You don't have time to think. You just got to go. Ah, oh, what a lovely time to be alive. I know, I hate it. Yeah, 6% interest. Have fun. Literally FOMO in the housing market. <laughs> yeah. Bidenomics. Yeah, with, uh, with Bidenomics last year, he made it so that if you have a high credit score and you're taking out a mortgage, you're going to have to pay more to make up for the people with low credit scores who aren't paying enough on their mortgages. What? How does that work? It's because you got to subsidize them. You were a good little boy and your reward yeah, you is to pay for the people who can't pay. That's a woman mentality. <laughs> Only women look at something and then try to distribute evenly. Oh, yeah. well, you know, your sister doesn't have any money, so I thought you should help, you know, give her some money because she doesn't have a job. Maybe, maybe it's like, no, maybe should she get should get a job. job. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, that's, uh, that's the, the equity, which is uh, what we're going to be seeing. I hate equity. I hate it as well. We're going to be seeing it encroaching a lot more, so. Start start yelling at people who want to implement those kind of things. Chad is like communist, communist. <laughs> Commies get out, free helicopter Commies. rides. God, Jesus, help us. We got to get these assholes out of office. They're ruining the country. We shouldn't have to subsidize people that suck. That's not how life works. Agreed. I played your dumb game. I hate the credit score system. I think it's all a scam in the first place, but I still played the game and I'm still getting screwed. Damn straight. What's the whole point of having good credit if I'm going to be treated like a jackass? I guess to have your abusive partner run up your credit. <laughs> Don't have one of those. <laughs> Got rid of her a while ago. <laughs> the second but... she walked out the door, I had so much more money. Oh, my God. Speaking of people walking out the door, do y'all hear about Lizzo quitting but not really quitting? Because why? why did you put this on the screen? Exactly. Why? Wait, wait, hold on. There's a better thing of this, right? There was a side by side picture of Lizzo when she said she was quitting. And then this picture of Lizzo and everyone was like, they've already made a clone of her and forced her clone to ba be back in the spotlight because she actually wanted to quit and she doesn't want to do this anymore. But they still need to keep pushing the like fat body positive propaganda. And Lizzo was a perfect vehicle for that. So they had to use her clone. This, this I don't know if it's the lighting, but like this looks different i want to make this video because i just need to clarify Shouldn't when i say sad. i quit i mean i quit giving any negative energy can we make this smaller what i'm not gonna quit is the joy of my life which is making music which is connecting to people because i know i'm not alone 
in no way, shape, or form am I the only person who is, is that experiencing good? that negative no, smaller. voice that seems to be louder <laughs> than the positive. Smaller. If I can just give if one back, person I not see her. the inspiration or motivation to stand up for themselves can and we say they quit screen? letting negative people Okay, win. that's a little bit more tolerable. Comments All win. right. Okay. Then there we go. The I've okay. done I'll even do more. Back. Than I could have hoped Get for. Right a second ago. With Get her out of here. That's she gone. Off. She gone. I don't give a shit what she has to say. I don't give a quarter of a fuck. <laughs> I'm glad the pro Palestine people berated and bullied her. She deserves it. <laughs> First time I was for the movement. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even pay attention to most of celebrity stuff going on. Oh, oh I don't either. I'm subjected to this trash. Way. Basically, yeah. the rundown is she did something with Biden and Obama and Michelle, right? And then the pro, was it pro-Israel, pro-Palestine people? Which ones? One of those people, because Lord knows where he is. <laughs> they all just went after her like piranha. And they were relentless. This is probably the first time she's actually been shamed in her life and she didn't know how to process it. Hmm. So she says she quit, but I'm pretty sure everybody knows she ain't quitting. It's too much money. Ah, we lost so many people actually left and came back because you had Lizzo up. For the love of <laughs> I knew nobody wanted to see that. I didn't want to see it. If I don't want to see it, there's a 90% chance the chat doesn't want to see it. But we do. I think it's crazy the like veracity that these people have when they when they specifically support a cause and they think everyone else around them should also support it. You get so like, like it, we're gonna we're gonna ruin you if you don't. Yeah, these are people who have never been punched in the face. That's all there is to it. <laughs> They've never been in a fist fight. They've never been in an altercation. They've never been close to death. So their whole viewpoint of the world is childish. And it disgusts me. It really it, is. Oh, God. Bring back bullies. We need bullies in school so that we don't have cat boy ranches. It is the natural order. You people no. are against God and Christ is king. <laughs> no, no bathtub hormone moonshine, please. Yes. Uh, the Gundam uh, life size Fuka Oka Shika Oka. I can't remember. They're, decom uh, they're, they're decommissioning this, right? Yeah, I think they're putting it someplace else. I, was uh, gonna say, I hope they don't actually like take it apart and they just put it somewhere. I think they might put it someplace else. It could end up in a warehouse. <laughs> Who knows? At the end of the know. day, I don't care. I'm not going to lie. I didn't get to see it. I don't have time. I don't have. Well, I just don't have time. I think I finally have the money. But now they're saying. Because of assholes like Johnny Somali, like the Japanese are jacking up prices of stuff. Huh. So visiting is going to be more expensive than it was. I think they're going to start imposing uh, interest on rates on their money or some crap. I don't know. I hate people that go to other countries and act like just like complete... assholes. Yeah. It's like if you're going to go somewhere else to enjoy what their country has to offer, you should play by their rules instead of acting entitled. Why is it so hard just to go someplace and be a decent human? Because they can't even be a decent human at home. <laughs> okay, I guess you got me there. See, you got to bring back beatings. Exactly. When I was a child, my mother would whip us like slaves. <laughs> bring, bring back the public stocks. We can throw tomatoes at people. Oh, that would be great. Right? I would all, oh, man. Community bonding tomato. activities. Yeah, we tomato keffles. It would really <laughs> unite us all. It would. Oh, my God. The people would cheer. We could have a day of celebration. We can we can all come together, no matter your race, religion, or creed, and pelt tomatoes at the bad people. <laughs> the ones who deserve it, not us. <laughs> we are the shining examples of uh, human virtue, in all honesty. Oh, yeah, definitely. Virtue. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, we're honest with who we are. A lot of people are. I guess you, that's fair. Educate people on things they need to know, like um, the Dorito butt juice. Who <laughs> knew that? That sounds thing... disgusting when you call it juice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what else to label it as. <laughs> and then you told me they were eating it like salsa. Yeah. I'm just. Well, but you're not so... going to waste it. <laughs> well, I honestly, you know, for me personally, I didn't know eating it was part of the equation. <laughs> But, have you know, you, 
Have you not seen the like where where they'll they'll be in a room like there's a woman and a man and they're in a room and they get like a big pot of ramen and they start eating the ramen and then the woman looks deeply into his eyes and just starts projectile vomiting into the ramen bowl and then he has to eat it. No. Oh well, those those used to be common like a decade ago. <laughs> what? What? What is with the Japanese in vomit? That's a good question. I don't have an answer for you. Uh, you know, for such a cleanly, uh, you know, this is the Japanese must be so repressed because their <laughs> cities and their streets are so beautiful and clean and their pornography is just so over the top. It is. It really is. It's like, oh, Shuku-san, vomit in my mouth. <laughs> The one, the one thing I really enjoy from all of the crazy jab stuff is like in the middle of the the eel endemic where they were just like let's put eels everywhere in every orifice. There's this one, there's this one woman who had the eels and they put a camera in after her uh, to make her watch the eels like swimming what? around inside of her. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! And she... Hold on, freeze, please. <laughs> are they alive? Yeah, the eels are alive. Of course they oh are. What do you mean? Oh my god! Yeah, You're she just talks about. It. She talks about the swimming, and then she she hits him with the, I never should have quit the nail salon, and that lives rent free in my head. <laughs> the avatar is gone stunned. <laughs> so what's Steve all up to? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, a, a clean and sober guy. Oh, like, it's very important that I maintain my sobriety. How long, how long have you been? Uh, approaching 16 years. Get out of here. Oh, wow. Yes. I, 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 was, I knew you had it was 16 and years. And I'm about to be six, sweet Good 16. Good for you, bro. Up Congratulations. On Thank you. Thank you very much. And and it's there's, there's nothing, like, really, there's nothing that I value more than my sobriety. There's nothing more that... Uh, I need to pause this for a moment. Okay, I'm a little um, jealous. He does a lesbian biker voice better than me. Uh, give it a shot. Let's hear yours. Oh, well, I mean, that's just my default just voice. I'm give from a, Boston, give so I just sound like a lesbian biker. What do you mean? That's not a lesbian biker. Like, <laughs> I <laughs> gotta come on real hard and talk about how sweet her butt cheeks are. You gotta eat the Dorito juice. Off. <laughs> yeah, I'm is gonna that, eat the Dorito juice right there. off of her sweet butt cheeks. You know what's funny about, like, the hardcore lesbians that are like that? Yeah. At the end of the day, they're still women. True. So when you're outside and it's like five feet of snow, they like come. They're like, I need some help turning on my snow blower because <laughs> I can't, I can't pull the thing hot enough. And I'm like, just pull See, it. Nancy, pull it. Like you pull your arm out of your lover's ass. Oh my God. Then, before you know it, I'm over there. Like, turning on a lawnmower, and I'm just walking away fussing myself, like, you gotta be shitting me, lady. You're a full-blown <laughs> lesbian. You're the hardcore, classic, short hair, butch, bo motorcycle-riding lesbian. How do you not turn this on? And then I go back That's to true. my snow. But, uh, like, uh, the Steve-O, great sub segue to get me out of what was probably one of the most odd pornography pitches I've ever heard in my <laughs> life. Like, <laughs> as I said before, the porn is just getting so weird that... It, it's not even on my radar. It's gone beyond anything I would have ever imagined in my wildest dreams. Like when I was Baby, growing up, I, was I like, can oh. show you the world. Let me be your Willy Wonka. <laughs> I know this is like Aladdin, but very different. <laughs> I can show you the porn, disgusting, putrid, and feminine, crazy lady boys and transsexuals. What a magic carpet ride! Oh, that's a, that's a, a cringe that's a good new song. world. You know, we could do it. Let's get the get some audio in here. Me and you, we're going to the oh top. Oh my god, we're, do, we're doing it live. <clears throat> Matthew Harder with the fifty dollars. Gundam, after hearing about your cross dressing and makeup, I don't know if you I want you here in Texas. You have to stay. Also, Kirsha, how much do you hate furries? I don't know. Are they furries that leave everyone else alone, or are they the furries that wear diapers in public and then smear them on car windshields? Let's say I hate the those ones furries. that smear shit on windshields. <laughs> those are the ones that hate me, by the way. Good. I feel like if you're hated by those kinds of people, you're doing something right. Dark I'm getting Revan. right into heaven. They're going to open the doors. It's going to be Peter at the gate. It's like, Gundam, come right in, my dude. The furries recommended you. Darth
with Revan with the 10. How old are you two? Both of you are talking like the old days of the internet, like you're ancient. We are ancient. We've been here too long. I know. I'm... Dude, the old days of the internet? Oh, man, let me tell you about the early 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> the early 2000s. 2013 was pretty lit, too. 14 was hot. Remember we had the pedal bear? Yeah. Yeah, you could have fun online. You can't do that You used to be now. able to have fun. Dude, oh, my God. YouTube was funny. Oh, dude, I used to watch entire episodes of Duckman on YouTube. You, you, you don't get that now. Oh, you, Duckman. Tourette's guy, never happening again. It's over. Eric Goff with the $10. Gundam, stop making your editor shrink Lizzo. You'll make him create a black hole. Oh, wait, never mind. It already happened. Now, we had to get that out of here. We were losing viewers. I know. River Miles, Lizzo <laughs> quit fried turkey. <laughs> yeah, that quitting didn't even last like a few days. Kinetic Zen with the 20. My favorite culture war funny man meets my favorite fox woman. The stream has been a treat except for Lizzo. Smaller. <laughs> these, See, these I know what sound the like when I bring want. up Dylan on my stream. Everybody tries to be like, kick him off. We don't want to watch this. <laughs> Knox what the Dylan 10. stuff do you bring up? Um, every time he does something weird, which is almost every time he's in the news. All right, the next Dylan stream you do, if I'm awake, I might crash it. Oh, hell yeah. There you go. Knox with 10, something, something. It started when women voted or something. Something, something. <laughs> you know, you got to be real. The suffragettes did not think about this happening. They did. If they we did could not. pull them from death, they go, what do you think of Amaranth? This is what you've created. Oh, my God. They would probably God. stop being suffragettes. I'll be real. Aurora they would try to bubble themselves in the afterlife. With the 20, that house is fracking great, Gundam. We could totally buy it, fund you to live there and repair it, or film a horror movie, make millions on the box office, just a couple million to invest. Going to buy some lotto tickets. <laughs> no, you're bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a nice house, god damn it. I feel like Fam buying a haunted house would be cool, though, because then you could film the, the shit, exorcism. Though. That's content. No, thank you. I'd like to masturbate in private without a ghost watching me. Well, what about all those women that leave their husbands for the ghost dick? You could be like them, except instead of men, it would be ghost women, obviously. Yeah, sure, because that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, Mr. Knox, with the 10. I've never watched a VTuber before, but I've enjoyed hearing this fox be funny as heck. Great guest, Gundam. I couldn't stop laughing while I'm at work. Technically, I think I'm a VTuber. I don't know. Yeah, you're a VTuber. Yay! Stone Turtle with the $10. <laughs> Got out of New York five years ago. Get out of there. Love you both. Keep spreading the based vibes. Hey, yeah. Man. New York is just getting worse and worse and worse. Uh, Nightmare with the 10. Gundam, ask her out already so she can sound you. I'm not into oh, sounding. Yeah. Once men stop stuffing things in their urethra, I will stop reading the news articles about it, okay? <laughs> All right, listen. This is not the, the actions of a normal man. Stuffing things in yourself is a path to gayhood. <laughs> I've had a guy friend who was like, oh, you know, my girlfriend pegs me. And I'm like, you're gay. You're gay, Tony. Acceptable. <laughs> like, dude, it's gay. I wouldn't be able to still see a significant other as exactly. manly and in a sexual light if he was just like, please peg me. <laughs> exactly. Stick this up my pee hole, babe. <laughs> she will be truthful with you. Listen to her. Lizard's Lounge with the Australian 20. Remember when two girls, one cup was considered messed up? Oh, I still consider it messed up. I mean, it is still messed up, but I mean, when you, when you think about all the living creatures that it, get implicated nowadays, you know? Oh, my God. Matthew Harder with the 20. Gundam and Kirsha, I need you to settle the debate between my brother and I when Neuralink becomes a thing and a, say, a black guy dies and you get his neurally do you also get his inward pass no you do not but you do get memories of the hood life if you get the memories <laughs> of the hood life why wouldn't you get the pass because you don't i don't get a pass you don't get a pass that's how it works <laughs> it's extra neural link charges extra for it i had i had a black guy name me k-dog though does that mean i get a pass i'm, I'm no, now. probably not <laughs> Well, you probably get a pass if, like, you're dating a black guy. Yeah, white women seen, like, dating black guys get a pass. Yeah, they I've say it all the that. time. Would she date a black guy? That's the real question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. 
I plead the fifth. I don't think I can answer that. On you better YouTube. move on. Uh, SBZ with the 10. I'm ready to download this VOD right now. This stream is dead, dead. Remember FMT. Play yeah. taps. I'm not I, even going to bother trying to get this one monetized. Unsighted set 318 with the $10. Daddy Gundam, can you share us some tips to up our game with the senoritas? For real? You want me not to lie to you? Number one, get in shape. I'm not even joking. Be in shape. If you're physically fit, you're beating like 80% of men today. 80%. If you get abs going, dude, I don't care what women say on dating apps. Oh, I hate when guys post pictures of their abs. BS. When I was showing my abs on Tinder, my box stayed having chicks in it. Do it. Get in shape. Two, get your money right. Always. Money right. Get that paper, dog. Stay in motion, as the black kids say. <laughs> Being broke is not the way to be because women today are hungry for money. Unless a woman finds you attractive. If a woman actually finds you attractive and really digs you, and I say digs you, she says she wants to eat nacho chips off of your belly and oh your God. sea gutters. You catch me, dog? <laughs> if you're not getting that energy from her, she don't care if you live or die. In fact, you're on a rotation. You're one of many she's possibly thinking of doing. Let's see. Two. Or is it three? Who cares? Forget counting. Can't count. Don't Get worry. your hair right. <laughs> Have nice hair. Fix your hair. If you're bald... That's if That's you're balding, very true. Shave your head. If you're balding, shave it. <laughs> I'm not playing. If Facts. you're balding and you shave your hair, that's a choice. If you are balding, it's not a choice. The next option for balding, invest $5,000 into the best hair piece you could afford. They now glue them to your scalp. It looks real. I planned for this just in case I lost my hair, but apparently daddy isn't losing the long flowing black locks. <laughs> uh, what else is there? Have a nice car. Women are fickle. I'm not even playing with you, dude. Just get a nice ride. And most of all, focus on you. If your end goal or end game is to get a chick, things aren't going to go well for you. But if your goal is to better yourself, your life, and where you're going, the women just pop up out of nowhere. They're like little roaches all, all over you. Hey, what oh are you doing, God. Gundam? Where are you, Gundam? Did you wake up, Gundam? And I'm like, God damn. Can a man take vitamins and pass out? <laughs> I know a lot of people like to sit and pretend like I'm some sort of basement dwelling troll. And I do perpetuate it because it's better for people to think I look like that. So, you know, they're not going to actually look for me. But in reality, I try to keep myself together. It's important to be physically fit just in case you could do an altercation. Oh, clothes. Buy nice clothes. Don't and look shoes. like a bum. Shoes are important too. Uh, if you wear dress shoes, I recommend eastwood i believe they're made in london absolutely beautiful but pro tip buy them used or when a guy orders the wrong size these are two thousand dollars dress shoes that you can get for like five hundred dollars dude always fitted suits too it's best to go to get yourself measured for fitment so if you work out your top half is actually bigger than your bottom half and if you just buy off the rack online then you got these tight ass shirts for these loose ass pants but listen I'm going too far off. I apologize. Every every man should own at least one fitted suit. It doesn't yes. it does yes. it doesn't even matter if you're not at like your peak fitness. If you are wearing a well fitted suit, women will drool over you. Yes, the suit will hide your inadequacy. <laughs> <laughs> also, I will recommend a cheap shirt. It's called collar. It's a dress shirt. Um just look them up. I can't find it right now. But uh they make great dress shirts that are like uh they can handle spills on them they're also very flexible hugo boss charges 80 dollars for these shirts you can get them from collar for 40 so you could get like two on top of that their athletic fit is a godsend this shirt just accentuates your body so perfectly you can't help but flex in the mirror and if you're a skinny guy thin ties fat ties make you look stupid <laughs> I've, I've, I've worn big ties a couple times and made a fool of myself. It does look really silly if you're a very you know thin twiggy man and you got the big fat. fat I screwed up. Tunish. I have screwed up. I <laughs> got on a date. I had the wrong tie on. <laughs> you one mistake and women notice, dude. I'm not playing. Well, at least at least you wore a tie though, right? I had I had one guy I went on a first date with. And we were going to just like an Italian restaurant. It was post-COVID. 
And I, I like I put on like a nice dress, you know. I I did my hair in my bathroom. I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually look presentable instead of like a basement dwelling video game woman. And I get I get outside, and he's wearing like an anime T-shirt and basketball shorts, and I was Bro! like, Oh no, dude! Oh my god, <laughs> that's happened to me before. <laughs> like I was going on a date with this chick, this goth girl, and uh, I go to her place, and she says we're going someplace nice. I'm like, All right, so full fitted suit. Dress shoes. Um, I do wear trench coats, but usually with a suit when it's cold. Because, you know, unless you buy, like, one of those weighted suits for the winter, mm -hmm. which they work too. But still, it's cold, man. And hell with yeah. that. I'm not freezing for a woman. I go to her house. She opens up the door and comes out in a fucking tutu. Oh, my God. And I'm like, you said we were going someplace nice. I was like, did you forget like, to yeah. put your dress over your petticoat, lady? <laughs> It was a, I I just, man, like if a chick is attracted, sometimes you got to stay away from the crazy ones. You only pump and dump then. You do not date them. I'm, I'm against the pump and dumping, right? I don't, I don't think hookup culture is a good idea. I get people want to get laid, right? But like, I feel like participating in hookup culture is perpetuating the, the bad feelings and the bad ideas around interacting with other people. You should want to. You should want to find someone who's not a complete piece of shit. <laughs> well, if you find someone that's term. a piece of shit, you leave. But if you're really desperate for some, you know, if you've gone King Cobra and you're six years without it, but then again, <laughs> if Cobra is to be mentioned, maybe doing it is a bad idea, because oh he goes six years without getting laid, he bangs Nal, and now he's locked in this terrible relationship. What? Yeah, he's getting evicted too. Oh yeah, I forgot you got him kicked out. Terrible. Yeah. She got him kicked out because of uh, screaming and yelling, and uh, she also fucked up the laundry. Um, oh yeah, she flooded the laundry room somehow. Yeah, in how? fact, I actually, I, I actually have that. She's right here. she's a whack job. That's how she is you a do, whack job of the never highest order. Stay with crazy chicks. What the fuck is this? Here dream? we go. Sure. Yeah, sometimes it'll, it'll it's just better not to get laid. Oh no. She tried to do a uh, laundry and fucked up the whole. Sorry, my hand touched it. Uh, I need to go find somebody. Why is she filming instead of finding somebody? Because she's stupid. She's an idiot. <laughs> she's a moron. Yeah, let's, let's not even subject people to too much now. They like jump ship the second that bitch gets on. Help step, bro. I opened up a sinkhole in the laundry like... room. Well, here's oh, my God. You remind me of someone I know personally. <laughs> She does stuff like that all the time. Oh my god, I'm stuck in the washer. Help me, Gundam. And I'm like, <laughs> you kids have porn brain. Now where's my pants? I've got some pipes that need cleaning. See? <laughs> this is why she's got a following. She says those right words and they get clipped and like her most adamant fans play them on loop alone I at know, night. We've got so many badass <laughs> clips up for this show. It's unbelievable. Oh no. And I'm not going to say, like, I'm Sigma. I'm definitely not, Chad. I saw somebody go Sigma Gundam. Like, no, I'm not Sigma. I'm just trying to be the best version of myself. And yeah. I'm very, um... I'm very vain <laughs> for a man. <laughs> Let me get through a couple more of these. Rabisi with the $10. Long-time viewer, in case you didn't know. The Tourette's guy is still online and active. He just uploaded his new video. The king has returned. I must check. Also, I recommend quick. buying like uh, natural soaps for your body. Uh, my favorite company right now is Fox Tan. Believe it or not, tactical soap. I'm gonna no, I'm gonna show a pheromone. Soap. Hit it. I uh, I really like Victor and Rolf spice bomb. There's a whole bunch of different spice bombs, but the original. All right, the original. I swear to God, this has like some weird pheromone effect. It will make women horny. So when Victor you wear it, just be ready. Okay. No, tell us again. We're typing it in now. Victor. Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb. And it's the original one. Don't don't get sidetracked by all the different new flavors of Spice Bomb. You want the original. All right. Bought, it looks like a grenade. Yeah. It looks like it's manly. All right. <laughs> all right. Listen, I'm washing myself with body soaps from Brazil. <laughs> <You know? laughs> he does have a new video out, but I don't know if it's. No, we're not playing because yeah. Tourette's guy probably get us nailed. All right, Spice Bomb it is. It's $130. God damn, they're not playing. So you know it's got to work. It's 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 very high highly recommend it. And also, when you buy a 3-ounce bottle, that's going to last you probably like a decade, so. 
Emperor Creatine with the $10. Speaking of old internet, I had to represent the veterans of the great Habo Hotel raid of 2006. Remember, folks, the pool is closed. Commence the Desu spam. What does that mean? The pool is always closed. Pool is always closed. Yeah, this uh, one I missed. Mechanist <laughs> Golden Gear with the $20, the demonetized fund. Ah, bless you, Mecha. Hayden75 with the 10. I'm happy to cl happy this collab finally happened. This is just as blessed as it is cursed. <laughs> it's certainly cursed. I've learned a lot of things today that I You're would welcome. have never known about. <laughs> but at least it ends on a high note with the spice bomb. So, True. you know, we'll just whip that back. You get yourself some spice bomb. You hang outside her house in a dumpster. You lure like her. Flint. Oh, Oops. Kesha, look what I bought for you. Smell oh me. My God. <laughs> Smell oh, me, please. Mommy, mommy milk. <laughs> oh. Uh, desu, oh, desu. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Spice Bob. <laughs> the dry spell's over. Oh, there goes my head. I'm back. <laughs> Uh, Sierra so Knox with the 10. I got lucky with the big booty Latina who loved blonde hair and blue eyes. Probably helped that I had a house. Oh. <laughs> they probably did. Yeah, I got to say, I've been on the Latina train for a long time, and it's a good one, but a lot of emotional insanity. Uh, Metastopheles with the $50. First time I could catch you alive. Also got my Avatar shirt. It fits like a glove. Fantastic. Thank you, sir. If you want to, you can take a picture of it and hashtag it quality content or tag me or Gundam on Twitter. I miss all tags. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, I'm the one that has to clean up. I'm, I'm the janitor around here. Janny, clean it up. Get to work. Uh, no, and that Bobby, was the no. Last, that was the last of the big super chats. There's a lot more, but I wanted to go ahead and uh, not, not take up any more of our guest time. We're chilling. I don't. I don't even know how long you usually stream. Time is a mystery to me. I hear so like, you. I've been. I've been watching most of your streams since you started streaming this year, and I didn't even realize they were on Wednesdays. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, it is every Wednesday. Look don't. at that." It's that every Wednesday. Thing, hmm? That was the one thing that I said I wanted to have when I was developing the show. I was like, "It needs to be a certain day of the week that's always the same." And since mm -hmm. FNT is on Friday and Drinker is on Thursday, so what? Uh, Wednesday is the best bet. So live at five on Wednesday, y'all. Remember it. The cringe capital of the world, New York City. <laughs> da, 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 squatters rights. <laughs> jump, on it, jump on in the cringe bus. The news. Kathy Hochul's here today. What? What the hell is this? That's not New York, New York. I can't play that. I don't, I don't know. He started playing some like weird. I'm doing New York, New music. York. Yeah, I know. Thank you, Kish. <laughs> <laughs> we'll sing it then. Damn it. Well, I was, and then it got thrown off by the wrong beat. That's not how. You... More super chats or something, for fuck's sakes. Uh, or is the show over? Can Steve I go home? Steve Devil with the ten. Hell, Kir Kersha. Thanks for the tip. Going to grab a spice bomb. Stay fat. Wah. What the heck? Remember to work on your forearms when you work out. Oh, don't we skip got, leg uh, day. Yes, oh, don't skip leg day. Women love legs. Work on your thighs and ass. Why do we, you think people keep drawing my ass? <laughs> we with the 50, love the collab. Didn't know that Kirsha would before this, but she's based as fuck. Have this for your new wheels. Oh, th thank you. Thank you. I heard the cat meowing all loud. It turns out the dog's bothering him. Uh, is um, it? What? I mean, th that's not it, but nah. it can be it. Let me run through just a couple real quick. Steve Delon with the $5. Podcast co-host recommendations. Ryan, Decoy, Sargon, and AZ. That's a good idea. D4 Stater with the $5. Gundam, since Earth screwed me, we must go to space to find the Principality Xeon. I wish there were space colonies because I'd go there. But, you know, with as screwed up as everything is, I wouldn't be surprised if space colonies got really woke. Potato Radio with the $5. Q Predator. Gundam, you son of a bitch. Handshake. OG PNG tuber meets one of the longest continually streaming English VTubers. I am consistent oh. as Hake. The people David lover. Ma 
David McFarlane gifted 10. Thank you so much. Stephen DeLeon with the five. What are your thoughts on the band Thin Lizzy? I think Thin Lizzy underrated. is an absolute classic. There's a lot of times where I'm, no, we're talking about Thin Lizzy. In the middle of the night when I'm editing and I get really just burnt out, I take out the guitar and I start whacking out. The boys are back in town. I do it now, but I don't feel like hooking up my amplifier. No, Fluffy. Potato Radio with the $5. Gundam is being dubbed the Harmony Gold today. What does that being mean? Being dubbed by Harmony Gold today. I don't know what that means either, but just play along. <laughs> the best badness, 420K with the $5. I bet DSP sounds, to be honest, hopefully not on stream, though. I hope we never find out if he does. Me too. Deforce you know, Sater. I would like to interview Dark Sidefell. Me too. I think we should have him on the stream. But do you think he would be down with that? Oh no! <laughs> After he, everything, he, it would take. It, I don't. I wouldn't say it's impossible. I would have to broker it because I don't think Gundam could. You just can't show get up. him. I no, you'd you be surprised who I can Mudahar get. Mudahar couldn't get him for five G's. Wow. Jay was going to get him for free. Okay, that's different. That's Jay. It's fucking Jay. Has no like Jay has no skin in the game. Phil knows Jay isn't going to do anything to him or say anything. It was about getting a rich of Review Tech USA. It was like the gay Game of Thrones. I'll go on Jay's stream to fuck over Rich. And he, he could come on this stream and talk shit on Rich or on me or on he Kim ain't or on you. Do it. So I, I don't know Phil people's names, so whenever I, I hear like I was, Jay you don't or need Rich, to. I think of like Red Letter yeah. Media. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to know these names; they don't matter. <laughs> Like, enjoy like you, your you life. You just sit there and look pretty. Don't think. <laughs> no, you're like free of the questions. autism zone. <laughs> like, this questions. is a part of the internet that's so stupid and asinine that if you're not a part of it, more power to you. It means okay, you're like, all right. you're out there. You're living it up. Right. Living after midnight nachos after dawn, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Please do not fill me with nachos. Don't ask questions. Just consume product and then get excited, get excited for next, for next product. Ah, oh, the Star uh, Wars group was great. D4 stated with the five dollars. Gundam is the Kashitri. Kash You're gonna have to say that. Gundam is the Kasatria a better mobile suit than a Sasabe. Uh, that's an interesting question. I would say it would depend on the pilot. At that point, because the Kasatria is a newer mobile suit, but the Sasabe kind of started it all. Also, it's Shar's mobile suit. Uh, we could just go on for days with this. Milton Milton with the $5. Are your vitamins chewable or cartoon shaped? <laughs> Both. <laughs> uh, Red Dawn Batman's been a member for two months. Gundam F, to, F all this. Go play Helldivers for freedom. I should play some more video games, but uh, time is not always on my side. Fresher Luke with the $5. Hey, Papa Gundam, you made lots of videos about the folly of DSP. When will you be making a video about me? Huge fan, by the way. Who's faster, Luke? I was going to say, you're going to hit him with a who are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not <Moses>. derogatory? <laughs> Get out of here, Fluff, not now. With the five, Gundam, I had a dream that I was being forced to watch Black Panther 2, but it was actually the Woman King. Solar Eclipse is already fucking with me. You know, you'll see the Solar Eclipse in New York really well. Man, unless the On Solar Monday. Eclipse, like, uh, decides to come in my house right now. Like, is it during the day? Solar, okay, so, uh, yeah. Hmm. Let me see what's going on for Monday. Let me check my schedule here. Get going. I'll probably the be ghost asleep. of Pinochet with the five dollars. Oh Lord, if Gundam ever pulled a Valsh and revealed things like Valsh did, phew, boy. Sit down. Is Gundam Darth hiding Revan horse appendages on his computer? No, uh, if you want to see like my uh, computer, I've got a lot of stupid crap. Like I've got <laughs> gigabytes of TikTok. <laughs> like, do you want some TikTok, kids? <laughs> Oh, no. I've got gigabytes of DSP for the DSP video I'm supposed to be doing that I don't want to do anymore because it's too big. I've got dumb stuff. Like, you'd see what I got and you just get bored. Like, man, this guy doesn't have a reason to live. Oh. No, Fluffy, the oh, stream's no. not over. Darth Revan with a five. Finally caught one at the beginning. Here's some escape New York money. Entertain me, clown. You're the best. Oh, thank you very much as I check my schedule. How are we going to see a solar eclipse? It's fucking cloudy. <laughs> yeah. They're saying it might be a little cloud cover, but oh we'll man, see. screw that! Virulent Castle with the ten. I've always I've learned more today than expected. Anyways, here's a ten for the get the fuck out fund. Thank you. Wings of Gamora, no. Madras Shadow, the Hedge with the Bad ten dollars. 
Thank you so much. Poetic Silence with the $15 for your get. Curse's toes. I want to see her brain. She is a keeper. Are all Boston girls like you? I don't know. I guess if they have enough uh, childhood trauma from their mother, yes? Question mark? This is... This is what happens when you have uh, motherless behavior instead of fatherless oh. behavior. <laughs> well, <laughs> I just don't know what to... Because your backstory is pretty wild. <laughs> it's like she's bit. that movie. Um, the one with the Nazis. Which one? American History X. But this <laughs> is American Memer X. Yeah, my, my mom X, actually yeah. did like that movie quite a lot. Jay Pickle with the $10. Uh, M.A., a.k.a. Massive Two Sheets. Housing and rent is so ridiculous here it sucks. Never mind the trash blue arms law and the chipmunk. Less Governor Healy letting in tons of migrants. I want to leave this state. Yeah. I, I, I would love to live where I used to as a child, but like all of the laws and taxes going on in Massachusetts, I just don't want to deal with that. So New Hampshire better. Wolf and Wing's been a member for one month. I literally can't get any worse other than total collapse. Which is probably where we're going. And I always say, never say that it can't get any worse because it always can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Godzilla 95 with the $5. Hey, Gundam, if you like Godzilla minus one, I recommend watching the original from 54. It's very dark and somnibus. Keep up the great work, you two. Thank you. Yeah. Jordan G with the $5. Thanks for making pallet stacking at my Mason job more fun, Gundam. I you know, love it when men can pick things up and put them back down again. Let me tell you, Dio used to do that. And Rodney D James Dio was a god among men. <laughs> Lulu4 with the $5. Did you hear about the LSU athlete Angel Reese complain about being sexualized online while taking money to model bikinis for Sports Illustrated? I don't even know who the fuck that is. I don't know who that is either, but that sounds really silly. Like, you're taking pictures in bikinis. Of course people are going to sexualize you. Like, uh, yeah. what? Oh, wanted, God, I'm so sick of this and day and it. age. Remember when the Sports Illustrated magazine had real women and bikinis? <laughs> now <laughs> it's got twins. <laughs> Maximus is 2,400. When's the Medicare collab? I actually I, was going to think into looking into that before, you know, he leaves this, this realm. Uh, Medicare's never replied to any of my messages. <laughs> Great. Jay Neptune with the $5. Bring back the most Savage Man Alive rants videos. Yeah, let me get this channel completely demonetized again <laughs> while everybody goes, you gotta leave New York. I didn't oh, make no. money for the first six or seven years I was doing YouTube, trying to be edgy for people. Now I'm finally getting some bread and everyone's like, hey, stop getting paid, you fucker. Make me laugh. You've, you've taught me that I, I need to set up a, a get the get the heck out of where I live fund, too. Clearly, clearly it, that's a good idea. It's time to go. I'm sure I'm looking at houses, but like everything's expensive. Yes, everything's unrealistically expensive, like ridiculously expensive. Yeah. Like you have to put down a hundred grand minimum to even have a goddamn shot expensive. Mm -hmm, ah, mm -hmm. keg with a five dollars. Someone design a new governor that lets us work with libtards without dealing with their nonsense. That day will never come because you can't escape a libtard. The yeah. libtard always escalates. They're like porn brain people. They like, know you want to be left alone, and they're going to exploit that. Yes, they're going to go right into your hobby and ruin it, like Gundam. Can't even enjoy anything anymore without these people running in there. The Zionic Front was misogynist and patriarchal. <laughs> like, ah, shut up. How about I kick you in the teeth, dude? Zig Zion. Captain Saguga with the Canadian 50. Hey, Gundam, here's some more get out of New York money. It, it means more when the Canadian says it because he's in a country worse than this. <laughs> oh, no. It's true. It is. Cole Summers with the 10. I'm so sick of this gay and age is what I heard. Made it better. True. At least at least America's not trying to put us in the death pods quite yet. <laughs> it's coming. Sebastian <laughs> Anon with the 20. You know Gundam is smitten when a guest lasts this long on his show. Well, who else let? Like, Decoy Voice would have stuck around, but, like, uh, Pest kicked him out. <laughs> am I, suppo am I, I supposed to leave? I, I am I overstaying? I mean, you can do what the hell you want. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new rule. I didn't want to kick it. I wasn't trying to kick him out. I just, we had talked earlier that he had an out time. 
there was like saying, a hard saying out goodbyes time. on a collab is always so awkward like nobody yeah. knows when to end there's like no yeah. you hang up <laughs> i'm the I worst to, guy for goodbyes even I at have to parties be the one that jumps in and like okay well that's you know we got enough for today blah, 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 blah. even at parties <laughs> i just leave like for real like it's like well it's i've had enough and i just walk right out and then everybody's like blowing up my phone where did you go where are you i'm like i left <laughs> and I decided not to make a, a mess of it. Everybody's having a good time. It was time for me to leave. And then they get all, you know, even dudes act like bitches these days. Oh, my God. Yeah. And they're like, oh, wow, man, that was really messed up. You left. Like, wow, what a dick move. Nobody's going to invite you anywhere again. Like, go fuck yourself. All right. Was like, dude, this was my time. Yourself. I was ready. <laughs> Just because, no, like, one part of your name has grim in it doesn't mean you're a badass. You fucking douche. <laughs> Noah Zork with the five dollars. If it becomes Fallout, I nominate you for three dog. Thanks for the intimate insanity. I was going to do a Fallout mod that would have been in New Vegas in three. I'll tell you now, where I was going to be a radio DJ. I had it all planned out. It was already in the works, and I was, um, you know, a usual Fallout DJ thing, but I was kind of crazier being myself. But it got canned because people from Alphabet Soup. <laughs> decided they wouldn't work on the pod because I was a part of it. Razzentaz with the five. Nothing better than smoking drugs and listening to a couple of mad lads. Hell yeah. Ain't that the truth? I should pay to have my own Fallout mod. I gotta find a, a team of people willing to work with me and I'll do a Fallout radio mod that no one will download. Raging D-Head with the five dollars. Maybe you should try verbally belittling a significant other. That seems to be a thing Rumble wants too. Oh, why would I verbally belittle... Such a wonderful woman. What if, what if she wants it? Oh, then that's a different story. But then you could <laughs> end up no in fun. like... That's no then sport. You, you end up in Andrew Tateville. Oh, my God. <laughs> Frost and as a member. guy who's dealt with BDSM women, let me tell you, learn how to tie knots, dude. Because the second those chicks untie themselves, they're out of it. Uh, you know, you spot, like, I can only get off if I can't escape. What part of that don't you understand? And I'm like, You're bro, supposed to overpower me. If I can untie these knots, I just can't get turned on. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and it's like, who knows how to tie a person up like the kidnapping? I'm sorry. You I just need to, to up your kidnapping game. Like, go get some practice women and tie them up. And then you can come back home and try again. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> SBZ with the $5. Gundam was at its tamest form possible, yet still produced one of the best FMT episodes. It was so great it got moved, removed by Papa Susan. How do you feel? Oh, it's just uh, it's Tuesday, isn't it? Oh, wait, yeah. no, it's Wednesday. It was Friday that day. What did, oh, what well, did you do Wednesday. to get the show taken down? I don't know. I it show up in him, places it... and things go crazy. Like, mm -hmm. uh, there was a lot of jokes that were funny, but YouTube finds them targeting and offensive. Like Especially a, like when said, Nerd Roddick said he believed more in unicorns than, um, than uh, trans the, kids. No, Man. <laughs> God, have you learned nothing? You let me. I know how to do the jokes and get away with it. <laughs> You're still screw. All right. Ah, uh, Nerd Roddick said he believed more in unicorns than alphabet soup children. We could have did that. Well, I mean, ah. he's, he's not wrong. Of course <laughs> not, but you can't see it. You just, you just compare them to the vegan cats. Good. Papa Sot with the $5. Dear Christ, it's chaos squared. Gundam and a fluffy ketchup hoarder. Oh. She also does those little cute sounds like, ah. Yeah, we're going to have to put that on my soundboard. Deadpan Sanchez with the five dollars. BlackRock is buying houses in New York like mad, and government ho is giving, great. Is going to give sub tax money to people housing non legals. Make the connections. I thought they were supposed to stop these fucking companies from doing this shit. I went through. Uh, do you remember Pixels? They were also involved in like Gamergate back in the day. Name rings a bell. Yeah, they they also are getting government grant money from Canada to push the DEI nonsense. Yeah, not surprised. Ahsoka Tano with the $5. I was wondering, since you live in New York, are the girls working at the brothels hot? Just wondering for research and due to me being a degenerate. We have brothels, brothels here? I didn't even well, know I know they you existed. have slave auctions, but I didn't know you had brothels. We have slave auctions? Yikes. Yeah, there are, there are BDSM events where like the doms will take their slaves in and then... They this can, has to be can... New York City shit. Yeah, this is, this is New York City. Yeah, I don't mess with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let me. I hate New York City. <laughs> New York Judas. City. 
has effed up roads. There's trash on the ground. The rats are humongous. It it stinks in the summer under the bridges. On a hot summer day, you got all this garbage. You got these Jamaicans. I don't know who they are. They're beating on the car window like this. Oh, you want some water? You want some water? And I'm like, no, get out of here. And then they start trying to clean my windshield. I'm like, bro. And just make and then, it dirtier. And the goofball chick you take it with you. Isn't this great? It's the New York experience. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my. Uh, and be the gays. Back when I was in high school, we had German exchange students, and we mm -hmm. went on a trip to New York with the German exchange students. And one of the days we were there, again, this is, I lived in a lily white neighborhood with a lily white school, and then we had a bunch of German kids with us who don't know anything about the US. Uh, they dropped us all off at 8 p.m. in the Bronx, and they were like, we'll come get you in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> The Bronx. I was, I was like, the what Bronx. are we supposed to do here? I don't understand. Yes. <laughs> of all the places to drop a girl whose mother is like American History X. <laughs> the fucking BK. Oh, well, God. what it did the Germans a, do? Uh, the Germans were just like, all right, well, we're hungry. Let's go find food. And I was like, yeah, hiding in a pizza place would be a good idea. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh unsighted set 318 with the 20 dollars. i appreciate the real advice you gave me once i get my money up i'll pay it forward one last tip i asked uh, from you is how long it took you to grow those lovely locks any tips on maintenance oh the tips are let your hair grow number one <laughs> uh, two you know i only use coconut oil in my hair believe it or oh, not i do too coconut oil is amazing for your hair yes it smells wonderful too it leaves you all soft and delicious. And before mm -hmm. you know it, women are trying to oh. eat noodles off your belly. <laughs> <laughs> you become the ramen out of your bowl. ass. DJ Ch D Day Chip with the ten dollars. Old topic, I know, but after being in the army for three years, I can tell you the thought of insubordination is not that far from modern soldiers' minds. Me being one of them. Well, make sure you hide yourself so the government doesn't hear this. Uh, Agamata with the five dollars ketchup fox. Have you informed Gundam of the worm sounding gospel? Pip Pippa Pippa was reading some dumb stuff on Reddit, and we ended up getting sidetracked. And we we watched a documentary about this man who was into sounding with worms. And I was, I was just like, well, this is really weird, but like, if, I mean, I, I don't see anything wrong with like, if you kill worms, right, you murder the worms, if you want to put the worm in your dick, who cares, right? Like, it's weird, it's disgusting, but like, who cares? It's a worm. Nobody cares about worms. But at the end of the documentary, he was just like, yeah, sometimes the worms don't want to go inside my urethra, so I have to entice them with smoke and fire so that they wiggle inside. Oh I'm like, this God. man is out here assaulting the worms! He's all <laughs> hurting worms! They don't want it! And he smokes them inside! Good God. See, if oh. I told you about my finals... <laughs> I can't even, how is that possible? You blow smoke into your your urethra so the worm well, so like he would he would accustomed. hold the worm and then he would like put put smoke and fire at the end of the worm so the worm would have I'm to so like dig oh, inside okay. of him. Okay, so it's got I would it's start go a group one, one. wearing Xeon outfit and uh <laughs> hunting these people down like the dogs they are. Yeah, it would be a fun time actually. Wolf's playing with the five dollars, hey Papa Gundam and watching it since seventeen through eighteen. <laughs> hey, Kershey, did you watch Connoisseur or at least put it on the watch list yet? Uh, I typed it in a chat somewhere. I'm sure one of my mods will remind me. <laughs> King Larry with the $10. DSP's wifey's makeup has her looking like a group home geisha. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that poor dark side fell. Oh, well. Fuck him. Matthew Harder with the 20. Gundam, tell us another gross story like the cat hair ring lady. Show no, some Gundam love. I'm not. Uh, we can't I'm not that. going anymore. It's, I've had enough today. I ju <laughs> you just got the worm story. Learn, worms' <laughs> lives matter. You're right. Whoever said worm that. Worm lives chat. don't matter. Listen, uh, I think the worm is doing more for the world than that weird dude. 
probably actually. You're right with that. We are at a time in human history when bugs are doing more for the collective society of man <laughs> than some humans. And I want to correct that. No, Fluffy. I'm getting the people to rally behind me. With the five dollars, hey Gundam, did you know that Julia Garner will be the Shalabab version of the Silver Surfer in the new Fantastic Four movie? Do do do. What? No, no. Wait, what? Shalabal. Yeah, Shalabal. That's Silver Surfer's Shaka wife. Khan? No, Shalabal is Sil Silver Surfer's love. Shibalba? Shibalba? No. <laughs> At least she's Am not going to be the silver sofa, right? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Uh, Dork8182 with a $5 gun to my sent you a, I sent a super on FMT for you to enlighten them about Freerin. Freerin, I still hope you can. I wait for a true confirmation of season two. Wreck1990 with a $5. Dragon's Dogma has been great. Party of the Big Booty Babes. I eat goblins like grocery, groceries, baby. We love you, Josh. Gundam's editing and makeup is on point. And Rec1990 is the one that always puts there's a Gundam down here. They've been doing Yes, that. he's been around since my channel started. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I'm looking this up. Um, yeah, she's not looking that hot. I don't know. but it, it's, it's the MCU. I highly doubt that this is going to be a Silver Surfer I enjoy. Ah. Uh, Dermatsker Why can't we do new stuff? With the five pounds, my ex was afraid I'd become a monthly pains imp, even though I told her I ain't paying blank online. Long story short, you're my first subscription. No hee hee. Get it, dog. Thank you very much. Sergeant Buck with the five dollars. What did he mean by this? I'm not going to tell you. Get it. Get that toy. Key Strix with the Catch. five dollars. The customer is king. Goro... Majima, best manager best ever. Best manager ever. Yakuza Zero reference. My favorite Yakuza game. There you go. Vagabundo Devon with the $5 as a black man. When I drive further away to white working fast food joints so I don't deal with the black ran ran. See? Ones. See, I wasn't joking. People no. thought I was being racist. Poetic silence with the five. Half of the migrants and the other half for Fluffy. Sorry, Gundam. No soup for you in New York. Don't oh, buy well. the soup. It's paused. Oi, hey. Fantastic <laughs> Mr. Knox with the five. The guy at the table with all the food complimenting on his life choices. He looks so underfed, though. Girlfriend might be a heifer, though. Oh, my God. That video is depressing. Like, I, I hope it's it a is... bit because he, he looks like he needs to be saved, dude. Who if talks that's like bit, that to their significant other? Actor. Oh, you've never dated women. <laughs> uh, well, no, I'm not gay. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing you're not. I've That's... dated men who act like women, though. It's very unfortunate. Well, the difference is when you date women, there's also domestic abuse. Most lesbian relationships have a 70% chance of whooping each other's ass. That's true. I've lived across from the lesbian domestic violence on multiple occasions. It's interesting when they try to throw each other down the staircases, but then they just start yelling instead. Uh, Hobby Stardust with a five. My Solomon MG MP... MGGP02 Gundam just arrived in the mail yesterday. I can't wait to build it. Bandai is officially pissing the wind. That is true, dude. Bandai has been fucking up for years now, man. Like, they put out model kits nobody wants. They keep putting out seed, HG kits, no MGs ever. Well, we've got two MGs, but one's a rehash of an old MG from 2018 and one new Verka. You know, I'm interested. I pre-ordered. I'm not going to lie. I'm a crack whore. But honestly, the Chinese are coming in and kicking Bandai right in the sweetness. They're giving us the MG GPO2 that should have happened years ago. The sad part is this kid is so hard to get a hold of. My God, I feel like I'm smuggling drugs trying to get these kits. Rocket Insano with the $5. What part of this man is attractive? Because I do not understand... You looks like a Starbucks barista who got my order wrong. Uh, what man is this? That's probably uh, the video we played. The dude that, like, was being beaten up on by his woman? Yeah. <laughs> Listen. Ray I don't Cage. think him being attractive was the point of the video, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> you when, see you're, how... when you're in a hostage situation, you're going to look like you've been unshowered for, like, four months. This is the hell men go through. You could be literally visually just emotionally destroyed by a woman and broadcast all over the internet and someone will still shame the man in the situation. So, so it was just like, well, she's being a horrible person, but 
He doesn't look very cute, so I don't sympathize with him. <laughs> the hell with him. He looks like he's a short king, and it's not the short king spring this year. <laughs> Raiden Cage with the five. Have you seen what the left did to the MLB and the San Francisco Giants? What no. do they do to them now? I don't. I don't, we don't follow know. baseball. You want to talk to me about motorcycle racing, MotoGP, World Superbike, BSB? I'm all for it. Baseball, pff, baseball's gay. I'm sorry. I, if you I don't like know it. anything about any. If you balls. can't die doing a sport, I'm not interested. This is all there is to it. I watched Mark Marquez in 2020 crash at 200 miles per hour and dislocate his shoulders so bad the bone rotated 30 degrees. Yikes. And this dude had to do five surgeries. He won the Red Bull ring with one arm. The dude's an animal. That's Meanwhile, impressive. It is. I mean, I'm mad because uh, the dude totally kept Rossi from getting that 10th title. But that's different. But you got to give it I to him. The thing I know about NASCAR is that there's a guy who, if he came in like the top 10 in the NASCAR Cup, you could get free blooming onions the next day after the race from Outback Steakhouse. Camelot 331 just uh, came in 10th in his first NASCAR. The, he's a streamer. The, he was our, one of our first uh, guests, as a matter of fact. Gundam never had a 100-mile-per-hour fastball coming. You're right. But I have had a 120-mile tree coming. Little harder to avoid. Ren Renee Guz <laughs> Guzlardera with a $5. When will we see a Gundam sticker on Camelot's car? I'm not putting it on there. I'm the putting stickers. stickers on my race bike this year. We got a sponsorship coming, kids. Ooh. Are you able to say with who yet? Uh, I haven't signed the papers yet, but uh, if all goes well, I won't have to worry about the airbag being deployed to keep me from breaking my bones. Oh, hell yeah. Congratulations. Uh, wait till you see me in this leather getup. The ladies love it. It accentuates my thighs and ass here. Yeah, it's oh pretty good. God. I've seen pictures of it, chat. It's, it's going to be custom made. I'm going to have... Gundam I shouldn't tell people because they're going to find me. Mm. No, he doesn't get pictures of my balls. He does get... <laughs> I have Just seen... like. I sent him a photo of me in, like, my under Ray suit, and he's like, you look like Captain America. And I'm like, thanks, dude. <laughs> I, I mean, that, that probably is a compliment, right? Yeah, he's I would say buff, so. Right? Captain's in good shape. <laughs> very swell, worry, you'll very get, svelte. You'll get svelte. some photos, too. Don't worry. Oh, my then God. Then you'll block me. <laughs> Got Gundam waiting for his, his sex pest cancellation arc. <laughs> yeah, I figure it's about time. I need the publicity. <laughs> oh, my God. Kenny F91 with the $5 Gundam, you are popping off like YouTube's Conan O'Brien. I wish to God I had that Conan energy from when he was actually cool. Danny D with the $5. Don't forget New York has an exit task like California and New Jersey. Wait, Wait it does? does? Great. Now we're fucked yet again. I didn't know that they had one. Oh, you just can't stop losing in New York. I know. Bandishkar with the $5. Oi vey, oi vey. Hope you're doing great, Gundam, you Chad. Here's some more for your escape fund. Welcome to the House of Madness, Kirshi. Thank you. New York, Batista94 with the five. I live in New York, and I would say this. At some point, New York will be a red state if they keep playing with fire. Okay, dude. I remember when Hulk won. I, like, lost my mind. I would so love I to live to see the day New York becomes red. We are so close. We literally lost by three areas, like three districts. How did that give her 51%? It was three. The whole state's red. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, how is this happening? Why do they vote for Hochul? She's retarded. <laughs> and then this fucking liberal douchebag guy who looks like Bosch says, <laughs> people vote. Land doesn't vote. And I'm just like, you're lucky it's illegal for me to bash you in a skull. Do you know, do you know who <laughs> Tiffany Haynard is, I think is her name? The name rings a bell, but tell me. She's she's the super mayor and oh she's, no oh uh, Ta Tiffany Tahoe yeah she she basically ran the city from a surplus into a deficit, a deficit. she like locks people out of their offices that she yes. doesn't like she's uh, doing all this crazy stuff here we uh, go people voted for her to to be in the office bro uh do not put a hood black woman in power that's the dumbest thing you could do <laughs> call me racist if you want I've lived through it they are the worst leaders on the planet. Now she's just holding the town hostage. She, it's she's, like, it's how so she's bad. not arrested is crazy. It is. She's like taking she, the town's money to go to have Vegas vacations. 
The last I saw, I haven't read through, but the last I saw, she even managed to, like, shut down an investigation into her. And I'm like, how? How and can she, she do that? And she also tried to change it. So if you vote her out, literally the next person that gets the job makes, like, 60 grand instead of 200K yeah. a year. She's an yeah. animal. Here, the Pink Book Lessons just did a video on it yesterday. Here I you go, it. D-I-E. <laughs> D-E-I, oh whatever the fuck it is. I, I apologize <laughs> if I saying that, right? I had my radiation today. I have cancer. Of course I do. Tiffany stole money from a cancer foundation. How dare you? How dare you steal? And I helped you with your campaign. How dare you steal from us? I have to buy my wigs. Are you going to reimburse me for the wigs that I've been spending my money on? Uh-oh. I thought a better microphone. Me. Let me know if I'm going to get my money back, Tiffany. Because I helped you with your vision <laughs> to get in that seat. Oh, you man. that you was going to lie and make now. a change for Dalton. Look at the cop. You a change for Dalton. I'm sorry, I got a little anxiety because I don't like getting pushed and stuff in crowds because I'm disabled. But y'all don't even care to let the disabled. Did you just say she's disabled? Yeah. Well, she has cancer. So. Is it cancer Things really a disability? Really it's a disease. Yeah, the latest well, board I mean, meeting in Dalton, Illinois. It kills you. By I feel like that's a disability. Mayor, <laughs> this is coming from a guy whose Citizen grandfather died of cancer. One, because she will let so, the still, <laughs> I don't see it as a disability. Saying, Unless in, the cancer puts her in a wheelchair. She the meeting in an hour like, she's like, girl, I'm doing keto, I ain't got no hair, I gotta buy wigs. You gonna buy my wigs? It's a disability. I don't think it counts. I mean, yeah, no, if she's just talking about the hair loss, I don't think I don't think it counts. I would agree with you. <laughs> Bro, this lady. This is what you get for voting for. Look at this. There she Yeah, you voted for it. In her sleazy head of police, Lacey. The resident's microphone was janky on purpose. It's like they were the, the microphone's peaking like crazy because nobody knows how to fucking set up a mixer. She did it on purpose. Into. We're going to get into it, but first, take a second to make sure you're subscribed or want to hear anything from you other. What you don't know if you don't live here or pay taxes here, but your thoughts and concerns would be different if you did. <sighs> I'd leave. Number two, right? Andrew Holmes in his absence. Maybe he's in the back listening. The nerve of you to sit in the seat as a trustee here with the allegations. The people put you in the seat to serve as a trustee to the residents, not to the mayor. You say you're an activist of law enforcement. Meeting yeah, let's skip ahead before you start losing people. Anything, Tiffany Teflon Tahoe will fire them. So none of them have any integrity and they go along to get along. All right. All right. See, you should put time. women in power I'm instead of a thousand times. Time. And like, what's really scary I'm is like, if you cool. are living in a town okay. and all of the people yeah. around you are just okay. dumb enough Where's to vote for someone like this, you could New end York. up in this kind of hostage situation as well. <laughs> Mayor Hulk, I mean, Governor Hulk, <laughs> I'm experiencing it. Yeah, it's, it's really scary. I, you I never give a hood black woman power. They can't even keep a family together. I know that's going to be controversial, oh but it's God. the truth. I know people are <laughs> going to get mad. Repla replacing fathers in the home with government paychecks. It's not working. Single parent households where the woman is in charge and it encapsulates 70 to 80 percent of incarcerated individuals. It's just a fact. It's not bigotry. Single single mother households are a detriment to society in general. Please, please keep your households intact. For the love of God, get married before you start having kids. So we don't have to pay a tax for yes. your children's bad fucking credit. <laughs> when we buy a home. Uh, Mr. Uh. Wilson with the 10 pounds. Uh... Loving the show, Papa G. Can I get your opinion on Hathaway Noah being the hero of that movie? He was... He was a bigger B than Camille and nerfed a woman in the character's counterattack. Okay, I'll break it down for you because uh, you get lost here. Yeah. That's, uh, let's see, Hathaway did kill, uh, God, I forgot her name. Was it Chan? No, was it Chan? I can't remember. Help me out, Kirsch. I have no idea what any Crap, of this Crap, I thought she knew Gundam. Your notes are <laughs> trash. <laughs> All right. Um, I watched Gundam on TV when I was like a teenager, you know, on, on Adult Swim, on Toonami. That's where we all started. Yeah. Well, Hathaway, um, he does grow up and become the leader of MAFTI, yada, 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 basically like a terrorist organization. But don't worry. Hang in there. By the end of the show, if you hate Hathaway, you'll get what you want. That's all I'm saying, if it's based on the novel. But, uh, yeah, he is technically the lead of that whole storyline. It's just being adapted to film. 
The first film is kind of slow and boring. Hopefully the second one really picks up. And the third one just blows our socks off because Lord knows we need it. We need it after The Witch of Mercury. Oh, my God. Gundam <laughs> mobile suits turning into rainbow dust. And the first scene six character, Yuria. Oh, it just brought in all the diaper wearing furries. And for Boya, the third with ten dollars. The Kotor remake is still in development. How do you feel about that, Papa? I thought they killed that off. Dude, they I got Max Vasario writing that. I have no hope. She's in the mix. You know it's gonna be garbage. I think I was reading somewhere they're gonna make Revan non binary. I bet you non binary these balls. How you like that? What the hell? Ugh. Not a troll, ten dollars. Gundam, you should move to Austin, Texas, and do comedy stand up. I think you have the gift. Uh, I don't know. Isn't Austin being taken over by the liberals? Yes. Bro, you want me to go to Austin, Texas to do the material that I want to you, do? You've been doing comedy on YouTube for years. I think you could maybe make it oh, as I a could, real comedian. But, like, I would be dragged <laughs> off stage, I think. Remember I, the last I used guy to love Jeff? going to comedy clubs, but recently when I've gone to a few of them, Mm -hmm. They're not even funny. Like, all of their jokes are just like, how about that orange man, huh? He's oh. real bad. I'm just like, please. Please, you just tell something non-political. You can't expect something from a generation of people that don't know how to do anything. In True. the sense of even have the balls to stand up for who they truly are. True. They, hell, they don't even have the balls to fucking accept who they are anymore. Don't like yourself? Change, Change it. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, this isn't fucking Skyrim. You can't put in command console and change it. It's like, I know it takes effort and some people get terrified of change and they're just like, well, I hate what I am, but it takes too much effort to change and I don't like the unknown. So I'm just going to stay in my little uncomfortable puddle and not do anything. And and, and it, it's just like, they, they waste themselves. It's unfortunate. Uh, I say, accept who you are. That is the hardest thing you can do. Yeah. These are the cards you dealt. This is the game of life. Guess what? Life isn't fair. In fact, it's downright brutal. If you look life at life sucks, for bugs, but you gotta make something of it. Exactly, Buy bugs ticket, have a harder life than a human. You watch these little baby lizards get born out of their shell that they gotta run across the sand desert and not be eaten by an army of snakes. Buckle up, Buttercup. Nobody has to kiss your ass or give you a pronoun. You're lucky mm -hmm. you're not snake food. Welcome to America. <laughs> Sean Haruki with the five dollars. Hey Gundam, to balance the sounding, you should tell Kirsch about the glory of Haman Khan. Haman Khan. <laughs> The glory of Haman Karn. Uh, I'm not a big Haman fan, believe it or not. I was always in Shar's camp. I don't know what those are. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to, like, force her to watch Gundam later. Yeah, you know, we don't even need the nachos. We could just watch the Gundam. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> watch party and nachos in the ass. <laughs> I, uh, I had a woman watch Gundam Unicorn with me, and I could share this with you because I feel we're very close now, Kirsha. And, um... It got to the part where Banaji Link's father gives him the Gundam unicorn, and he's like, man is the only animal with a god, a god called possibility. And then he falls out the Gundam and gets yeeted and blown up. I cried. A tear left my eye. That Meanwhile, the girl sad. watching it passed out, and she's like this. <laughs> and I'm just like, women have no taste. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm sorry that you had to experience. You, want, you wanted to look over at her and get some comfort, you know, maybe some head No, pets, I wanted her dissolved. to be like, this shit is hot. <laughs> uh, Cord O with the 20. Gundam, what do you think of iron-blooded orphans? You know, originally I used to turn my nose up at AC, alternate universe, AU, alternate universe uh, Gundam. But um, iron-blooded orphans, I gave it a shot and liked it. Dude, the ending of iron-blooded orphans, phenomenal. The way the last two guys die, and they got space guts. There's one dude who literally looks like guts, and he's piloting a Gundam too, and he dies so badass. This chick he loves gets killed by these. I'm ruining the show, but she gets killed by like this space group. I can't even remember the name right. And he finds out who did it. In his last dying move, he kills the guy who kills her. Oh, uh, dude, we gotta play that. Can I play that? Is that copywritten? You, you, if you want to pull it up real quick, I've got a. F I'm gonna do a few more super chats, and then we're gonna end off with the. Uh... The last video, and then call it. Uh, Le Rad Mule with a five. Melanie Mack is a national treasure. Thank you so much. Jen Jesus. Trash with a five. Kirsten, who's ever next crap Friday out of Night people. Tights or Broken Crown? What? Hit me with that again. They're asking oh. who's on the next Friday Night Tights or Broken know. Crown. 
Do you, oh. I don't know who's on my own show. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I think. I think when I was on side scrollers last, uh, Craig said that he would talk to the Friday Night Tights people. I. I still don't know what Broken Crown is. I'm sorry. Molly Squad six nineteen with the five. <laughs> Free my N word Taiwan. <laughs> Oh my oh, I got God. really worried that you were about to actually say nah. that. I was like, wait, nah. hold on. Then go get me. <laughs> Noah Calvert with the $5. Please start talking about Bridge. We need people to be aware of this group. We tried, but I tangented us away from it on accident. That was my fault this time. <laughs> Everyone falls into the dumpster in, on this show. It happens. Living Weapon Iron Fist with a 5. All, all I care about is freedom. You under arrest. This is a torture. Uh, member for two months, Lumi Angler Channel. Oh, thank, thank you, so you Lumi. Uh, SH Rebels 08 with a five vote. It's for Gundam. I'll get rid of those cockroaches. 2024. A flamethrower <laughs> for every citizen. The sounding of silence. <laughs> Ketchup in the soup. Why? I'm ready delicious. for the alien invasion. Omar Williams, Gundam, you'll have to play some games. Gundam, your feet picks are amaze balls. What? Spider Bro, $5. They're not interacting with the women most times. They're talking to the men through text. I don't remember the context. <laughs> <laughs> uh, average American woman is 5'4", 170 pounds. Gross. I agree. I don't, how do you, how, how? Very simple. Sit on your ass and eat cookies. I mean, I sit on my, I'm a streamer and I haven't even managed to like go that You were crazy. talking about like rollerblading earlier in life. A lot yeah. of people don't get that much outside action in their childhood. Oh. <laughs> uh, and then Sephiroth6839 with the 20 for the get the fuck out fun. Do not the Corsi. Corsa. Corsa is a small woodland critter that I have as a, as oh. a pet. Does your what name is that? Cherry and Gundam? I mean, in kind of in German. Yeah. I was trying to look it up earlier, yeah. and I was like, "Yeah, here's here's the German word for cherry." See, learn something new every day. <laughs> um, that's about it for super chats. I know I might have missed some of the smaller ones, guys. I'm sorry. We can't do another 45 minutes of super chats. <laughs> yeah, it's the part of the show people start running from. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but last video, this video is of a guy uh, who owns nope, a landscaping. No, this is the last video. Yeah. It's a guy who owns a landscaping company, and he's weed. Oh. That's not a landscaping company. Yeah, fuck that. That's, doesn't look like landscaping. We're doing Now that's entertainment. That is that is a hardcore death. Holy heck. Ah. Oh, yeah, we're never getting any more Iron Blood uh, Master Grades. I saw someone in the chat asked for that. You're not getting them. Even though Bandai's already made the frame for it, and they could literally, literally just add some new armor parts, literally. but they don't. Exactly. you got to roll your head <laughs> and your arm. <laughs> Uh, Edward Boyette the third says Sam Mags left the Kotor remake for a better job. Chris Avalone tweeted a while ago IGN article talking uh, about it. Is Chris Avalone back? That's all I care about. If they get Chris Avalone, I'm in. If they don't, they can fuck themselves. <laughs> I'm expecting him to find news for me quickly. Chatter, find yeah. the news. Come on, user. <laughs> Do my okay. work for me. Last video. This oh. is a guy from a landscaping company trying to thwart a thief. From stealing his weed whacker. Uh -oh. He hit him with a weed whacker. Oh, man. 
I was just sent the financial audit, dude. He's doing a video of Amaranth, the fakest shit ever. What? Uh, oh, um, what's his name? The financial audit guy, yeah. Yeah. For real? Like, Let me pull yeah. that up. I don't even know why Amaranth is in the mix. She's a multi-millionaire. Like, this is just stupid. At this point, Amaranth has, like, no level of fucking self-respect. She will go and do damn near anything. She was Man. even on the quartering show. I feel like, I feel really bad because like when she when she was like crying about her like uh, abusive husband thing. So fake, so fake. I I, I felt bad because I was like I know what it feels like to be stuck in that kind of situation, and I can't imagine that she would lie about something like that. But then she just she just went on like nothing changed, and I was like, there's no way she's that. That's good what of an I actress, love about dude. women. You get fooled by other women so easily. <laughs> Like it made it made me so upset. It's like That's why would you point. lie about she that? Manipulate you. Her job is manipulation. It's terrible. My fucking shit died. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> little dude. <laughs> <laughs> we'll play this real quick and then we'll go ahead and go ahead and shut out the show. Cause I, <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Things out there, Fucking things like that. Corn is a addictive mm -hmm. industry right how do you feel being a part of that that a lot of people fall into a spiral that they just can't get out i think the issue is just a lot of people can't accept reality and look inwards and improve themselves and you feel no guilt that some of that money could be coming from addiction not really okay no uh, she don't give a hi of course i'm care. known as amaranth i'm, I'm a streamer and my real okay. name is kate you still i don't, I don't know I love why do i live in yeah, texas but a few a few years back, there were there were like the cam girls on Twitch were interviewed about like how they feel about uh, the landscape of the content they do on Twitch, and they were like, "What do you what do you do when when you think about how there might be like minors in your audience when you're doing these like soft core camming kind of things?" And a couple of them were just like, "I just try not to think about it." Of course not. <laughs> what accountability? Um, never heard of it. <laughs> anyway, I just look at my Move Chase on. app, and that all just kind of goes away. Right? Oh, I, I couldn't get through that. And the fact that he's even doing that with her, like, I thought he was better than that. Nah, he's turned into a, a, a right. He's taken any, any comers. Most of the people that are on his show are actually actors. Hmm. Wow. He hires them off, like, uh, casting sites. That wow. seems weird. That would be uh, a great video if we had proof. Oh, right. there's proof. Believe me, oh. we've got proof. There's been a couple of investigations on it, and uh, oh. there's DMs with him talking with casting people where he's actually trying to get other guys into doing gay stuff with other guys on OnlyFans. The what? ones that are, like, really hard up for money. What? That the is weird a gay as pimp. heck. Hold on. Oh, hold on. We'll, oh, my you. God. Nobody has integrity anymore. I'm sorry. We're the last of the last. <laughs> That's what I was saying earlier, where it's like, before it was the Hollywood talking heads, it was the actors, it was the late night talk show hosts who would be peddling the opinions and the thoughts you're supposed to have. And now, in the age of, like, the neo-celebrity, we have YouTubers, we have streamers, we have influencers. Wait, we're They're the neo-celebrity? Well, that's what I, I don't like thinking of myself as a celebrity, but it's like, that's what this landscape is. That's how like, bad this, things are. Yeah, this is like the new Hollywood, and that's why having I'm streamers being Tom bought Bruce. and paid for is a good idea. Not not a real good idea, but like what, what they think is good for pushing ideology. We're screwed. It's over. Yeah. Okay, uh, here it is. Caleb Hammer. That's that dude's name. <sighs> He's trying to get people to do gay stuff. Wild. First appearance on the show when Caleb ended up leaving a very disturbing audio message on Zeke's phone. I can tell you're a cool dude, and I want to, like, if there's anything, any connections that I have, which I've built a lot of connections in Austin, 
anything that I'm able to kind of link you to, you know, I definitely want to be helpful. The main reason I haven't wanted to have this conversation via text is, sorry, I had to burp. Um, one, I'm not used to OnlyFans. <laughs> oh my up. God. Uh, it's not really my scene. Uh, you know, I'm a personal finance dude. I don't really know anything about that. Uh, two. But I love me some I'm man ass. Straight. Oh, I'm like sure. Ninety percent straight. I've definitely. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Wait, wait, you, you can't put percentages on it. <laughs> I'm ninety percent straight, but a little gay on a Thursday. If you if you uh, like dick, you're gay. Like I got news for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm auditioning you for gay porn, but I'm. It's like it's. This is like this is gay catfishing. This is it's this like, has been the hard thing on my end in dating, where it's like guys will say that they're straight, and then like later mm -hmm. on after you're talking, they'll hit you with the oh yeah, but you know I I have sex with like traps, you know I'm attracted to the what? femininity, and it's like what? No, you're not straight then, you've <laughs> lied to me. <laughs> I thought lies. my dating was trash. All lies. <laughs> I fooled around because I'm open minded, um, and uh -huh. you know when you get drunk, whatever. Oh, but, you know so, and this is like a you know, a man on man thing. Oh. Uh, but essentially I think well from the conversation I had with him, the pay will be dependent on what you're willing to do and what you're willing to do is set by you. So what he would like to do, you guys make out. He would like to do that. What he, you guys what he would like you guys to do, him fill you up. Oh. He would like to do that. You can say no about any of these. It's just he it's would like to play with your dick. And see, see that's why I don't want to type this out either. Because that's. Oh my god. Are we really thinking that this friend exists, or are we just thinking that this is Caleb? Like, mm. he's got a very gay voice on the phone. <laughs> that's gay. Play with he your he game. does have a little bit of that inflection, as it were. Yeah, it's just it just keeps going. Ah, uh, you know, just he wants to give you a little yeah. kiss. Yeah, he just wants to give you feel a little you kiss. So maybe he wants to feel you up a little bit. Maybe he wants to put your Jerk dick in his off. mouth. You know, just maybe. <laughs> you know, like, he just wants to give you a mouth massage. And it's like, you get a little drunk, and it's Thursday, and it's okay. You know, hey, it's only gay. nachos you... in the ass? Yeah, and then, like, before you know it, he starts hitting you like, listen, 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 okay? We gotta Understand. make some milkshakes. <laughs> Pasta's straight until you warm it up, too. So, <laughs> it, it just, just escalation, bro. He's He's gay gaslighting. Oh, my God like weird for me to say i don't you know it's not like we're friends or anything but that's what he wants to do he wants to uh give you a blowjob uh and, oh i was also told and confirmed with him that your face would be hidden uh blurred out and hidden your identity would be hidden um um and then if you wanted to give a blowjob you could again you would make more from that and, uh, you know, he would beat your butt <laughs> And you would make more for that. You can say no as well. Uh, uh, you know, you could top him. He could top you. Whatever uh, you're willing to do full -blown sex comes now. with more like, money. Yeah. But you could literally do nothing. You could literally just lay back and let him just touch you for the video. And I guess for some reason his subscribers love that. And you'd get paid for it. So really that's what it is. And, you know, I, there's things that I think... I don't feel comfortable talking about in this kind of situation, and I'd be happy well, you to can, talk you over You can say no person. to anything. You can decide um, how far you want to go, but there are things that he wants to do that I don't feel comfortable talking about. What does he mean by this? I don't feel good making this voice message soliciting sex and sending it over public platforms. Yeah, the dude but... is probably... You, you've got to put worms in your urethra, and he just burns the tip of the worm so that it goes in involuntarily. Well, it's up yeah, to you. it's up to you, but the, the people really love it. They love when the worm is just forced to it do it. It might feel weird at first, but don't worry. When it makes that U-turn inside you, you'll feel it then. And oh, do you like sounding? Over your head. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to put Mariah Carey up your ass. Not literally, <laughs> but like, you know, the Christmas theme songs, you know, he wants to like stick a microphone in your butt and then play it <laughs> and let it vibrate. The people, they, you know, I'm not comfortable with this. I'm like 90% straight, by the way. I'm not, I'm not comfortable with this, but I got to tell you, no, it's your choice. You can let him do it. I'm going to tell you in great detail, by the way. Where can I get this financial audit done? <laughs> Come in for a financial audit. <laughs> I guess it explains why the sex. views for Amaranth was 400K rather than a million, like Boogie. I am I am begging people to have, like, not just integrity, but a little bit more self-worth. Like, please stop selling your holes for the price of a 10-piece nuggie, all right? Like, please? <laughs> Just 27 50
Oh, I don't man. I don't want to be dating someone and then like find out, you know, they were on some other guy's OnlyFans getting like groped up and having, yeah. having their booty filled with nachos <laughs> yeah. for God. viewing pleasure. <laughs> Gay nacho parade or something, you know, that's really bad for the woman you're seeing. Caleb Hammer talked me into it. What was I supposed to do? He was Clearly a financial advisor. Yeah. <laughs> like things were really rough and he advised that I do involuntary gay porn. Oh my God. I don't, I've been very poor in my life and not a single time have I been Thinking like, yeah, you know what? Let's just start selling my body or pictures of my body. I was just like, see, you got some know. integrity left. It's hard to find. Those <laughs> like it would be easy me. for sure. Nothing is worse than like when ex girlfriends come back in your life and their big accomplishment is OnlyFans, oh and God. I have to play down doing anything because I don't want them to know. So they're like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "Oh, uh, I'm, I'm picking up garbage." <laughs> Technically, it's not a lie. <laughs> Like, the shit I'm looking at is raw garbage. In fact, it's sewage. True. Facts. I do not I don't need think them that I would be able to have a conversation with my father without feeling crushing guilt if I had done anything pornographic. You look at Amaran's face. The bitch has no soul. <laughs> <laughs> like, she don't care about nothing and nobody. Yeah, Maybe really the dog she has. It's yeah, really you, unfortunate. That girl sold her soul and you could see it. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Not everybody could be like us. Mm. Paragons of human virtue. We're inspiring the children. <laughs> but I just try to live tan. by principles. You know, I'm not a perfect person, but I try my best to, to at least live the way that I speak, you know? The lack of amorous visual diversity is appalling in current day. <laughs> well, I say you got to live like Leonard Skinner. Baby, be a simple, be a simple man. Be someone you can love and understand. Eh, too bad Amaref didn't hear that song. <laughs> Just kiss already. All right, uh, Gundam, do you want to lead us out? We but got, I have to come up with some sort of ending. Great. You got to uh, go uh, the best outro you can, you can do. I you know, in you. I've got an idea here of what my outro is going to be. Can we play a song called Mast? No, we probably can't. Uh, self-pleasuring for a better tomorrow. I probably can't play that. So I'll have to put it on my Twitter. <laughs> Ending thoughts. Spice Bomb is three ounces. That'll probably last you th 10 years. But it's yeah, $130. As good. as good, I guarantee it. And a woman is fully endorsing it. Smelling good is very important. Almost as important as looking good. And for a man in today's very odd consumer based society where meeting a woman is just a flick away the best thing you can do for yourself is to be the best version of yourself don't be inspired or influenced by anybody else's magic or light because as oscar wilde once says you are then playing a part that was not written for you and i desire for you to be who you truly are without any inhibitation even though that's the wrong word uninhibited we'll go that way in these final days of Nietzschean's last man, I can hope for you that you will be the bridge to the uber wrench, that you will be the higher man that he once spoke of. As it all ends and we go out, at least God has gifted us with ketchup and fox girl magic. <laughs> As the state of New York falls into dissent and madness where immigrants have more rights and free health insurance of all things. We can only look to the anime waifus to guide us to tomorrow, to give us a reason to live when there absolutely isn't any left. Before you know it, fat closeted homosexuals are advising gay pornography and working with e-girls in a site that is built to platform them and demonetize and minitize you. Not minute, miniaturize, whatever. I'm well, running out of stuff here. Good night. It feels like we're goodbye. saying grace at Thanksgiving. It's nice. <laughs> I don't know. It's some, it's some uh, BS that I have to do every show that was a joke and now it's gone out. <laughs> it's got no, I'm going to make it. Reject the black pill chat. You will get a woman who loves you. You will have children. You will own a home. Do not let the globalists win. Don't let the globalists win, but do not fool yourself into thinking that this is a war that is not of attrition. In order to get un-black-pilled, to get that woman, you have to be damn good. 
You have to be exceptional to get those ladies. I'm telling you, I'm living it. I literally have to wear rare Jordans to lure the women in. And I have to cover myself in Spice Bomb original. <laughs> You've already spent $400 just to get a high and a smile. Woo! Woo! This one goes out to Freddie Mercury. God bless you. The last great homosexual of our times. What's this? That's not Freddy. We can't play. You want me to play Freddy for real? No, forget it. We can't get to money. I'm not giving Brian May a dollar to give to Adam Lambert. All right, everybody. That's the show. We want to appreciate uh, Kirsha for coming out. Um, what, do you want to plug anything? Uh, do you got anything coming up? Any big news? Um, no, not, not any particularly big news. My next stream will just be normal on Friday. It's Tangent Friday, so I just talk about news, do recaps of stuff that happened on uh, like Wednesday and Thursday when I wasn't around. If anything, if anything happened, you know, with other stuff that I spoke about previously, I do updates. I stream every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday on both Twitch and YouTube. I think Gundam oh. has my Twitch, or not my Twitch, my YouTube linked in the description. Yeah, so if you if you want to come experience chaos in my realm, uh, feel free to follow me. I'm not good at plugging myself. <laughs> I'm not good at was, it either. That was fine. That was perfect. Pipkin Pickle might be there too. Yeah, so, sometimes sometimes I pull a pink Benoit out of the garden. <laughs> now there's some rule 34 the kids need to get to work on. Oh my god. All right, everybody. A little snort wave to close out the night. Here's the thing. I became infamous on the internet in 2016 for accidentally beating off on camera. Now, luckily, nothing was shown. There was absolutely nothing exposed to the internet. It was just me doing my own things. I went viral for it. I just want the bus, bus, bus. Oh man, bust, 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 bust. Give me the monster, bust, 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 bust. Wow, it's big, bust, 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 bust. Oh, oh my God, look how big he is. Oh my God. Wow. This sounds like Bosch. <laughs> that thing is a monster. I just want the bust.